The woman on the street just touched my hand, and I was arrested and sentenced to life imprisonment. Another woman secretly kissed me and got the death penalty directly, simply because the probability of male births in this world is only one tenth zero zero zero, causing the male population worldwide to face extinction in just two and a half years. Even though the country has implemented polygamy, there are still over a billion unmarried women. As a result, men are being treated as an endangered species and protected. I looked at the news report in shock, took a sip of my 82-year-old McFlurry and then slapped myself twice. Holy cow, has my wish finally come true? It turns out that last night, I made a wish to the heavens, hoping for a world with more women and fewer men. But now, not only have I arrived in this long-for world, but there's even an incredibly beautiful sister, Li Wanqing, who was adopted by my foster parents, with no blood relation to me. Just as I was immersed in the ocean of happiness, a sweet female voice woke me up. Brother, the first batch of the mysterious world is being distributed, aren't you going to collect it? I looked at the beautiful girl at the door and said, I'm just about to leave, and then I got up to go out. As I passed by her, I accidentally bumped her with my shoulder. Li Wanqing's face immediately turned red, and she anxiously said, Brother, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to tease you. As my expression softened, I immediately held her delicate hand and caressed it gently. A minute later, I solemnly said, We are siblings, you don't need to be so distant in the future. I can understand that young girls like you want to touch men. Hearing this, Li Wanqing shyly said, Brother, you are really too good to me. Reluctantly, I let go of her hand and walked out the door. But as soon as I walked out of the door, what caught my eye was the countless stockings and long legs on the street. Heavens, there are actually men on the street. As a man, I instantly attracted the attention of the women on the street. I should buy a lottery ticket today. I actually saw a man. I don't want to be single anymore. I really want to marry him and I'm willing to pay a dowry of 2 million. Bah, shameless. Wanting to marry a man for just 2 million. A few days ago, a female celebrity married a man and it's said that she spent a billion. And all her assets are under the man's name. You want to exclusively own her for 2 million, your nerve is too thick. I was shocked all the way to the distribution point of the mysterious world. Looking at the endless queue of people, I went straight around this group of long legs that seemed longer than my life. I suddenly cut in line and ended up in second place. Why did you cut in line? My behavior caused dissatisfaction among the girls behind me, and one of them was playing with her phone while looking down. I haven't realized yet that I am a man. I turned my head to look at him and said, because I am a man, with a loud and unreserved voice. In an instant, the whole crowd boiled over, heavens, it's actually a man. He won't delay us for long. What are you, a woman, arguing with a man for? That's right, that's right. It's not easy for the boys to come and line up. Why are women and boys arguing like this? The girl behind me hadn't even spoken yet, and many women had already started to denounce it. I was moved to the brink of tears in an instant. This world is really wonderful. Hello, this is your helmet for use, said the woman distributing items, handing over a pair of unique black helmets. Handing it to me, as you are a precious male comrade, we will emphasize some key points for you. Please be sure to pay attention to safety in the game. Once you die in the mysterious world, you will forever lose the right to enter it. I then casually took the helmet. 200 years ago, a mysterious purple mist enveloped the entire blue star, causing the genes of all mankind to evolve. The birth rate and life expectancy of all males decreased significantly. In order to find a way to prevent the extinction of humanity, the country simulated a virtual speculative world based on the nature of the purple mist, allowing all of humanity to enter it, to search for a way to save the males. After returning home, I decided to take a nap first, replenish my energy, and prepare to meet the opening of the mysterious world at 12 o'clock in the best condition. When I woke up again, it was late at night, and a sweet voice came to my ears, Brother, you're awake. I turned around and faced my sister, Li Wanqing. Yeah, I almost overslept. It's already 11 o'clock. I'll go make something to eat. Li Wanqing was shocked to hear this, how can a man cook? Let me do it. I'll make it for you right away. I almost forgot the laws of this world, when a woman is married, she must cook. If there are sisters, they have priority over cooking. Forcing a man to cook, wash dishes, or sweep the floor is considered abusive. After dinner, it was already midnight. When I put on the helmet, my vision darkened. When I opened my eyes again, I found myself in a pitch black world. Welcome, number 757, to the mysterious world. Based on the apprentice's body, the following four identity options are provided. The four options instantly confused me. At that moment, a mechanical voice sounded again, it is discovered that apprentice 757 possesses extremely high mental talents, 
providing the option for the apprentice to conceal their identity. As a gifted villager, you will be endowed with outstanding reflexes, keen insight, and awakened psychic powers. I decisively chose to conceal my identity and became a villager. The next second, I found myself standing in a mysterious, old village. At the same time, the final mechanical voice came to my ears. This is a desolate village isolated from the world for many years. It is said to conceal some unspeakable secrets. To survive and leave this village will complete the assessment. What place is this? Startled, a girl's voice came from behind me. I turned around and realized there were about 10 people standing, including myself, 7 females and 4 males. The one who spoke just now was a woman among them. Is this a mysterious world inside? This place looks a bit eerie. Another girl said uneasily. I think this should be some kind of horror event. Wang Li, the assessment leader, suddenly spoke slowly. Her voice was very steady, giving a sense of inexplicable trust. We need to work together now, first understand the current situation, and then consider how to pass the assessment. What do you think? Wang Li proposed cooperation, and the others agreed one after another. But a man and a woman glanced at each other and then left without a word. Without the slightest pause or word. Wang Li could only shake her head and said with a wry smile, cooperating with the nine of us is enough. At this moment, Li Na's words shocked everyone. I'll just say one thing, for those pretending to qualify, don't come looking for me. You might end up dying in a very unpleasant way. After speaking, Li Na stomped her foot, and the stone pedestal next to the shed was crushed into powder. I couldn't quite understand what she meant by pretending to qualify. At this moment, Wang Li suddenly asked Li Na, do you happen to have information about the mysterious world? But Li Na remained silent. At this moment, another indifferent girl spoke, in fact, explorers and the military are the first users of the mysterious world. They often know some inside information. Wang Li was surprised and asked if she knew about this news. The cold woman calmly said, I can only say that these assessments are terrifying. Please don't trust anyone. Also, in each group of assessors, there will be an old hand. As she said this, she looked at Li Na. Li Na sneered and said, I am not indifferent. The woman's words brought three important items of information. First, there is an old hand. Second, the disguised person is very dangerous. Third, do not trust anyone. Now the atmosphere among the crowd immediately became strange. Just then, a sound of a door opening came in this quiet village. Everyone suddenly looked towards the door, only to see a figure walking out from the house. It was a pale-faced old man, with a touch of sickly madness on his face. He slowly cracked a strange smile at the crowd and said, Hee hee, another outsider has arrived. Seeing this, Wang Li walked up and asked the old man, Are you from this village? The old man didn't speak, but stared at him and chuckled strangely. Faced with the old man's chilling gaze, a woman asked uneasily, What are you looking at, old man? Hee hee, I'm looking at how you will die later. Hearing this, the crowd shuddered. There had been hints in the recent mysterious world, understanding this village was the most important thing. This old man seemed to be an important clue, but he didn't seem like he would easily cooperate. Suddenly, another door opening sound is heard. Has another outsider arrived? This time, a kind-looking, stooped old man came out. Then several more doors opened, and the people who came out immediately looked at us with strange eyes, a bewildering scene that made everyone uncomfortable. Wang Li took a deep breath and then said to the kind old man, old man. We have just arrived in the village. You want to leave the village, right? The kind old man smiled and said, There are two ways. First, live in the village for seven days. After seven days, there will be one day when it won't get dark in the village, and that's when you can leave the village. Second, solve the strange phenomena in the village. Suddenly, not far away, a fat woman made a swallowing sound, which was slightly loud and very clear in the silent atmosphere. The greedy eyes of the fat woman were scanning, as if searching for some delicious food. I noticed her gaze landed on me. I felt a chill down my spine and cried out in alarm. The Kamas Li Na stepped forward and asked, What are the strange events? The kind old man smiled and said, People who sleep at night and those who have nowhere to stay will die. We don't know what's going on. If you solve it, you can leave. Li Na's face darkened. Isn't this nonsense? How do we solve these unfounded strange events? Obviously, the only option in front of everyone is to stay for seven days. Old man, can we rely on your help? Wang Li asked. The kind old man replied, usually, this is how the outsiders do it, but each household can only accommodate one, and if you want to stay at someone's home, you must meet their conditions for staying. As soon as this was said, the villagers all showed a nervous smile on their faces, their eager and expectant eyes undisguised. It will be dark in a little over an hour. You'd better go and negotiate with them first, or it will be dark. 
If the conditions are not met, you will die, the kind old man reminded with a smile. This was not a very united group to begin with, and after hearing the old man's words, they all couldn't sit still. Can I stay at your house, old man? A girl asked. Sure, the kind old man grinned, showing a mouthful of yellow teeth, if you meet my conditions. The girl curiously asked, what conditions? The kind old man said that his house was out of oil and needed the girl to go to the nearby grocery store to buy kerosene, then she could stay for one night. The girl felt happy and immediately agreed. But when the girl agreed, a few villagers couldn't help but laugh and then looked at the girl with pity. The girl naturally noticed and felt that something was wrong, but she didn't pursue it. At this point, the fat woman greeted me and asked if I wanted to stay at her house. Big sister, what are the conditions for staying at your place? I replied. You just need to let me eat a piece of meat every day. The obese woman wiped the drool from the corner of her mouth and said, I won't eat you to death. I'll only eat a piece every day, and I'll cut it very lightly so you won't feel any pain. I felt a chill all over and forced a dry laugh. Sister, I really don't want to be eaten. Why don't you ask someone else? Upon hearing my refusal, the others fell silent. Who do you think would want to be eaten? Now everyone realizes one thing, trying to meet the residency conditions might cost them their lives. This is really foolish. Suddenly, a deep female voice rang out, and a tall woman emerged from behind us. She was one of the nine who spoke less. You want to feed me? The obese woman looked at the tall woman in surprise and asked, Do you think I need to negotiate terms with you? The tall girl sneered and quickly reached out, grabbing the obese woman's neck. If I kill you, can't I just move in? The tall woman stunned all of us. Why negotiate terms with them in this mysterious world where there are no laws? But this idea was quickly extinguished. Ha, huh, she's making a move. The obese woman, being held, seemed inexplicably delighted, looking at the kindly old man and asking, village head, can I just eat her? The kindly old man nodded, indicating that she could go ahead. The tall woman hadn't reacted yet, and the next second she was overpowered by the obese woman and dragged back into the house. Soon, a piercing sound of sharpening knives came from the house. You can't go to their house. The kind old man, also known as the village chief, looked at everyone. At least for today, it's not possible. The fleeting scene left the eight of us dumbfounded, frozen in place. One woman was so scared that she wet her pants. It seems that you are the only one who can remain calm in this situation. He looked around as if nothing had happened, then his gaze fell on the old jade. What do you need to stay at your house? We're out of water at home. Can you help me fetch water from the village center well? Just fill the water tank before tomorrow. If you agree, you can stay here, old jade replied. Lina furrowed her brow slightly, then agreed. After most of the others recovered, they went to various households one after another, inquiring about the conditions. When they learned that these villagers could kill them at will, everyone's heart grew heavy. Perhaps compared to the strange events that had not yet occurred at night, these villagers were even more dangerous. But only my footsteps didn't move. In fact, I had been observing these villagers all along. Before the first girl asked about the village chief's living conditions, I had already thought about asking. But as soon as this thought arose, my back was soaked with sweat. It's as if choosing the village chief would definitely lead to death. Apart from the village chief, the mother and son made me feel the most suffocated. The terrifying sense of oppression made me faint. I understand, this may be related to my mental power. I continued to scan the crowd, looking for the least dangerous villagers to fulfill the conditions. Finally, I grimly realized that the least dangerous ones were. It turned out to be that pale-faced strange old man. So I walked directly towards him and asked, What do you need to stay here, old man? The strange old man stared at me, and after a while, he coldly said, Many people in the village owe me, return one and I'll let you stay for a day. My heart sank. I was actually collecting debts from those monsters. Could this sixth sense brought by my psychic power be deceiving me? After a moment of silence, I still chose to believe in my own abilities and nodded in agreement. The strange old man chuckled, walked into the house, and threw me a very old notebook. I opened it directly and saw that the old village had owed half a kilogram of lamp oil. I immediately flipped to that page, having made up my mind. No matter what happens, I will not go to that most dangerous village head. Zhao the blacksmith owes five pounds of meat. The widow and her son owe twenty bundles of firewood. Wang Laosher owes a life-saving favor once. Inside were all sorts of strange debts. Seeing others starting to bustle around, afraid of nightfall, I quickly chose Lee the blacksmith who owed meat. Before long, I arrived at the blacksmith's shop. At the shop, there was a young man in modern clothing, conversing with a giant over two meters tall. But half a minute later, the man left. I immediately walked up and asked, Big brother, are you Zhao the blacksmith? Zhao the blacksmith glanced at me and said, Kid, do you also want to stay? 
I was taken aback and glanced at the young man who had just left. Could he have been discussing the matter of moving in with Zhao the blacksmith? But he, he is not one of us. It seems that the assessment for entry is not just for the eleven of us. Without much thought, I forced a smile and said, Big brother, no, I'm here to ask for the five pounds of meat owed to the old man over there. Upon hearing about the debt, Zhao the blacksmith's face darkened, and his round eyes suddenly turned red. Suddenly, a sense of impending doom washed over me. Blacksmith brother, I'm just relaying a message. It's okay if you don't want to repay. I'll leave right away. As soon as I finished speaking, that aura of death abruptly dissipated from me. I'll let you go, Zhao the blacksmith stopped me from leaving. I inwardly lamented. I knew asking for a debt wasn't a simple matter. Blacksmith brother, do you have any instructions for me? I fawned. Since he sent you to ask for the meat, then I will definitely repay. Zhao the blacksmith took out a boning knife and threw it to me, saying, take this knife to the butcher in the east, and I will give you the five pounds of meat. Instantly, a very oppressive sense of danger enveloped me. Obviously, handing over the knife was a deadly matter. The plump woman consulted the village chief before killing the tall woman with the knife. It seems that these villagers cannot be killed at will. We may be touching certain rules. It's better to say nothing, such as the tall woman's proactive attack before being killed. For example, it could make them angry, or stepping into someone else's doorway could also be a rule. These are just some of my speculations. After all, judging from the blacksmith Zhao's angry reaction just now, my speculations should be correct. But even if I'm unwilling, I can only grit my teeth and go look for it now. At the same time, the assessors are completing their tasks. The girl, as per the village chief's request, arrived at the grocery store and offered to help buy kerosene for the village chief. But the grocery store owner asked where her barter item was. The girl was stunned, not understanding what a barter item was. The owner cracked a smile, since there's no barter item, I'll grind you into oil and personally deliver half of it to him. Near the village center's well, Lena dropped the bucket tied well rope. After a while, he was just about to pull up the well rope. But he found the well rope stuck, unable to pull it up. Puzzled, he looked down the well and saw a pair of pale hands grabbing the rope, slowly climbing up. However, I didn't know about these things. Otherwise, I would be grateful for my sixth sense. At this moment, I was standing far from the butcher's house. The closer I got to the butcher's house, the more the sense of impending death made my heart race. But as I crouched in this corner for a long time feeling lost, the dark clouds in the sky slowly began to envelop the village. I knew that without a place to stay when night fell, I would surely die. The only option is to find the butcher to deliver the knife. But this is no different from seeking death. Maybe I should just throw the knife in, then run away. I racked my brains, pondering a solution. Suddenly, with a creak, the old wooden door of the butcher's house opened. A chubby man with excess flesh all over his body. He walked out of the house holding a boning knife and glanced around. Seeing no customers, he walked in another direction. I, who was just wearing a worried look, suddenly became ecstatic. I remembered that Zhao the blacksmith's request was to deliver the knife to the butcher's house, not directly to the butcher. So I didn't dare to hesitate and immediately rushed into the butcher's house holding the knife. I put the knife on the table, turned to run, but just as my foot was about to step out the door, it closed with a click. A gruff voice sounded, Who are you? Are you here to steal from my house? I turned around and saw a child staring at me. I thought to myself, could this be the butcher's child? I didn't want to engage, so I reached out to open the door, but found it as immovable as a heavy stone. I broke out in a cold sweat. If the butcher returned at this moment, I would be in big trouble. I'm not a thief, I'm here to deliver a knife for Zhao the blacksmith, I hurriedly explained. The child receiving the knife looked at the one on the table and nodded slowly. Can you please open the door, little friend? I asked. The child shook his head. My dad always checks the knife. If it's not good, he will chop you up and eat you. If you leave, he will take it out on me. Kids, let's play hide and seek together. While waiting for your dad to come back, I suddenly realized this idea. The kids were immediately delighted at the idea of playing hide and seek. Yes, yes, I love playing hide and seek. No one plays with me. You be the seeker, and I'll be the hider. You catch me, big brother. How about that? I agreed. The kids nodded eagerly as I agreed to be the seeker. Seeing them fall for it, I breathed a sigh of relief. The kids, with bright smiles, turned around and started counting, 60, 59, 58. Meanwhile, I had already run out with all my might. By the time I escaped back to Zhao's blacksmith shop, I was completely out of breath. Blacksmith, I've delivered the knife. Standing at the door, the blacksmith Zhao looked at me with disdain, scrutinizing my limbs as if surprised that I had returned alive. He then threw a bag of fat meat at me. Seeing that the payment was about to be received, I breathed a small sigh of relief. 
The condition for staying was considered fulfilled, but the blacksmith Xiao suddenly chuckled strangely. It's still two or three minutes before nightfall. It's not just a two or three minute journey from here to that old man's house. It's definitely more than a two or three minute journey. Suddenly, my sixth sense kicked in, and a sense of danger beyond the old village chief surged through me. My face turned pale, and I ran towards the old man's house. I couldn't find a single soul on the way, and the smell of blood in the air suddenly intensified. As I passed by some dense grass and a dilapidated shack, I even saw pairs of starry eyes staring at me. I thought it was just my imagination, but when I heard terrifying howls nearby, I couldn't dismiss it as such. I was terrified, wishing I had an extra leg to escape. Fortunately, after a brief sprint, I saw the old man's dilapidated wooden house. Despite feeling exhausted, I felt rescued and joy surged within me, just as I was about to shout for the old man. I've got you, a hoarse, sharp, and excited voice suddenly came from behind me. I found my feet being held by two large hands, unable to move no matter how hard I tried. Following that, my sixth sense frantically foretold that my head would be bitten into pieces in the next second. Terrified and on the brink of death, I grasped at the last straw, shouting at the house, Old man, I brought your things back, I fulfilled the conditions, just as a wave of bloodthirsty air was about to engulf my right cheek. The door of the old man's house slowly opened, casting a faint light on the path ahead. The bloody smell on my face suddenly disappeared, and I regained control of my body, quickly running into the house. The old man smirked and said to me, You're really lucky, then took the bag of meat and walked away. My back was covered in cold sweat, feeling like if I had been a second later, I would have lost my life. At this moment, a miserable cry shattered the tranquility of the village, Help, please open the door and save me, I'll do anything, please, please. The cry suddenly stopped, and the village returned to peace. Obviously, someone who didn't meet the residency conditions was killed outside. I felt a chill down my spine and chose to rest quietly by the wall. My eyelids started to feel heavy, and I became sleepy. Suddenly, a piercing coldness made my whole body break out in goosebumps, jolting me awake. To my surprise, there were countless pairs of eyes at the window, staring at me intently. Noticing that Li Xiaoshui woke up, those expectant and excited crimson eyes revealed a human-like astonishment and disappointment in the next instant. They disappeared completely from around the room. The once brightly lit red room returned to darkness. Everything seemed as if it had never existed. What are those eyes? Even if Li Xiaoshui was confused, he couldn't mistake this for a dream. In fact, Li Xiaoshui felt that if it weren't for his sixth sense warning him, once he fell asleep, those crimson eyes would rush into the room and devour him completely. Could it be, those strange things in the village? Are they, staring at him, even when he's asleep? The original feeling of drowsiness in Li Xiaoshui vanished instantly in fear. Who? Suddenly, a sound of breath. Li Xiaoshui looked up abruptly. The old shack, with its extinguished oil lamp, lit up. It was the strange old man adding oil and igniting the fire. His pale eyes stared straight at Li Xiaoshui. I didn't expect you to stay awake. Li Xiaoshui's eyes were alert, and after a moment of silence, he asked, Old man, is it true that if you don't turn on the lights in the house, a person's sleepiness doubles? The strange old man was taken aback, deeply looked at Li Xiaoshui, and didn't respond. It seemed like he guessed it right. He thought, how could he almost fall asleep under such a crisis? This old man, he intentionally didn't light the lamp before, didn't he have ill intentions? The two of them fell back into their initial silence. Discovering the crimson eyes had a great impact on Li Xiaoshui. The strangeness of this village far exceeded his imagination. Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but connect the crimson eyes with the monsters that chased him last night. At the same time, a certain speculation arose. Suddenly, Li Xiaoshui spoke seriously to the strange old man, smiling, Old man, I want to understand the situation of this village. If you're willing to reveal some information, maybe we can solve the strangeness of the village and save you all. Solve the strangeness of the village? The pale face of the strange old man carried a chilling expression. You will die a miserable death, for sure. As expected, he couldn't get an answer from him. However, Li Xiaoshui also couldn't come up with an answer. The strange old man's response vaguely confirmed the speculation in Li Xiaoshui's heart. Another night passed without a word. It was impossible for Li Xiaoshui not to feel tired. Mental exhaustion was the most difficult to endure, even if the oil lamp was lit, his eyelids were fighting to stay open. 
But just thinking about those crimson eyes, Li Xiaoshui could only force himself, until it was barely dawn, and seeing that the strange old man had fallen asleep, he entered a restless sleep with unease. Li Xiaoshui slept lightly, awakened by a girl's scream. Seeing that he was unharmed, and the strange old man was still asleep in the room. Li Xiaoshui let out a sigh of relief, he had safely made it through the first day. Then, Li Xiaoshui raised his head, and the sunlight outside the house was dazzling. After a moment of contemplation, he decided to go and see the situation. It was already bright outside, so he should be able to go out. But as soon as he stepped out of the house, a strong smell of blood hit him. Li Xiaoshui looked around, his face suddenly darkened. The sky was sunny, and under the warm temperature of the sun, the small village emitted a chilling coldness. Cold and silent, the village was bathed in a pale light, not even the basic sounds of birds or insects could be heard. The atmosphere was heavy, like a morgue in a hospital. At this moment, the old, moldy wooden houses from yesterday were splattered with patches of blood at the entrances and windows to varying degrees. On the pockmarked road in the center of the houses, there were pieces of human bones gnawed clean, along with scattered rotten skin and blood-soaked hair. The ground was covered in bloody mud and dirt. It was foul-smelling, cold, and terrifying. Li Xiaoshui stared at all of this, his breathing becoming slightly rapid. Soon, two figures emerged from nearby houses. Li Na. A woman with long black hair. I in the village street, besides Li Xiaoshui, there was a scream, and Sato Haruko screamed. It seems that in our group, only the four of us are alive, said the black-haired woman calmly. What, what do you mean? Aren't there nine of us? The others, should still be inside, right? Sato Haruko quickly said. The others? They're probably mostly underground, Li Na sneered. Li Na, your hand. Suddenly, Sato Haruko exclaimed. It's nothing. I was bitten while fetching water yesterday. It'll heal after the assessment is over, Li Na said calmly. Li Xiaoshui noticed as soon as he came out that Li Na's arm and chest were covered in blood. Her hand was completely gone, and her left arm sleeve was torn off as well. Then, how are you going to fulfill today's conditions like this? Sato Haruko asked worriedly. Li Na remained silent. This was also a difficult situation for her. They don't intend to let us. Past the assessment alive, a hoarse female voice suddenly sounded on the desolate village road. Li Xiaoshui and the other three turned their heads to look. Seven or eight people were approaching them. Three men and five women. The one speaking was a tall and plump woman with a beauty mark on the corner of her eye. We are the assessors from the other two groups, the plump woman said. My name is Yang Qingqian. Let's get straight to the point. In just our two groups, 14 people have died. We have entered a special assessment where no one can survive for more than seven days. I want to gather everyone and discuss a solution. Li Xiaoshui and the other three looked at each other. People gathering to discuss? After the various crises of yesterday, everyone, without prior agreement, chose to agree. Li Xiaoshui had noticed the situation with the assessment groups yesterday, so it wasn't surprising. All right, all three groups are here. Shall we start discussing? I can't stay in this village any longer, a man with triangular eyes spoke up. Li Na nodded. The remaining twelve people from the three groups gathered together. Does anyone plan on going through the conditions for staying here again? Li Na looked around. Almost everyone had an unpleasant expression. All right, then let's discuss the two remaining options solving the village's strange occurrences and finding a way out of the village. First, does anyone have any information about the strange occurrences? Li Na asked. Strange occurrences? To be honest, I don't know anything about it. I can't find any information at all, a man said. Same here. I almost got eaten, a girl said with lingering fear. Most remained silent. I? I know something. Suddenly, a girl who was extremely beautiful but covered in injuries raised her hand. Everyone's gaze fell on her. Yesterday. I slept with a drunkard and fulfilled the conditions for staying here, the girl said slowly. When she mentioned sleeping with him, her face turned pale, 
and she trembled as she covered several wounds. Then she continued, he told me something, the purpose of everyone in this village is only one thing, to eat us within the rules. Is what you're saying true? What rules? Did he say anything else? This piece of information was undoubtedly a bombshell, making them even more terrified and anxious. He only said that to me, I don't know anything else, the beautiful woman replied with a pale face. Everyone fell silent. Then, they believed this information. After all, the endless strangeness in this mysterious village, the selling of human meat, the hanging bones, everything they had experienced confirmed the logic of her words. I think the rules might be that they can't harm us directly, they can only use things like fulfilling the conditions for staying here to kill us, Yang Qingqian made a guess that most people had in mind, and then asked, does anyone have any other crucial information? If not, we can discuss special matters. Several people started speaking one after another, two people from our group went to the grocery store and both died. That place, it's best not to touch. Although we can't go out at night, I found out that the villagers can. Some useful information was revealed. Do you have something to say? Suddenly, Yang Qingqian noticed Li Xiaoshui, who seemed hesitant to speak. After thinking for a moment, Li Xiaoshui said, it's best to keep the lights on in the house. If the lights go out, people will easily fall asleep. But those villagers won't care about us. I suggest making a torch as a backup. The faces of the people turn serious. This information is very important. Many people may have died from this last night. Yang Qingchen nodded. In fact, Li Xiaoshui wanted to mention the crimson eyes he saw last night. But he realized that it would be meaningless to say it. Without his sixth sense warning, seeing those eyes meant death was near. As for Li Xiaoshui's speculation about the village's strange events, relying on the outstanding insight of the naturally gifted villagers, although he had some clues and guesses, Li Xiaoshui still didn't say anything. He planned to follow the others first and search for a way out of the village. Seeing that no one else was speaking, Yang Qingxian said, it seems that finding information won't be done in a day. So let's first look for a way out of the village, and then discuss in detail how to find information. After all, the initial assessment task is to stay alive and leave the village. It's not about what the villagers said, surviving for seven days. I believe there must be a way. This statement was agreed upon. Most people placed their hopes on this matter. However, although the village was large, it was surrounded by fog, and nothing could be seen clearly. It would take time to find an exit. So, the twelve people were divided into four groups, with three people in each group. They would gather at the starting point after two hours. Li Xiaoshui was assigned to the east. The members of his group were Li Xiaoshui, Li Na, and the woman with long black hair. They were all acquaintances, so they wouldn't be too unfamiliar with each other. The road in the silent village was so cold that it made people shiver. The three of them walked in silence, looking around. Suddenly, what's your name again? Li Xiaoshui was taken aback when he saw Li Nao looking at him. Pan Yu Yen. Coincidentally, there was a super handsome celebrity with the same name in this world. Li Na rolled her eyes impatiently and sighed, you know something, right? What? Li Xiaoshui was puzzled. Don't play dumb. My ability tells me that you are the person who knows the most information at the moment, Li Na said. Li Xiaoshui looked at Li Na in astonishment. An ability? There's such an ability? Could it be that what she said earlier about the disguised person was also based on this ability? Li Na's words also caught the attention of the woman with long black hair, who stared at Li Xiaoshui. I have some speculations. Let's do this, if we don't find an exit, I'll tell everyone. I can't handle this on my own, Li Xiaoshui said. Okay. Li Na nodded without further questioning. The woman with long black hair also looked at Li Xiaoshui deeply, but she didn't ask any unnecessary questions either. The three of them continued their search. In the eastern direction, the farthest point was a forest. A forest that seemed endless. A strong sixth sense told Li Xiaoshui that once he entered, he wouldn't be able to come out again. Li Na and the woman with long black hair also sensed the danger and didn't want to take the risk. 
Obviously, there was no exit in this direction. After exchanging a few words, they prepared to go back and communicate. However, when they reached a dilapidated old house, Li Xiaoshui stopped in his tracks. How strong are your combat abilities? Li Xiaoshui asked Li Na and furrowed her brows. What's wrong? I need your help. It's crucial for us to complete the assessment. Li Xiaoshui said. Li Na raised an eyebrow, just do it. I have no problem. The woman with long black hair replied. Li Xiaoshui didn't waste any words and looked sullenly at the empty old house. He asked the two to accompany him inside. The old wooden house was messy. It was dark and filled with dense cobwebs. The ground was scattered with yellowed human bones, as well as a fresh and broken human skeleton. It seems that the person who hid in this kind of house didn't meet the check-in conditions yesterday. The further they went in, the more they discovered a strong smell of blood lingering in the house. Direction, on the top. The three of them simultaneously noticed and remained vigilant as they looked up. On the roof, there was a crimson giant web. On the giant web, there lay a huge black shadow that was only two or three meters in size. A humanoid spider. It had a human-like head, a ferocious head with sharp fangs, and it was currently sleeping with its eyes closed. It had eight bone claws that were twice as long as those of an ordinary human, and its body was a round-shaped meatball with numerous pale and agonized male and female faces. At the moment they saw this monster, Li Na and the woman with long black hair's faces changed drastically, and without hesitation, they grabbed Li Xiaoshui and ran out. Are you crazy? Li Na's scalp tingled. The terrifying events they experienced yesterday had already instilled fear in her. Are we supposed to deal with these monsters in the village? Li Xiaoshui said. If we can't find an exit and don't survive for seven days, this is our only chance. I'm confident that we can kill it now. How confident are you? The woman with long black hair asked. 50%. The woman with long black hair and Li Na exchanged glances. A 50% chance was not low. Not everyone was like Li Xiu Shui. Facing those villagers demanding payment was like heaven. They didn't want to experience the horror brought by the strange events again. The two of them pondered for a moment. Let's go back and take a look. If there's no way out, I'll agree to take action. Li Na said. Me too. The woman with long black hair replied. Okay. Li Xiaoshui didn't refuse. It wouldn't make a difference at this point. When the three of them returned to the original location, the other two groups had also returned. It was the same for all of them, the exit was an endless forest. They couldn't find a way out. They waited for a few minutes. Yang Qingqian came back. We found the way out. Yang Qingqian's words filled everyone with joy. But, we dare not go in. Yang Qingqian frowned. The joy instantly turned into disappointment. Why don't you dare to go in, someone immediately questioned. At the entrance of the village, there is a black mist. We briefly investigated, and didn't dare to go in. Yang Qingqian said. Your tone, did you find something during the investigation? Li Na asked. Yes. That's why I came back to call you all. Let's go and see the situation together. Yang Qingqian said. Everyone looked at each other. Although they were puzzled, they decided to personally go and see the situation based on Li Na's words. After half an hour's journey, they arrived. As expected, it was the exit. A small path was built in the middle of the dense forest, and at the exit, there was a hazy black mist that obscured their vision. A faint pungent smell came from inside. Yang Qingxian's group of three now only had one male left. Where is she? Yang Qingxian asked when she noticed that the other girl was missing. She couldn't resist going in to take a look and hasn't come out. I didn't dare to go in, the man quickly said. When did she go in? Yang Qingxian asked. Just after you left. Someone couldn't resist and went in and disappeared? The sudden event caused everyone's faces to change slightly. Li Na remained indifferent. 
She walked out of the crowd and approached the mist first. She reached in with her hand and found no harm, then she cautiously stuck half of her body in. After a while, Lina came out. Not far away, there seemed to be brightly lit doors. I saw eight of them. I didn't see anyone from our group. Li Na said. Right. Yang Qingchen nodded. I suspect that those are the exits. She might have gone into one of those doors alone. Hearing this, several people immediately walked over and peeked inside the houses. They came to the same conclusion. Could it be that those doors are the exits? A girl asked. That's what I think. But this mist is strange, I don't dare to enter casually. I didn't expect her to act alone. Yang Qingqian sighed. Your idea is to go in together, someone asked. Yang Qingqian nodded. I don't think anyone wants to go through the conditions of staying there a second time. Besides, there are still six days left. After six days, unless something unexpected happens, we will all be killed by those villagers. It's worth going in to find out. After all, this is the only way out, and even if there is danger, with so many of us, there is still hope. The ten or so people fell into deep thought. If they didn't know that they would almost certainly die in seven days, they wouldn't have considered finding an exit as a way to save their lives. All right, I'm willing. Then let's go and take a look. If it doesn't work, we'll come back immediately. At worst, we'll fail the assessment, which is better than dying. Right. Let's go and see. Most of the ten or so people agreed to this plan. Yang Qingqian smiled. Just as she was about to say something, Li Xiaoshui suddenly spoke up. I'm not going in. The opposing voice surprised everyone present. Why? I feel it's very dangerous, Li Xiaoshui said. This was Li Xiaoshui's sixth sense. He tried to say the same words, but his sixth sense suddenly gave him a strong sense of danger. Yang Qingqian didn't insist. Instead, she gently said that if they didn't come out in half an hour, Li Xiaoshui could go in, as it would definitely be the exit. There were no other people who opposed like Li Xiaoshui. Even if it was dangerous, could it be more dangerous than staying in this eerie village? Only two people stayed outside. Li Xiaoshui and the silent woman with long black hair. In the black mist, everyone slowly walked deeper. Each person held hope, but also felt cautious. However, the further they went, the stronger the strange stench became. After walking for about 10 meters, as they approached those doors, some people felt that this didn't seem like an exit. Many people felt uneasy, but still chose to persevere. Finally, they approached those doors. A nauseating stench wafted through the air. At the top of the black mist, there seemed to be twisted and distorted grotesque flesh. When everyone stood in front of the white doors that were one or two meters high, someone pushed with all their strength but found that no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't move them. Why do I feel like this isn't a door? Right. It looks like, teeth? An old laughter rang out. Ah, yes, I think it looks like teeth magnified countless times. I'm a dentist. The man continued. As soon as he said that, he suddenly froze. Strange, who made that old voice? Not only him, but also the people who were fiddling with the white doors, their faces all changed. He he, great, there's so much meat to eat, great. The old voice laughed strangely, and those white doors shook violently up and down, as if laughing in their mouths. Not good, run. Yang Qingqian reacted and shouted in alarm. How could the others not react? Like madmen, they immediately ran out. Just as Yang Qingqian was about to run, a row of white doors suddenly fell from above, with a loud crack, biting her and three others who couldn't run in time into two pieces, and then, two rows of white doors quickly chewed, reducing the six pieces of corpses into fragments, and then swallowed them. The first person to rush out of the black mist was Li Na. Following closely behind her, there were four more people, all running in a panic, afraid that the monster inside would chase after them. Li Na and the other five people didn't dare to stop even when they ran out of the mist, only stopping their footsteps when they had run hundreds of meters away, still in a state of shock as they looked back at the black mist. Seeing that there was no movement inside, they finally stopped and caught their breath. 
Li Xiaoshui and the woman with long black hair exchanged glances, both showing a look of relief, and then followed behind. What happened? Where's Yang Qing Chen? Li Xiaoshui asked. Those who didn't come out are all dead, it was a trap, Li Na calmed her emotions and said coldly, there's a terrifying monster inside. Indeed, the sixth sense is accurate. Without Yang Qing Chen as the backbone, the few survivors had pale faces and rested in place. A few minutes later, as the body's functions recovered, finally, a man's voice broke down and said, We can't get out of this exit. Do we really have to live here for seven days before we can leave? What if we live for seven days and still can't get out? What should we do? The extremely beautiful woman who provided important information said with a crying tone. These two pessimistic remarks made everyone's mood low. Li Xiaoshui sighed inwardly. In fact, wanting to find an exit in one day through this assessment was indeed a fantasy. The scene was quiet. Li Na spoke up, the exit is not accessible. Can you tell us now, should we complete the assessment? She looked at Li Xiaoshui. Li Na, what do you mean by that? Does he know how to pass the assessment? The rest of the people followed her gaze and stared in disbelief at Li Xiaoshui, who had chosen not to enter earlier. I didn't expect it to develop like this. If I knew people would die, I would have said it earlier. Li Xiaoshui sighed. Do you really know, the extremely beautiful woman asked anxiously. Yes, I know, he calmly responded, reigniting the hopes of several people. Tell us quickly. Okay, I was planning to say it anyway. But before I do, I have a request. After knowing the information, I need each of you to follow my command. Li Xiaoshui said. I'll do anything you ask, the extremely beautiful girl said. I'll listen to you if you know. As long as we can get out. For the few people who had caught hold of a lifeline, this was only natural. Li Xiaoshui said, okay, first, let me ask you a question. When we first came in, we all received information from the villagers, right? Did they all say that as long as we solve the mysterious source that keeps us from sleeping at night in the village, we can leave? Several people responded. Li Na exclaimed, do you know the mysterious source? Li Xiaoshui nodded, yes, my method is to solve the mysterious source. But, instead of saying that we need to solve the mysterious source, it's more accurate to say that from the beginning, this village doesn't have any mysterious source. These words from the villagers are just meant to mislead us and make us choose to stay for seven days. Are you mistaken in your analysis? If what you're saying is true, then why do we still die when we sleep at night? A girl immediately questioned. Li Xiaoshui smiled and said, What if I told you that what kills us when we sleep at night is not some so-called mystery, but these villagers themselves? And this situation is just a rule that allows the villagers to kill us? After his words, the scene fell into silence. At night, those villagers who lived together, in fact, were waiting for them to sleep and kill them? The mysterious source, in other words, this village, these villagers. Everyone couldn't help but feel a chill. Li Xiaoshui's explanation seemed to have no loopholes. So, to solve the mysterious source and complete the assessment, the method is to kill all these villagers. Li Xiaoshui gave the answer. The reason why Li Xiaoshui made such a conjecture was all because of last night's experience. First, there was the appearance of the mysterious at night. When Li Xiaoshui was almost caught by the mysterious last night, he had a doubt in his heart why did the mysterious appear so suddenly. It was as if they lived in those broken houses, old houses, and even in conspicuous bushes. They would come out as soon as night fell. This made Li Xiaoshui have an inexplicable guess. Assuming that these mysterious beings were the villagers of the village, then it would be natural for them to live in the village, right? So, when the crimson eyes appeared, Li Xiaoshui continued his speculation, assuming that the villagers were the mysterious, he thought. Perhaps, under certain rules, the villagers of the village played the role of villagers during the day. But at night, they could escape the rules and become mysterious, capable of killing anyone who violated the rules of the assessment? For example, coming out on the street, for example, falling asleep at night? This behavior violates the rules. As long as there is such speculation, all contradictions, doubts, and strangeness can be easily understood. 
and there are two pieces of information that confirm his speculation. First, someone mentioned in today's discussion that villagers can go out at night. Obviously, the villagers are not afraid of the strange. The only possibility for not being afraid is that they are the strange ones. Second, last night, he pretended to ask the strange old man to solve the source of the strangeness. This is a probe after making a guess last night. According to common sense, if the strangeness has caused trouble for the village, how could they be indifferent? Not providing any information? Always unresponsive, there is only one possibility, they are the strange ones and they won't help him deal with themselves. This is the starting point for Li Xiaoshui's speculation. Li Xiaoshui also believes that his speculation is correct. It's just that, the answer he gave in his speculation shattered the hopes of several people who had just risen. The villagers are the source of the strangeness? Kill all these villagers? Hey! Are you joking? Have you seen them take action? They are all monsters. How could we possibly kill them? It's over, it's over, we can't get out. Even Li Na's face looked ugly. It's not that she doesn't believe Li Xiaoshui's inference, on the contrary, it is because she believes in his inference that she feels this assessment cannot be passed. Can any villager kill them all? Kill all the villagers? Who wouldn't despair? In a burst of wailing, the woman with long black hair spoke softly, tell us, how can you solve them? You must have a plan. Hearing this, everyone suddenly realized that Li Xiaoshui's expression was calm. It seemed that he didn't care about these things that they were at a loss about. Haven't you noticed? Li Xiaoshui asked. Notice what? Li Xiaoshui sneered, there is something very illogical in this village. During the day, isn't it too quiet? This is the second point that Li Xiaoshui cares about. In the morning, Haruko Sato let out a sharp scream. However, only the players who were awakened by the scream. Those strange villagers were still sleeping soundly, as if they couldn't hear any noise, this is really abnormal. According to their terrifying abilities, it is impossible not to notice. Remember, their simultaneous awakening yesterday was basically at dusk when there was no sunlight. Therefore, Li Xiaoshui made a second speculation, during the day in the village, the villagers have some reason why they cannot wake up, or they do not want to wake up. It is also possible, that they fear sunlight. The basis is that just now, when he and Li Na and the woman with long black hair went to the dilapidated old house, they encountered that strange spider person, but they were indifferent, this, is their chance. This assessment cannot leave no room for survival. The daytime is the opportunity. Li Xiaoshui did not hide these views and quickly revealed them all. Everyone fell into deep thought, silently digesting Li Xiaoshui's words. Unlike the despair they felt when they heard the villagers. Li Xiaoshui's words were full of possibilities and brought hope to everyone. If what he said is true, indeed, the daytime is their only chance. Finally, after several minutes of thinking. Knowing that the villagers cannot come out during the day is not enough to kill them. I have ideas on how to kill them. However, I need your help to accomplish it, Li Xiaoshui broke the silence of the crowd. What do you want me to do, tell me, a man stepped forward and made a statement. Now, I believe you can lead us through this assessment. Me too, a beautiful girl said. Are we going to kill that spider? Li Na asked. Yes, Li Xiaoshui nodded. No one objected. Li Xiaoshui had explained the spider issue when he explained the daytime problem just now. At this moment, everyone listened to and trusted Li Xiaoshui. Soon, a group of people, including Li Xiaoshui, a total of seven, returned along the same path and entered the dilapidated old house. When they saw the terrifying and strange humanoid spider on the ceiling, everyone's faces became serious. Let's follow what I said on the way here, Li Xiaoshui said. The group looked at each other and quickly started to act. How did you get out? The extremely beautiful woman saw Li Xiaoshui standing outside the old house and couldn't help but be surprised. Shouldn't dangerous things like this be done by you girls? Li Xiaoshui asked in return. Well, this is a test. Straight women. Protecting men is the responsibility of you women, isn't it? Women should stand tall. 
Li Xiaoshui scolded. Several women remain silent. These words are indeed true in the real world. Several women were not convinced by Li Xiaoshui, but the remaining male showed a hint of interest, as if he also wanted to hide outside with Li Xiaoshui. However, he was stared at by Li Nana's cold gaze and couldn't help but tremble, extinguishing this thought. Allowing Li Xiaoshui to do as he pleased was simply because he couldn't get hurt or die. After all, he didn't reveal everything, he kept a trick up his sleeve. As for the others, during the test, they could only enjoy equal treatment between men and women. Soon, the dilapidated old house had broken windows and bricks dug out. One after another, the cold sunlight shone into the house. Everyone ran out of the house and cautiously watched, one second, five seconds, ten seconds, suddenly. Ah, a scream rang out. Immediately after, the dilapidated old house seemed to be experiencing some intense struggle with the spider monster. The sound of impact and roaring made the entire house shake incessantly. Tiles and wall fragments began to fall and collapse. Li Xiaoshui carefully watched the nearest houses. It was just as he had guessed. There was no movement. Indeed, it seemed that during the day, all the villagers were under some specific restriction and had to sleep. Thinking of this, Li Xiaoshui breathed a sigh of relief. His speculation was correct. But what about the spider inside? What would happen if it was exposed to sunlight? Death? Injury? The agonizing scream just now was filled with pain. Two minutes later, under this turmoil, the dilapidated old house was in ruins, almost scrapped. The noise also stopped. The village returned to its usual silence. Everyone's gaze fell on Li Xiaoshui, waiting for instructions. Li Xiaoshui remained silent, deep in thought, until another five minutes passed. Go in and take a look together, Li Xiaoshui said. Be careful, if the monster is alive, then come out. Upon hearing this, everyone, led by Li Nana, cautiously moved forward. Soon, they disappeared into the slightly collapsed entrance of the house. A few seconds later, come out. Li Nana's urgent shout. Several figures rushed out. But one girl was a bit slower. In the darkness, a giant spider web shot out and quickly wrapped around her thigh. Save me, the girl screamed in terror. Help quickly! Li Xiaoshui shouted. Li Nana and the others finally stopped and quickly grabbed the girl's body. But at this moment, a long leg stretched out and a bone spike fell. With a put sound, the girl's thigh was cut off by the sharp bone spike. The girl was pulled out, saving her life. In the darkness, eight long legs slowly walked out of the house. The strange spider monster, with a ferocious face and red eyes, put the severed leg into its blood-filled mouth and chewed it forcefully, swallowing it down. The spider monster's face twisted in a grimace as it roared, You, are looking for death. You made me homeless, exposed to sunlight, it hurts. It hurts so much. I won't let you go. You will all die. The smell of blood filled the air, the threatening words of the strange spider made the people who saved the girl freeze and stiffen. Quick, run! Fear broke through the beautiful woman's psychological defense line first, and she turned and ran. The others quickly followed. In the midst of their escape, all the complaints and doubts were directed at Li Xiaoshui. He clearly said that these abnormalities were weak during the day. Why is it still so terrifying? Li Xiaoshui must have been wrong in his speculation. However, Li Xiaoshui remained motionless. He stopped everyone with calm words, What are you panicking about? Panicking? Didn't you see? It can kill people, the beautiful woman exclaimed anxiously. Do you think it will just stand there and let you kill it? Li Xiaoshui sneered. Stay calm and see if it's chasing us, the ones it wants to kill. Everyone froze and simultaneously stopped in their tracks. They looked at the strange spider. Surprisingly, the spider, although its face was hideous, its body, under the light, had reddened black skin that trembled slightly, and it stopped at the entrance of the room, it didn't chase after them. Suddenly, everyone realized, it was just putting on a show. Why aren't you attacking? According to normal circumstances, we broke the rules, so you should be happy to eat us, right? Li Xiaoshui spoke, looking at the strange spider. 
The latter's face turned grim. Its crimson eyes stared with resentment at Li Xiaoshui, who had disrupted its plans. Li Xiaoshui glanced at everyone and said, Don't you understand yet? We can definitely defeat it now. As soon as he said this, the others stood still, just like the spider, they didn't move, yes, that's right. The spider had been affected during the day, but just now, it still managed to cut off someone's leg with a single move. At least this proved that it had strong resistance. I'll say it one more time, go kill it now. If you don't listen to me, I'll find another way to complete this assessment myself. Li Xiaoshui said. These words were Li Xiaoshui's warning. Naturally, they had a great effect. Compared to surviving here for seven days, they would rather face this creature that was restricted during the day together. After a brief moment of hesitation, the hearts of the people calmed down. After a moment of silence, led by Li Na, they walked back and surrounded the strange spider. The spider remained silent. Its large head had a cold and stern gaze. Finally. Attack. Aim for its head. With Li Na's shout, they all rushed forward. After choosing their identities, each person had combat abilities far beyond ordinary people. Although they couldn't defeat normal monsters, Li Xiaoshui believed that they were enough to deal with creatures restricted during the day. As expected, just as Li Xiaoshui had thought. The battle had just begun. The spider let out an angry roar and spat out a web towards Li Na, followed by sharp bone spikes. Li Na, one of the strongest fighters, dodged to the side and delivered a powerful whip kick to one of the spikes, making a crisp sound as it broke off. With such a significant effect, the morale of the group was boosted, and in their excitement, they continued to attack one after another. Another bone spike was broken by the woman with long black hair. This is a great opportunity, one of the girls exclaimed excitedly. Several pairs of spider legs responded to Li Na and the others. At this moment, a web was shot out, and the spider no longer had any long legs to spare. Li Na rushed towards the spider's head, but just as she reached it, the spider's large round belly, which had been ignored all along, suddenly opened its mouth and spewed out sharp and hard spider silk, like blades, effortlessly cutting the woman into several large pieces. The splattering blood covered everyone's faces, the scorching blood made them momentarily dazed. In shock, the male member of the group was distracted and got his shoulder slashed by a bone spike, causing him to scream in pain and quickly roll to the side. The spider grinned and was about to spit out silk from its abdomen to kill the man, and then proceed to slaughter the others one by one. The idea was beautiful. But in the next moment, abrupt, it feels a chill on the neck. The lower body is completely numb. The spider's strange gaze slowly sweeps downward. A short and sharp dagger, at some point, actually cut its neck into two pieces. The spider's strange head and body fell heavily to the ground together. And that mysteriously appearing dagger that severed the spider's strange head, hovered in the air for a circle, then flew back into the hands of Li Xiaoshui, who had been watching from a distance. Telekinesis. The woman with long black hair exclaimed, looking at Li Xiaoshui in disbelief. At the same time, the spider's body turned into a pool of blood. Underground, a strange, soft black ball appeared. Everyone's gaze swept over it. Information was displayed. A ball of spider silk. An insignificant mysterious object. It can spit out spider silk that is difficult to break free from. Introduction, it is said to be a mysterious object, an insult to mysterious objects. It dropped, an item? An insignificant, mysterious object? In an instant, everyone stared intently at the spider silk ball on the ground. Li Na and the woman with long black hair, who knew some information about the mysterious world, looked extremely eager and excited. As for the others who were experiencing the mysterious world for the first time, although they had not heard of the so-called mysterious objects, they could still guess its extraordinary nature, which was related to the advancement of their identities. Everyone wanted it. But there was no way for so many people to share it. The few people who were close to each other looked at each other. Who would dare to step forward now would become the target of everyone's arrows. In the tense atmosphere, suddenly. Li Xiaoshui's voice sounded, this spider was killed by me, so the spoils should rightfully be mine, right? The few people couldn't help but be stunned. 
Then they saw Li Xiaoshui walk forward, his expression changing uncertainly. According to normal circumstances, it should belong to Li Xiaoshui. But, who would willingly let someone else take away this thing? Besides, without their support, could Li Xiaoshui have successfully launched a surprise attack? However, Li Xiaoshui didn't care about what the others were thinking. He walked straight ahead and picked up the mysterious object amidst everyone's gaze. This thing should be able to play a key role in the assessment this time, Li Xiaoshui murmured. It was this deliberately added sentence that made the hesitant few finally keep their thoughts to themselves. Reluctantly, they could only let it go. After all, only Li Xiaoshui could lead them out of the assessment. Li Xiaoshui just glanced at the mysterious object and put it in his pocket. He chose not to observe it for now, to avoid arousing jealousy. For Li Xiaoshui, what he was currently most satisfied with was the dagger he obtained from Zhao the blacksmith. Just now, when Li Xiaoshui saw them fighting the spider monster, he suddenly remembered that he had awakened telekinesis, and couldn't help but think about whether he could participate in the battle using telekinesis. With telekinesis, he wouldn't get hurt, there was no danger. So, he tried to control the dagger given to him by Zhao the blacksmith with telekinesis. Unexpectedly, under the control of telekinesis, it was easy to handle, and the dagger spun rapidly with an indiscernible speed, accompanied by a heavy sound of breaking wind. The astonishing power made Li Xiaoshui moved. By some strange coincidence, he controlled the dagger and easily, chopped off the spider's head. It seems that telekinesis is my trump card, Li Xiaoshui said with a smile. But at this moment, Li Na suddenly spoke up, interrupting Li Xiaoshui's thoughts. We were killed by just one spider monster, how? Can we possibly kill all the villagers in this village? This thought was not only in Li Na's mind. The others also thought the same and were concerned about this matter. Dealing with a few monsters is one thing. But the number of villagers in the entire village is dozens, nearly a hundred. How could they possibly kill them? They only had six people left now and one of them had a broken leg, seeing everyone's worries, Li Xiaoshui had already anticipated it and reassured them, saying calmly, originally, I wasn't very confident, but after this spider became strange, I can say with certainty to all of you that we are 100% able to pass the assessment. Really? Li Na exclaimed. The others were also overjoyed. From the beginning until now, which statement of mine was false? Li Xiaoshui countered. So, what should we do later, the beautiful woman couldn't wait to ask. Later? There is no later. Today ends here, there's not enough time, Li Xiaoshui said. Not enough time, the others were puzzled. In another two or three hours, the villagers will wake up. Li Xiaoshui said. Only then did everyone look up. In the distance, a hint of dawn appeared. They had spent too much time searching for an exit. So, you mean, tomorrow, the man asked. Yes, Li Xiaoshui smiled. My plan is foolproof. I guarantee that tomorrow, we will complete the assessment and leave. But the condition is that all of you, including me, have to survive today. Complete today's requirements. Don't die tonight. No one wanted to stay in this village for another minute. But as Li Xiaoshui said, time was running out and they couldn't continue their actions. Reluctantly, they had to endure one more night, no matter how unwilling or fearful they were. Maybe I'm not speaking nicely, but in this case, shouldn't we discuss the plan? What should we do if something happens to you, the beautiful woman, who was always concerned about the assessment method, asked. There's no need to worry about that. I will survive, Li Xiaoshui didn't explain. The method to complete the assessment was his trump card. If he revealed it, he would lose control over the team. How could he possibly say it? Without giving them a chance to continue questioning and doubting, Li Xiaoshui added two more sentences, for the remaining time, I suggest everyone rest well and recharge their energy to get through tonight. But it's best to take turns resting to avoid oversleeping, and not being able to complete the requirements for staying. Tomorrow morning, we'll meet here, Li Xiaoshui turned and left. Just as he left the crowd, the confidence on Li Xiaoshui's face turned into worry. In fact, Li Xiaoshui didn't have any so-called 100% certainty. 
Whether it was surviving tonight or the chances of completing the assessment, his confident appearance was just to make everyone cooperate obediently with him. True certainty, let alone 100%, Li Xiaoshui had very little of it. Perhaps, with a few more people cooperating, he might have a slightly higher chance of success. Unfortunately, most of the people were already dead. That's why, even though the plan had been silently prepared, there was still one thing that could increase the chances of success. Li Xiaoshui planned to do it. He began searching in the village. Looking around. Finally, in a corner of the village, in front of an old house with a blood-red lantern made of human skin hanging at the door, Li Xiaoshui found his target. Two men and women with green patterned skin. You too should have strong combat power, right? Li Xiaoshui spoke directly. The two of them were the strange people who had entered the mysterious world at the beginning, exchanged a few inexplicable words, and then left the crowd. At this moment, both of them had more or less bloody scars that had not yet healed. Obviously, the conditions for staying yesterday had caused them some injuries. I'll give you three sentences. If you're just going to talk nonsense, I'll kill you, the man with green patterns said coldly. Li Xiaoshui smiled and said, Can you survive in this village for seven days? First sentence. I have found the source of the village's strangeness. The man with green patterns face suddenly changed. Before the man with green patterns could reply, Li Xiaoshui continued with the third sentence, As long as you listen to me, tomorrow, I can take you to complete the assessment. The man and woman with green patterns exchanged glances, with a look of astonishment. Just with you? The green-skinned woman revealed a mocking expression and said, In this S-level assessment, can you clear it in two days? Li Xiaoshui smiled and remained silent. You come here talking nonsense, do you really think I won't kill you, the green-skinned man said coldly. Do I have any reason to talk nonsense? Li Xiaoshui asked. Li Xiaoshui's unwavering confidence finally made the green-skinned woman and the green-skinned man take him seriously. The two of them locked eyes. The coldness in the green-striped man's eyes dissipated slightly, and he frowned and said, Then tell me, what is the source of? The village's strangeness? All right, Li Xiaoshui replied without hesitation. He repeated the words spoken by the others to the two of them. You're saying that the villagers are the source of the strangeness? Do you have a way to eliminate them? The green-striped man's face changed slightly, and after thinking for a moment, he realized that this possibility was very likely. Yes. How? The green-striped man asked anxiously. Wait for me here tomorrow morning. Follow all of my commands, Li Xiaoshui said. Follow your commands? The green-striped man was taken aback and sneered. Just as Li Xiaoshui was about to respond, he suddenly pounced on Li Xiaoshui like a wild beast and tightly grabbed his neck. The feeling of suffocation instantly made Li Xiaoshui's face turn red. Speak, the green-striped man sneered. Otherwise, I'll kill you right now. Indeed, these two people were not capable of having a proper conversation. I have one thing to say. Follow my lead, complete the assessment, or else we'll both die. In seven days, no one will survive, Li Xiaoshui said hoarsely. The green-striped man increased the strength in his hand. Li Xiaoshui coldly smiled and remained silent. A flash of killing intent appeared in the green-striped man's eyes, but quickly, under the stinging sensation on his body, the killing intent faded away. He let go of his hand and stared at Li Xiaoshui for a moment. If you don't complete the assessment tomorrow, I'll kill you then, the green-striped man said. Li Xiaoshui coughed twice and caught his breath. If we don't complete the assessment tomorrow, there won't be any difference between us and death. It seems they reached an agreement. With two powerful forces, hope increased a bit. Once the agreement was made, Li Xiaoshui left directly. He didn't linger. The reason was that the gazes of the two people made him feel extremely uncomfortable. It wasn't discrimination, it was contempt. It was as if, in their eyes, he and the two of them were not on the same level. In fact, from the beginning, Li Xiaoshui was concerned about the appearance of the two people. That skin color that didn't belong to any country on Blue Star. The only thing they had in common was being humanoid. This made Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but speculate, 
whether the two of them were so-called extraterrestrial humans? For example, from the mysterious continent? There had been news online that exploration teams had encountered non-Blue Star humans in that mysterious continent more than once, but these kinds of news were never officially confirmed. If these two people were willing to talk, Li Xiaoshui would have liked to have a good conversation with them. And also, ask them what they meant by S-level assessment. Could it be that assessments were graded? And they were assigned to a very difficult assessment? Unfortunately, the two of them wouldn't talk about these things with him. Li Xiaoshui didn't delve into it any further. He found a corner and took out the mysterious object, the spider ball, and conducted an experiment. He discovered that the silk spit out by the spider ball had no limit in terms of quantity. However, it had no killing power at all. Its only characteristic was toughness. No matter how much force Li Xiaoshui used, he couldn't break the clumped silk. However, the silk was afraid of knives and fire. It only has a strong binding effect, Li Xiaoshui analyzed. Li Xiaoshui took a nap. He needed to keep his energy up to deal with the night. When Li Xiaoshui woke up and arrived at the village, the other five people, including the woman with the broken leg, were waiting at the same location. Dusk had already fallen. The foul-smelling wind carried the rotting skin and bones from underground, constantly swirling around the village. At the same time as yesterday, the villagers began to open their doors one after another. Seeing Li Xiaoshui and others, their crazy and slightly crimson eyes scanned excitedly, without the same level of concealment as before. Ha, huh, why are there only six left? Sigh, too many have died. Be careful, okay? Seeing that there were only six villagers left, they couldn't help but feel surprised and disappointed. The people who knew the villagers' identities couldn't help but feel uneasy under the scrutiny and concerned words. The old village chief spoke gently, tonight, you can start asking questions when you check in. And just like yesterday, you have to meet the check-in conditions. The crowd exchanged glances. They had communicated and shared information about tonight's check-in conditions for a few days, so most of them had already made up their minds. They had already decided on a few options. As for Li Xiaoshui, he still chose the strange old man. After all, so many people owed the strange old man things in the account book, and it was much better to choose someone with a lower danger factor than those unknown horrors. Li Xiaoshui was the first to make a decision. His target was the old woman who had completed the task yesterday. She had borrowed a bamboo hat from the strange old man and hadn't returned. It yet. According to the characteristics of this old woman, she seemed to be the least dangerous. When Li Xiaoshui made his decision and looked at the choices made by the others, he couldn't help but be stunned. His eyes showed seriousness and astonishment. At this moment, the extremely beautiful woman was not here. From the beginning, Li Xiaoshui guessed that she would definitely continue to look for that drunken man. The only other surviving male, besides him, had chosen the widow and her son, who were only slightly less dangerous than the village chief. The woman with a broken leg had chosen a farmer who raised chickens and ducks. Li Na had chosen the fat woman who ate meat. The woman with long black hair had chosen the village chief. Woman with long black hair, are you not afraid of death? Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but think this. He really wanted to remind her, but the woman with long black hair had already made her choice, and Li Xiaoshui couldn't shake her anymore. Hopefully, everyone can survive this night. Li Xiaoshui calmed down and got up to go to the old woman's house. Escaping death last night taught him a lesson, and he didn't want to waste any more time. You want to stay at my house? Okay. I don't have firewood at home. The old woman was about to speak, but Li Xiaoshui shook his head and refused, old lady, I'm here to get the bamboo hat for someone. Bamboo hat? The old woman was confused. Li Xiaoshui quickly showed her the account book in his hand and waited cautiously for her response. Now, he had telekinesis and a mysterious object. He was confident that even if the old woman got angry and wanted to attack him, he still had the ability to protect himself. Oh, it's this. You can go in and get it. It's in a box inside the house. However, the old woman's calm response made Li Xiaoshui dumbfounded. For a moment, he thought he had misheard. 
Could it be, he was lucky enough to get what he owed without taking any risks? That shouldn't be. Li Xiaoshui pondered for a moment, even more alert. He walked cautiously into the house. By the way, there are several boxes inside. Don't take the wrong one. Suddenly, the voice of the old woman sitting at the entrance of the house sounded again. Li Xiaoshui's foot, which had just stepped into the house, froze. If you take the wrong one, there will be consequences, and I won't take responsibility. At this moment, the old woman at the entrance turned her head and grinned at Li Xiaoshui. Her narrow, squinted eyes and the sinister smile on her gaunt face made her look like a hungry devil. Indeed, these strange villagers had their own intentions. Li Xiaoshui sneered, but also let go of his worries and walked straight into the house. In the corners of the house, Li Xiaoshui found four red wooden boxes of the same size and color. As he glanced at the first one, a sense of crisis surged within him. The second one, the sense of crisis lessened slightly. The third one, still had a terrifying sense of crisis. The fourth one, no sense of crisis. It's inside. No wonder, this account, the sixth sense did not have a crisis warning. Originally. I can rely on the sixth sense to get the item. Li Xiaoshui exclaimed happily. Li Xiaoshui reached out his hand, about to open the red wooden box. At the same time, in the other areas, in the farmhouse yard. Several chickens and ducks with human teeth and strange cries of joy, pecked down one piece after another, placing the meat on the ground. The woman with the broken leg, inexplicably, disappeared without a trace. The cottage. A stunning woman, naked, biting her pale lips. The drunkard grinned, holding a brush filled with steel needles. The skin on the back of the stunning woman was peeled clean. Only densely packed, scabbed hollows remained on her back. The grocery store. The woman with long black hair came to the zombie-faced shopkeeper. I'm here to get kerosene for the village chief. The woman with long black hair said. The zombie-faced shopkeeper smiled strangely, did you bring the exchange item? In the home of the obese woman. Lina's face was pale, taking deep breaths heavily. In front of her, the obese woman sharpened the rusty and chipped kitchen knife with a whetstone, wiping the saliva from the corners of her mouth. I'll cut lightly, it won't hurt, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. The obese woman's excited voice trembled. Underground, there was a tall skeleton. It was carved clean by the knives. Li Xiaoshui was the first person to meet the conditions for moving in. When he walked out of the house with a bamboo hat, the old woman who had been sitting at the door waiting, with an excited and eerie smirk on her face, suddenly froze. In the next moment, her face turned ferocious, a terrifying chill enveloped Li Xiaoshui. How did you get it? She growled. I was lucky, I randomly opened a box and found it inside. Li Xiaoshui remained calm, gesturing with the bamboo hat in his hand. Impossible. I clearly. The old woman wanted to say something, but halfway through her words, she stopped. She stared straight at Li. Xiaoshui. Whether she remembered something or was thinking about something, she remained silent. Can I leave, old lady? Li Xiaoshui asked. The old woman's face darkened, you can. Li Xiaoshui turned and left. He could tell that the old woman was angry and disappointed that she couldn't catch him. Unfortunately, within the rules, the old woman couldn't do anything. However, the old woman didn't notice at all that Li Xiaoshui, who appeared calm, had a slightly bulging left pocket. After leaving the old woman's sight, Li Xiaoshui's face immediately lost its previous composure. His face turned pale, he took deep breaths heavily, wiping the cold sweat from his forehead. It seemed like he had experienced a great psychological burden. I'm really audacious, daring to steal from her. Li Xiaoshui reached into his pocket and pulled out a glass bottle similar to a syringe. Originally, after getting the bamboo hat, Li Xiaoshui planned to leave directly. But unexpectedly, there was this strange item in the box that didn't fit with this feudal era. Li Xiaoshui felt curious and inexplicably took it. This potion had a message, a bottle of strange liquid potion. In the virtual city, there may be appraisers who can identify what it is. It seems to be quite valuable. 
Although he didn't know what the virtual city was, when he heard the words, quite valuable, Li Xiaoshui decided to keep it. Taking out this thing. Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but speculate whether in this assessment, there was a chance to find certain special items hidden in each condition for moving in. Yesterday it was Zhao the blacksmith's weapon, today it's this bottle of potion. Of course, this was purely Li Xiaoshui's speculation. It's hard to say whether it was just his luck. After keeping the potion without further research, Li Xiaoshui returned to the strange old man's house. You, got it again. The strange old man stared in astonishment at the straw hat in Li Xiaoshui's hand. Then, he took the hat and gave Li Xiaoshui a suspicious look. Finally, he coldly smiled and said, you're getting closer to death. Li Xiaoshui remained silent. Death? This was his last night here. He didn't expect to survive for another seven days. He entered the house and chose to rest. Although he was exhausted, Li Xiaoshui had to stay awake until dawn. Just get through this night. Of course, there was one more thing he needed to confirm. Tonight. Time passed slowly. Evening turned into late night in the blink of an eye. Outside the window, the wind howled. Inside the house, there was a faint smell of the outside air. Apart from the occasional sound of the wind, the village was very quiet, eerily quiet, as if there was no sound at all, but Li Xiaoshui could sense that the village roads were surely filled with a strange group with crimson eyes at this moment. They were waiting, waiting for the six of them to fall asleep. At this moment, Li Xiaoshui felt a slight discomfort in his stomach. Fortunately, this discomfort kept him awake. In the afternoon, after parting ways, Li Xiaoshui, who dared not eat anything in the village, dug up some tree roots and cooked them to satisfy his hunger. Although it was uncomfortable, at least he was full. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew through the house. The flame on the swaying lamp wick went out. The room became pitch black and silent. Li Xiaoshui's face tightened as he smirked. As expected, they had arrived. Immediately, as expected by Li Xiaoshui, a sense of drowsiness silently surged into his head. And outside the window, as if vaguely, there were multiple auras gradually surrounding the small house. Li Xiaoshui took a deep breath. He gathered his spirits and took out the two small sticks that he had been carrying since the afternoon, which were almost burnt to charcoal. Under the control of his mental power, Zhao the blacksmith's small knife rapidly spun on the stone slab on the ground. Sparks flew out and landed on the tinder of the charcoal. Buzz of flame ignited. The entire silent and gloomy room was suddenly illuminated by the fire. In the light of the fire, Li Xiaoshui's gaze swept past the strange old man, who was doing something with his back turned to him for some unknown reason. The old man suddenly turned around upon seeing the torch, his eyes with a hint of crimson, and his face changed dramatically as he roared, When did you bring fire in here? What's wrong? Li Xiaoshui asked. Put it out. If I put it out, I'll be trapped. Li Xiaoshui replied. The strange old man, with a stern face, took out a match from the corner cabinet and lit the oil lamp. The room, which was swaying, regained its brightness. Seeing this, Li Xiaoshui immediately blew out the torch. The strange old man's unpleasant expression also eased. When the old man looked at Li Xiaoshui with a cold gaze, about to say something, Li Xiaoshui suddenly spoke up, Old man, this lamp oil, is it made from corpses? The strange old man sneered, so what if it is? Li Xiaoshui also smiled, nothing, I was just asking. The strange old man gave Li Xiaoshui a strange and chilling look. Then chose not to speak anymore. Li Xiaoshui remained silent as well. Afterwards, he walked to the window and looked out at the blurry view outside. Unfortunately, it was too dark. He couldn't see anything. He also couldn't find the whereabouts of the crimson eyes. Finally, at this moment, his last speculation was confirmed. Indeed, it's like this. Li Xiaoshui murmured. The long night passed in exhaustion and coldness. Li Xiaoshui, who hadn't slept much for two days, was mentally exhausted. When it was dawn, he mustered up his last bit of energy. This was the last day. Taking a deep breath, Li Xiaoshui walked out of the house. The light shone on the village, still cold and foul-smelling. However, unlike yesterday, 
there was no blood or corpses on the streets today. It seems that not many people died last night. Everyone successfully passed the check-in conditions. Shortly after Li Xiaoshui came out, the doors of the other rooms also opened one after another. Several people walked out. The black-haired woman from the old village chief's house. The man who walked out of the house with one eye gouged out. Lina, pale as a piece of paper, trembling slightly, walked out of the fat woman's house. Not long after, the beautiful woman, also pale, walked into the crowd. After waiting for a few more minutes, the woman with a broken leg did not appear. It seems she's dead. Li Xiaoshui sighed lightly, scanning the few people. You have paid a heavy price to survive yesterday. Can we start now? The method to complete the assessment. I don't want to stay in this village for another second. The beautiful woman said with a sob. I can't hold on until the afternoon. Lina urged as well, her pale face trembling, her body on the verge of collapse. Her pants seemed to be constantly dripping blood. Strangely, the man remained silent. He opened his mouth. Li Xiaoshui noticed that his tongue was missing. Apart from him, the black-haired woman who found the village was unharmed. Li Xiaoshui looked deeply at this woman, she was not simple. All right. We can start planning now. Let's go to the grocery store. But before that, I have a question for you. Li Xiaoshui spoke up. A question? What question? You tell us. The others naturally cooperated with Li Xiaoshui. In order to survive last night, they had made the greatest sacrifices they could to ensure their safety. Like Li Na, who had lost a hand, if she encountered dangerous check-in conditions, she would undoubtedly die. So yesterday, she chose the fat woman. Although she had to give up some flesh, at least she could survive. But by paying such a price, they basically had no ability to live another day. So no matter what Li Xiaoshui said, they could only believe and obey. Yesterday, who used fire? Li Xiaoshui asked. Fire? The others looked at each other. From their expressions, neither Li Na nor the beautiful woman did. Obviously, when the lights went out, they would be swallowed up together. However, the greedy fat woman didn't want Li Na to be taken away and definitely wanted to keep her. The beautiful woman should receive similar treatment as Li Na. The man had become mute and couldn't speak. The only one who could provide information was the black-haired woman who found the village. The fire went out, I was tired, I listened to you and lit a torch. The black-haired woman said. What happened then? The village chief told me to put it out, and he lit an oil lamp. The black-haired woman said. Good. Just as he expected. Do you have any questions? The beautiful woman asked. Li Xiaoshui smiled. They are afraid of fire. Afraid of fire? The others were stunned. This was something Li Xiaoshui discovered. From the first night when Li Xiaoshui completed the check-in conditions late and was almost caught by something strange, he noticed something strange. The village was pitch black. Too dark. So dark that nothing could be seen. Except for houses where someone had completed the check-in conditions and had a faint light, the entire village had almost no lights. At that time, Li Xiaoshui was too terrified to think too much. But looking back, he realized that something was wrong. Abnormal. Guessing that they were strange was partly because of this. After all, when the lights are turned off, people get sleepy and are more likely to encounter something strange. As a result, the next day, they were almost unharmed. Obviously, they were not like normal people. Returning to the current topic, even if they didn't turn on the lights, the strange creatures didn't need light. In the darkness, their vision wouldn't be hindered. However, from the village chief, the old woman, and the strange old man, as well as Jia the blacksmith, he learned that they all had oil lamps. Since they had oil lamps but didn't turn on the lights, a contradiction arose, therefore, Li Xiaoshui came up with a speculation, the lights, in fact, are only for the use of these outsiders. And the strangeness itself, for some reason, does not want to turn on the lights. Based on these two points, Li Xiaoshui further contemplated. There is a convenient object. Like a lamp in the pitch-black night, 
but they don't touch it. Instead of saying that they don't want to turn on the lights, it is better to say that they carry an unwillingness, disgust, and emotions in this regard, which leads to the choice of not turning on the lights. For example, not liking light. Or not liking fire? Considering their fear of sunlight, these are the only two possibilities that Li Xiaoshui considered. Between the two, he leaned more towards fearing fire. So, during yesterday's discussion about finding an exit, it was because of this idea that Li Xiaoshui deliberately mentioned feeling tired without lights, so he suggested that they prepare torches. It was to help them, but also for his own experiment. Trying to eliminate one option. If they are really afraid of fire, then he has found the strangeness weakness. Sure enough, after trying it out, the strange old man's expression, the black-haired woman's response, he came to the conclusion he had in mind, the strangeness is afraid of fire. Everything was done to find out this point. Now, through the assessment, he has gained two more points of confidence. Let's go, to the grocery store. According to my guess, there is a lot of lamp oil over there. Our goal now is to take out the lights, pour them into each house one by one, and then set the village on fire together. Burn these strangenesses to death once and for all. The assessment will be over. Li Xiaoshui smiled confidently and informed everyone of his final analysis. Of course, that's what he said. In reality, Li Xiaoshui knew that even if things were progressing smoothly, the assessment might not be so simple. The surviving five people set off for the grocery store. Along the way, they were joined by the green-striped man and woman who had been waiting on the roadside for a long time. After the green-striped man and woman joined the group, they didn't pay attention to anyone who tried to talk to them. They just glanced coldly at Li Xiaoshui and silently followed at the end of the crowd. Seeing this, Li Xiaoshui didn't explain to everyone. He thought it was unnecessary, leaving a few people with doubts. Soon, the group of seven arrived at the grocery store. Li Xiaoshui stood in front of the huge grocery store, pondered for a moment, and slowly spoke, according to my speculation, Taking things from the houses of normal villagers without the owner's permission will definitely break some rules. Although they can't wake up in the morning, I can't be sure that nothing will happen. This statement poured cold water on the excited few. Are you saying it's dangerous? The extremely beautiful woman asked. Yes, Li Xiaoshui nodded. But it's not certain. It's possible that danger only comes at night. Everyone was in a dilemma. The grocery store was one of the most dangerous places in their minds. Except for the black-haired woman, everyone who came here to fulfill the residency requirements had died. Covered in injuries and unable to fully exert their combat power, they didn't want to experience danger. I'll go, your mental state is still okay, come with me, the black-haired woman spoke in silence. The person she designated was not Li Xiaoshui, but the man who had his eyes and tongue gouged out. The latter's face changed, and he became uncertain. His gaze swept over Li Xiaoshui and the green-striped man and woman. Seeing that they were indifferent, he knew that he had no choice but to go. Finally, he gritted his teeth and nodded. Once you get the oil, come out directly. Remember, don't do anything unnecessary. Li Xiaoshui said solemnly. Okay. The two of them entered the grocery store one after another. Li Xiaoshui and the others waited nervously at the entrance. This step was the most important. They must obtain the lamp oil. Failure was not an option. Time passed by every minute and every second. Five minutes later, the door creaked open. Everyone held their breath and stared. The ones who came out were the black-haired woman and the man who went in, each of them carrying a large jar of lamp oil. The grocery store owner is sleeping. Everything went smoothly, answered the woman with long black hair. The man next to her wiped the cold sweat off his forehead, put down the oil can, and breathed a sigh of relief after surviving the ordeal. Ah, great. Everything went smoothly, let's begin. Li Xiaoshui smiled and was about to give instructions for the next step of the plan when suddenly, something strange happened. The man with a smile on his face suddenly stiffened. Then, he clutched his throat, let out a desperate scream, and struggled frantically as if suffocating. In the next second, the woman with long black hair also turned red in the face and painfully covered her neck. No. This is bad, she hoarsely exclaimed. 
Then, a horrifying scene unfolded. Starting from their heads, they melted away like candles being burned by a fire, in the eyes of the onlookers, their hair, clothes, and skin, bit by bit, at a visible speed, slowly melted away. After a brief moment, only two pools of foul-smelling black blood remained. In their place. While the crowd was still in shock, another unexpected event occurred. In the blood of the woman with long black hair, a blood-red humanoid doll appeared. The doll emitted a red light, rapidly expanded, and then transformed into the exact same woman with long black hair, completely unharmed, several meters away. At this moment, the woman with long black hair looked terrified and, when she looked at the pool of blood, her eyes showed clear signs of pain and heaviness. This is a special item I obtained, the substitute doll. It's gone now. How could she not notice the strange and wary gazes of the crowd? She forced a smile. As for what happened, I don't know. Just now, I only felt like there was a fire burning inside me. Then, the woman with long black hair continued to explain for two more sentences. The crowd exchanged glances. It seems like a punishment for breaking the rules, Li Xiaoshui said coldly. Li Xiaoshui's conclusion immediately caused the bewildered crowd, who were puzzled by the bizarre deaths, to turn pale. The idea of breaking the rules indeed seemed highly probable. Is it, that terrifying, the stunning woman's face turned pale? If the punishment for breaking the rules wasn't terrifying, those bizarre things would have already devoured us all, Li Xiaoshui replied. All right, no need for unnecessary words. Now that the items have been taken out, what should we do next? The man with green patterns interrupted Li Xiaoshui's explanation. To him, whether it was the underground corpses or the village rules, he didn't care. What he cared about was completing the assessment. Li Xiaoshui sighed lightly and said, the next step is simple. We need to pour oil on all the houses in this village. This village has houses built along three streets. So, the six of us will be divided into pairs, each responsible for one street. After pouring all the oil, quickly set fire to the houses on the street. Although this village is cold, I have checked and found that the houses are built with highly flammable thatch and wood. Once the fire starts, it will easily burn. After completing the task I just mentioned, double-check everything and immediately gather back here. Any questions? Li Xiaoshui stated the requirements. The five people who listened carefully nodded solemnly and formed their groups. The man and woman with green patterns formed one group. Li Xiaoshui and Li Na formed another group. The woman with long black hair and the stunning woman formed the last group. The man and woman with green patterns found two old barrels at the entrance of a village road and divided the oil into thirds, then the three groups immediately dispersed. It was just dawn, not too long ago. Although the process was somewhat tedious, there were only about ten households on each street, so it wouldn't take too much time. Besides, they had plenty of time now. The operation began. Li Na was injured, but it didn't affect their progress. This made Li Xiaoshui think that her pale face and the comment about not being able to last until the afternoon were all just a disguise. But he didn't expect, when Li Na climbed onto a roof to apply the oil, her wound was exposed. From her right thigh, from the front of her knee to her hip, all the flesh and blood were gone. At the hip, drop by drop of fresh blood slowly dripped down, onto the clean and bare white bones. At the intact part below the knee, at the scabbed area, with each twist of the thigh, the scabs were forced off and blood oozed out. No wonder. Li Na's pants were soaked in blood. No wonder, with each step she took, there were blood stains on her shoes. Li Xiaoshui's face turned slightly pale. It's fortunate that Li Na made the decision to go to the obese woman. Li Xiaoshui didn't think much about it. Next, after nearly half an hour of busyness, Li Xiaoshui and Li Na finally smeared and poured corpse oil on the ten or so houses along this road. I hope, this fire can solve all the problems. Li Xiaoshui muttered. Then, Li Xiaoshui and Li Na separated and soon, two fires started spreading through the village. Afterwards, Li Xiaoshui and Li Na were the first to return to the original spot. From here, it was clear to see that the flames had ignited on the other two roads, everything was proceeding according to plan. After a few minutes, everyone gathered together. The sky was sunny, in this cold village, a sense of heat emerged from the spreading flames. 
The pungent smell of smoke covered the nauseating stench, everything seemed to be in ruins. The six people waited in silence for further developments. Judging by your appearance, it seems like this fire won't solve the problem? Li Na suddenly asked. Everyone stared at Li Xiaoshui. Li Xiaoshui remained silent for a moment, then spoke, unless something unexpected happens, someone else will die. Li Xiaoshui's words had just fallen when there was a commotion in the burning fire. Sounds came out roars. Screams. It seemed that these fires had burned into the houses, awakening the eerie villagers, they were fearful, terrified. And in pain within the fire, the number of voices was rapidly increasing. Soon, from just one or two at the beginning, gradually, there were dozens, continuously. And these voices, from the initial human-like emotional sounds, eventually transformed into hollow, sinister, and sharp tones like ghosts and demons, what was once a silent village, amidst the continuous screams of pain and the burning flames, seemed to truly be in the depths of hell. However, for now, everything was going according to Li Xiaoshui's plan. Because, as the flames continued to burn, the horrifying sounds grew louder, but also smaller, evidently, the eerie ones were dying. As a result, the seriousness and worry on everyone's faces diminished quite a bit. They're really afraid of fire. It's going smoothly. The extremely beautiful woman and Li Na were the most delighted. Both of them were in poor physical and mental condition. In a state of physical and mental exhaustion, it was difficult for people to remain calm and they became fragile. The woman with long black hair remained silent, looking at the flames in the sky, her eyes tinged yellow by the flames, as if contemplating something. Can we pass the S-level assessment like this? What rewards can we get? On the other side, the woman with green stripes and the man with green stripes looked at each other. Among the team, only Li Xiaoshui's emotions remained unchanged. He remained silent, his gaze fixed on the small black mist rising from the burning and collapsing houses, gradually floating in mid-air. Since the decrease in roars, Li Xiaoshui had noticed this thing. It was very similar to the eerie villagers who had died, as if extracted from their bodies. And these black mists did not dissipate. Floating in mid-air, gradually merging and distorting with other black mists. Vaguely, a sense of imminent crisis emerged in Li Xiaoshui's mind. Of course, everyone wasn't blind. When these black mists expanded to a certain extent, the others, who had almost forgotten due to the good progress of the assessment, also noticed the situation. Li Xiaoshui, what is this? The extremely beautiful woman asked anxiously the green-striped man also looked at Li Xiaoshui. Do you know? What do you think I am? A god? Li Xiaoshui sneered, all I can say is that by burning those strange villagers, we have gained the best advantage. As for what else will appear, it's up to fate. After speaking, a white light flashed from Li Xiaoshui's pocket. A dagger floated beside him. Telekinesis. The green-striped man looked surprised. He snapped back to reality. Like the others, he assumed a fighting stance and became alert. Except for Li Xiaoshui, they were basically unarmed. And so, the black mist accumulated bit by bit. As the black mist no longer emerged from the village, it formed a huge black mass and finally stopped spreading. Motionless. Until a few minutes passed. The black mist, which seemed to have solidified, suddenly, began to expand again. The speed of expansion was astonishingly fast. In an instant, the black mist enveloped the sky, the flames, and the village. When it was about to engulf everything, this enormous black mist suddenly exploded with a loud bang. Li Xiaoshui felt his eyes go blind, his ears ringing, and the next moment, he couldn't see anything. Blind? In this strange scene, Li Xiaoshui rubbed his eyes in astonishment and looked around. No, I'm not blind. It's just, it's too dark in the mist, I can't see anything. Li Xiaoshui calmed down and muttered to himself. Can you hear me speaking? Li Xiaoshui shouted. I can hear you. I can. I can't see. I heard what you said. We're in an invisible mist. Li Na and the others responded one after another. The voices weren't too far away. Your positions shouldn't have changed. Do you remember your positions from earlier? Turn around together, 
with me as the center, slowly come closer. Don't spread out. Li Xiaoshui shouted. The others quickly complied. No one could remain calm in this sudden situation. Li Xiaoshui's analysis of the assessment, his team's command, had made the others willing to listen to his words. However, as the others prepared to execute the plan, screams suddenly rang out. Ah! What is this? No, no, save me, save me, Li Xiaoshui. I? It was the voice of an extremely beautiful woman. The voice abruptly stopped. Just as Li Xiaoshui was about to express concern for the beautiful woman, a strange and extremely clear sound came from the silent black mist. Crunch! Crunch! It sounded like something was chewing on something. Involuntarily. Li Xiaoshui vaguely sensed such a scene. There was an inexplicable creature, putting the beautiful woman in its mouth and chewing vigorously. In the dead silence of the darkness, the sound of chewing was so piercing and terrifying. A mysterious and suffocating heaviness enveloped everyone. A conjecture appeared in their minds, what kind of monster had been bred in this black mist? And at this moment, Li Xiaoshui and the others heard a long-lost mechanical voice in their ears. Attention! Attention! Apprentices, in a special way, you have destroyed this assessment world and completed the assessment. However, the villagers in this village were originally transformed into strange souls. Without a physical body, we cannot harm their souls. The strange souls, carrying the resentment of being destroyed by the apprentices, have merged into an incredibly powerful strangeness. Only by slaughtering all the apprentices can this resentment be lifted. At this point, the intensity of the assessment has far exceeded the abilities of the apprentices. The assessment level will be modified within one minute. After one minute, the apprentices will be removed from the current assessment world. Please apprentices, hold on for one minute. The reminder from the mysterious world brought relief to the confused crowd. But following that, was panic. The assessment is far beyond their abilities? Weren't those villagers from earlier within their abilities, now, how powerful it has become? One minute may not seem long, but according to this, there will definitely be one or two more deaths. Who will die? Li Xiaoshui naturally feels heavy-hearted as well. Although he could sense from the beginning that there would be unexpected events at the end of the assessment, he didn't expect such an uncontrollable incident to occur. How can he avoid being chosen by that terrifying monster within this minute? Pondering. Suddenly, the premonition of death from his sixth sense appears. Oh no! Li Xiaoshui is startled and shouts urgently, spread out. The farther, the better. Don't stay together. As soon as he finishes speaking, he quickly runs towards a distance. But, Li Xiaoshui's physical fitness is slightly lacking. He runs too slowly. Just as he takes a step forward, a tremendous force crashes into him, his thigh goes numb, and a chilling sensation spreads through his leg. Immediately after, the impact sends him flying dozens of meters away, rolling several times before coming to a stop. In a daze, he regains consciousness and feels a piercing, almost faint-inducing pain. The next moment. Li Xiaoshui screams in agony. It hurts. It hurts so much. His right leg, it's gone. Bitten off. The agonizing scream lasts for a moment before quickly stopping. Li Xiaoshui controls himself rationally and endures the pain. Because, the premonition from his sixth sense is still there. The crisis hasn't disappeared. Li Xiaoshui tightly covers the base of his severed leg, looking around with a cold sweat all over his body. However, besides the intensifying sense of danger approaching, in the darkness, he can't find the monster's figure no matter how hard he tries. He can only sense that he is the monster's target. What should he do? Is there a way to save himself? Li Xiaoshui's thoughts race, keeping himself in the utmost calmness, rely on weapons? It's useless. His dagger was just knocked away. And besides premonition, his sixth sense can't do anything else. Right, the spider ball? Suddenly, this last mysterious item appears in Li Xiaoshui's mind. Perhaps, it could be effective. 
Li Xiaoshui takes out the spider ball and quickly shoots out one after another spider web in all directions. The front is clear. The right side is clear. Until several white spider webs shoot towards the left side, they hang in the darkness. Obviously, they have captured something. Something wriggling in the darkness. It's the monster. Seeing its figure emerge, Li Xiaoshui breathes a sigh of relief. However, his actions in his hands can't stop at all. He continues to shoot out multiple clusters of spider webs, trying to restrain its movements. Just endure for the remaining tens of seconds. However, Li Xiaoshui's wishful thinking is in vain. The spider webs, which may be effective against ordinary creatures, are useless against this terrifying monster that has absorbed the entire village. The spider webs entangled on its body don't provide any hindrance. The eerie monster reaches out its hand and directly tears them apart. The dense spider silk falls to the ground. Moreover, the strange creature seems to be aware of their time limit. It no longer tears apart the continuously incoming spider webs. It allows the spider webs to hang on its body. It doesn't intend to waste time. Its figure and Li Xiaoshui immediately approach. The premonition of death from his sixth sense is incredibly strong. But he is powerless. It's over. Li Xiaoshui's face reveals despair. He worked hard to analyze, plan, and consider all possibilities, but unexpectedly, he ended up sacrificing himself for the others. Step back. However, just as Li Xiaoshui is about to give up in despair, another unexpected event occurs. In the boundless darkness, a dazzling flame ignites. Before Li Xiaoshui can even look, the gaze shoots towards him, precisely landing in front of the monster in front of him. It's a flame entwined with a strange object. The flame descends with a whoosh and ignites all the spider webs, quickly entangling the monster that has been living in the darkness. At the same time, the fire illuminates the boundless. Darkness. Li Xiaoshui sees the monster in front of him clearly. It is a completely black creature covered in brain tumors, with three huge fangs and no face. It is ferocious and terrifying, under the burning flames, the monster stopped. It let out a painful howl, trying to shake off the flames on its body. Li Xiaoshui turned to look into the distance. It was the green striped man. I owe you for helping me complete the assessment. The green striped man said coldly, then turned and continued to flee. Li Xiaoshui was stunned after being rescued. He quickly found a broken house and used spider webs to pull himself over. After a few seconds, the flames disappeared. The struggling and roaring monster stopped moving. In this darkness, it returned to its original silence. Li Xiaoshui had hidden himself in a corner of the house. Holding his breath, he remained vigilant of his surroundings. Although there was no longer a sense of crisis, the time had not yet ended. Li Xiaoshui knew that if the monster found him again, he would surely die. There was no second fire to save his life. So, Li Xiaoshui could only pray, pray that the monster would find another target. With an accelerated heartbeat, the trembling pain in his legs, and various anxious thoughts intertwining, Li Xiaoshui felt that time was moving slower than ever before. One minute felt so long. Hurry! Hurry up, anxiously waiting. In the peaceful darkness, Li Xiaoshui heard a familiar sound of chewing, crunch, crunch. Someone else had been killed. Who was it? The green striped man? Or Li Na, the woman with long black hair? Li Xiaoshui anxiously wondered. Suddenly, the premonition of death appeared. Li Xiaoshui looked up in horror and saw a mouthful of white fangs in his line of sight. But at that moment, a mechanical sound, like a heavenly melody, rang out. One minute, time's up. One minute, time's up. The surviving apprentice will be sent out of the assessment. Just as those white fangs were about to tear him apart, suddenly, everything in front of Li Xiaoshui froze. Then, he felt a strange sense of emptiness in his body. His consciousness became blurry. In his remaining awareness, he heard the last mechanical voice say, upon completing the assessment, the apprentice's body will receive a free repair. When he opened his eyes again, Li Xiaoshui was still in a dark area. However, unlike the Yuri village, there was a blue virtual screen with a 3D image. 
This was the area where he chose his identity. I survived. Li Xiaoshui murmured. He looked down at his legs, which had regained consciousness, and saw that his broken leg had returned to its original state. And all the accumulated physical injuries and mental exhaustion had disappeared completely. A warm and comforting sensation continuously flowed through his body. It was incredibly comfortable. This was the free repair? Congratulations to the apprentice for completing the S-level assessment. Next, the following rewards will be given. While Li Xiaoshui was amazed by the miraculous effects of the repair, a notification sound came from the space. The rewards had arrived. Li Xiaoshui became excited. 1. The apprentice gains the qualification to enter the virtual city. 2. Virtual points, 50. 3. Basic assessment reward, 1. Ordinary enhancement. Can choose to enhance, body, or, mental power. 4. S-level assessment reward, 1. Special enhancement. Can perform special talent characteristic enhancements. 5. It has been detected that the apprentice performed exceptionally well in the S-level assessment. Receives a special reward, sequence 1. Selection book. 6. Item reward, self-saving adrenaline. The distribution of rewards ended. At the same time, in the dark space, a dazzling white light suddenly lit up. Li Xiaoshui turned his head to look. Virtual city. A door seemed to be able to open. On the door, the words virtual city were engraved in light blue patterns. Virtual city. Li Xiaoshui remembered that he had to use the mysterious potion he obtained in the virtual city. To be honest, Li Xiaoshui was quite curious about this so-called virtual city however, after staring for a moment, he withdrew his gaze and chose to first check his own attribute panel. Apprentice, Li Xiaoshui. Number, 19679. Identity, gifted villager, excellent reaction ability, can be strengthened, excellent observation ability, can be strengthened, good physique, can be strengthened, trait, sixth sense of foresight, can be strengthened, can advance, advancement method, any level 2 mysterious item. Mental power, 1.9 level psychic, can be strengthened. Physical body, 1.1 level warrior, can be strengthened. Items, a finely crafted short dagger made by Zhao the blacksmith, a spider ball, a low-level mysterious item, a bottle of strange liquid potion, self-rescue adrenaline, ordinary enhancement x1, special enhancement x1, sequence 1 selection book. Ordinary enhancement. Li Xiaoshui first focused on enhancing his mental and physical abilities. However, this choice was not difficult. At first, the high mental talent prompt. Coupled with his adept use of psychic abilities, Li Xiaoshui undoubtedly chose to enhance his mental power. Instantly, Li Xiaoshui felt a sense of openness and clarity in his mind that was indescribable. And the psychic power in the panel changed from 1.9 to 2.9. This huge increase made Li Xiaoshui very satisfied. In the blue star, when the physical data reaches 2, it reaches the level of a superhuman like the adventure team of the super special police. However, the special enhancement made Li Xiaoshui hesitate. His gaze fell on the excellent insight and the sixth sense of foresight. These two were the key to his survival in this S-level assessment. Perhaps, reaction and combat abilities also played a crucial role. However, after experiencing those dangers and knowing the horrors, Li Xiaoshui's choice of enhancement was temporarily limited to the trait of the sixth sense and observation ability. After a long period of contemplation, in the end, Li Xiaoshui chose to enhance the sixth sense of foresight. The reason for this choice was that Li Xiaoshui believed that compared to insight, he relied more on the sixth sense of foresight. Soon, the enhancement was completed, and the description of the trait changed. Enhanced sixth sense of foresight, your mental power far surpasses that of an ordinary person. At any moment, you maintain a strong sense of anticipation for any crisis, situation, or person. If it's even more powerful, you might have the ability to foresee the future. Person? Compared to other aspects of enhancement, the appearance of the word person caught Li Xiaoshui's attention the most. With the sixth sense, can he now perceive something from a person? Unfortunately, this curiosity can only be known through experimentation. For now, it can only be speculated. 
Finally, what remained was an obviously healing potion and a sequence one selection book. Li Xiaoshui opened the latter. Sequence one selection book. Special item for advancing identity. For the initial apprentices, when they obtain a corresponding level of mysterious item, they can advance their identity. Thus, gaining new identities and abilities, and entering sequence 1. However, when advancing to sequence 1, the new identity and abilities obtained are filled with unknowns. And in the sequence 1 selection book, there are randomly four types of identities for apprentices to choose from. After the introduction, Li Xiaoshui widened his eyes. Indeed, at the beginning, the so-called novice tourist, fitness apprentice, ordinary villager, all seem like preparations for the next stage. What kind of identities will be available for selection? Li Xiaoshui was curious. He immediately opened this sequence one selection book. Identity 1, senior surgeon, villager can evolve. Identity 2, talented writer, villager cannot evolve. Identity 3, extraordinary psychologist, villager can evolve. Identity 4, knowledgeable scholar, villager cannot evolve. Out of the four identities in this book, there were two that he could choose from. Psychologist and surgeon. Wow, they both look very impressive. What abilities can I obtain? Li Xiaoshui's curiosity was overflowing, and he wanted to explore and find out. Unfortunately, there were no B-level mysteries, no advancements, so he couldn't see the ability descriptions. I haven't checked the virtual city yet. He finished processing and understanding all the rewards. In front of Li Xiaoshui was a door emitting blue light, leading to the virtual city. Forget it. Li Xiaoshui sighed lightly as he gazed at the blue light of the virtual city for a moment. Although all the fatigue and injuries had been eliminated, the strange experiences in the world for the past few days made Li Xiaoshui really want some time to relax. He could always see the virtual city. Let's go out for a while first. Li Xiaoshui chose to exit. In an instant, Li Xiaoshui felt like he was being pulled away from this dark space. A few seconds later, his skin felt a comfortable warmth, and the breath he took was a long-lost sweet fragrance. Li Xiaoshui knew that he had returned to the real world. Taking off his helmet, what came into view was his familiar roomy clean walls, soft pillows, a bottle of pure water on the table, and a soft and sweet little bread. After the three days of hunger and terrifying experiences in the strange village, Li Xiaoshui had a surreal feeling when faced with this scene. This place is truly heavenly Xiaoshui murmured. He fell heavily onto the bed and enjoyed the long-lost sense of comfort for a while. After relaxing his body and mind, Li Xiaoshui finally opened his phone and started browsing the news. As he had guessed, the mysterious world and the events it had brought forth had already caused a sensation in the outside world. The list was filled with various news headlines in red. Government announcement, acknowledging that the mysterious world is a product of extraterrestrial civilization. Shocking. Several trainees who completed the assessment actually made contact with aliens in the virtual world. A man in a certain city in. Yanzhou has cleared the B-level assessment, becoming the fifth person in the country to clear a B-level or higher assessment. A woman in a certain city in Jiangnan gained powerful abilities in the mysterious world and abducted 10 men at once. Latest news, there are still over 50 million people worldwide who are in the mysterious world and have not returned to reality. In fact, when Li Xiaoshui entered the strange village, he felt that the flow of time in the village was the same as real time. The sensations of his body and his cognitive perception, it was obvious that it wasn't just his consciousness being brought in by the helmet. It was as if his body had been brought in. People should have disappeared in reality. Otherwise, it would be impossible for family members to ignore the fact that he had been motionless for several days while wearing the helmet. Furthermore, those who died in the assessment or those who came out of it would definitely share their experiences. It was inevitable that there would be widespread discussions. However, the explanation from the federal government left Li Xiaoshui somewhat puzzled. The content was simple, only confirming that the mysterious world was a product found on a mysterious continent and that humanity needed to explore it together, and so on. No further announcements would be made. Faced with the various events in the mysterious world, they turned a deaf ear and ignored them, as if deliberately fueling the public's desire for the mysterious world. As a result, 
Countless speculations and discussions caused forums to explode with news and discussions about the events, and it couldn't be stopped. The whole world was shaken by this. The most discussed topics were the assessments in the mysterious world. Next was the speculation about the extraterrestrial civilization that had yet to be confirmed. Lastly, the mysterious items and abilities that could be brought out from the mysterious world, as well as the ever-present virtual city. By not controlling public opinion, the content of the mysterious world spread to the entire population within a few days. Shocked and curious, the demand for helmets was overwhelming. While searching for various news on the forums and looking through posts, Li Xiaoshui also learned some information that he was previously unaware of. For example, the assessment levels were divided into E, D, C, B, A, and S. The highest level currently appearing is an A level. There are various people on the forum introducing various self characteristics, abilities, and mysterious objects. It's diverse and dazzling. And what he cares about the most is the introduction of the virtual city. Li Xiaoshui learned from the forum that the virtual city is the holy land for apprentices. The information on the forum is complicated and cannot be simply summarized. The key points that Li Xiaoshui currently sees are only three, trading. Apprentices can trade mysterious objects, props, and the like with each other in this virtual city. Learning By spending points, you can learn various unexpected characteristics, abilities, combat techniques, and peculiar methods. Shops Also by spending points, you can purchase any props, mysterious objects, and various other things. This is just a partial introduction, and Li Xiaoshui is not sure if it is really that peculiar. And, in the virtual city, it is not only the humans of Blue Star. Who are there, but also, many extraterrestrial beings. There are humanoid beings with strange horns, humanoid monsters with fire coming out of their bodies, and various strange appearances, skin patterns, and organs, humanoid beings exist. This scene greatly excites the Blue Star people who have never encountered extraterrestrial beings before. Most people actively seek them out and try to communicate and understand them. However, they all hit a wall. They didn't receive any attention. The only person who had a conversation with them was a guy who happened to know the extraterrestrial beings. He posted a message that provided some information, these extraterrestrial beings, just like them, are all apprentices being assessed in this mysterious world. This reminded Li Xiaoshui of the green-striped men and women he encountered during the assessment. It seems that they are indeed extraterrestrial beings, just as I suspected, Li Xiaoshui murmured. But strangely, it seems that besides him, no one else encountered extraterrestrial beings during the assessment. At the same time, Li Xiaoshui had a question, what secrets does this mysterious world hold? The federal government allows discussions, and extraterrestrial civilizations are also highly sought after. While Li Xiaoshui was pondering, suddenly, a voice rang out. Hey! Brother, you're back from the mysterious world. It was his sister, Li Wanqing. She was dressed up and looked like she was going out. When she passed by Li Xiaoshui's door, her face was full of surprise. Oh, it's been a few days, I've missed you so much, big brother. Li Xiaoshui noticed his beautiful sister and happily went up to her, holding her delicate little hand. Brother, did you pass the assessment? Li Wanqing asked nervously. I did. Brother, I heard that very few people pass, you're amazing. Li Wanqing exclaimed happily. It's just luck, Li Xiaoshui modestly increased his strength as he rubbed Li Wanqing's delicate little hand. Okay, brother, it just so happens that our classmates are planning a small gathering. Some of the classmates who passed the assessment want to exchange information about the mysterious world. I have a friend who is connected to the government and knows some information. Brother, would you like to come with me and take a look? Li Wanqing said. Information? Li Xiaoshui wasn't very interested in information. He already knew most of what he wanted to know. He would rather lie down and rest. But just as Li Xiaoshui was about to refuse, his enhanced sixth sense kicked in. Faced with Li Wanqing, two emotions surged within him. Li Wanqing's affection for him, and the faint anticipation of going out and gaining something. This, an enhanced ability? Li Xiaoshui was shocked. Brother? 
Li Wanqing looked at Li Xiaoshui, who didn't respond, with confusion. Ah. I'll go with you, Li Xiaoshui agreed. A faint anticipation? What could it be? Li Xiaoshui was pleasantly surprised by the evolution of his abilities and at the same time, he had some expectations for going out. Well, going out to eat some normal food, taking a break from the nauseating feeling brought by the Eerie Village, it's not a bad thing that be why the way, go fishing for beautiful women. This kind of great and precious man like him must be sought after by girls. At the same time, standing on a corner of a mountain range, within a vast black alloy building. Next, the 1821, Li Na, stepped forward. In the circular building, a high-rise building among countless high-rises. Li Na stood up from her seat, her tall figure standing straight. Report. I entered the S-level assessment. Ultimately failed. S-level? The concise report caused the faces of nearly a hundred men and women of similar age in the high-rise building to change. The leader at the top had an extremely serious expression. Failure can be understood, but you were assigned to the S-level assessment? Wasn't it supposed to be the B-level for you? I don't know the specific reason. Li Na shook her head. Tell us the details, the leader said in a deep voice. Yes. Li Na saluted. Fifteen minutes later. Such a terrifying assessment, you were actually killed in the last few seconds of passing? Yes, a woman who was undergoing a special mission assessment attacked me at the moment I was injured, and she killed me. Li Na said. Thinking of the black-haired woman's attack in the final moments of the assessment, which led to her being killed by a monster, Li Na's eyes were filled with anger. That guy named Li Xiaoshui led others and passed the assessment? Yes. Li Na confirmed. In my impression, among those who have experienced the S-level, even among the first batch of people to enter the assessment, there are only a few who can pass. The middle-aged beauty next to the leader was shocked. What does it mean to pass the S-level assessment and qualify for the mysterious world, only those who know the inside story understand? Li Xiao Shui. The leader lightly tapped the desktop with his finger, repeatedly reciting the name, and then gave a solemn order, investigate immediately. Li Xiaoshui and Li Wanqing arrived at the meeting point. They were at a hotel in their city, Jiangnan. Men? As soon as the female attendant at the door saw Li Wanqing with Li Xiaoshui, her expression immediately became serious. Please go inside with the male comrades. Welcome to our hotel. In our hotel, male individuals enjoy a 90% discount on their expenses. Looking at the customers, the attendants, and her sister Li Wanqing, who all had an indifferent look, tears welled up in Li Xiaoshui's eyes. How could he not love this kind of world? Not even a bit nostalgic for the past. The two entered room 801 together. Wanqing, you finally came. As soon as Li Wanqing entered the private room, among the beautiful girls in thin and sexy outfits, a short-haired girl walked out. Sorry, something came up, so I'm late. Li Wanqing smiled. As soon as she finished speaking, Li Xiaoshui walked out from behind her. Oh my, a man. What? A man? In an instant, the laughter in the room stopped. Countless burning gazes fell on Li Xiaoshui as he entered. This is my brother. Li Wanqing introduced. Little sister. The short-haired woman warmly shook hands with Li Wanqing. You have a brother, and you didn't even mention it, Wan Cheng. That's too much. Another girl quickly walked over. Yeah, you actually hit it. No, hey, who's talking about this with you guys? We're here to discuss the mysterious world. I brought my brother to take a look. He just completed the assessment. Li Wan Cheng said. Oh, the mysterious world? Come, come, handsome guy, we were just about to start. Handsome guy, handsome guy, I just passed the assessment, we must have something to talk about. Most of the girls were extremely enthusiastic. It's not surprising. According to the current ratio, there is only one man in an average of four or five classes. Especially someone like him, handsome, charming, elegant, and extraordinary, a handsome man who surpasses Panin and Songyu in both talent and appearance. 
They all want to have him. Unfortunately, those inferior women, even if they have a perfect appearance, they still can't compare to me, Li Xiaoshui sat with a smile. His confidence reached its peak at this moment. As he was examining whether there was a beautiful girl that matched his extraordinary appearance, suddenly, an unexpected woman appeared in Li Xiaoshui's field of vision. She was different from everyone else, completely ignoring him. Li Xiaoshui felt puzzled, after all, he was a precious and great man. But soon, he understood, is this woman playing hard to get with me? But, to his surprise, Li Xiaoshui discovered that she was a stunning beauty with a score of 130. Moreover, compared to others, she had a unique and elegant charm, something special. He admired her. All right, now that everyone is here, let's talk about the mysteries of the world. These experiences are important for those of us who haven't been inside. While Li Xiaoshui was contemplating, someone spoke up. They immediately received a response. Soon, along with Li Xiaoshui, dozens of people gathered in a large private room and started discussing. Let me start. My assessment was a D-level assessment. I entered an old hospital. The discussion began like this. Li Xiaoshui listened expressionlessly. When he came back, he had seen many discussion posts online about this kind of thing. Although they didn't provide detailed accounts, they were not much different in reality. Li Xiaoshui found that the difference between his S-level assessment and other levels was the death rate and danger level, which were not as low, in a mysterious village, one wrong step could mean death. They couldn't relax their vigilance at any moment. You see, on their first day, more than 20 people died. Therefore, these D-level assessments had a pass rate of more than half and were less difficult. For Li Xiaoshui, it was as easy as playing house. In this way, several girls took turns describing their assessment experiences. When they reached the highlights, they couldn't help but boast, trying to catch Li Xiaoshui's attention. Unfortunately, these tricks were common skills among men on earth. Li Xiaoshui remained unaffected. By the way, Brother Wang Qing, why don't you talk about your assessment? After a girl finished her story, she looked at Li Xiaoshui. Li Xiaoshui was dumbfounded, how should he speak? He didn't want to attract attention, so he started deceiving everyone by saying that he had an F-level assessment, the lowest level. How could he bring up the content of the mysterious village and lower it to an F-level? Suddenly, Li Xiaoshui had a clever idea and said, by the way, compared to mine, I heard from my sister that there are people here who know about the government's intelligence on the mysterious world? He changed the topic. Upon hearing this, the girl who asked the question suddenly realized, yes, I also want to know about this. Su Yao, what's the situation? Another girl asked. Many eyes fell on the stunning beauty with a score of 130. Unexpectedly, he had connections within the government. Su. Yao nodded slightly and said, well, I was actually planning to tell everyone about this. After speaking, Su Yao glanced at everyone and asked, have you heard that before the mysterious world was made public, the federal government had already sent people in? Yes, I've heard. It is said that there were many exploration teams, right? Su Yao shook her head, no. The first batch was 100,000. They were all geniuses from around the world. They were far superior to ordinary people like us, who only have a physical level of 1 to 2. It is said that even the lowest level of physical ability inside is a super master with a two-digit level. Then, the second batch was the federal exploration team of several million. People like us, ordinary people, are actually the final audience. Therefore, in reality, the federal government's understanding and depth of the mysterious world have reached an unimaginable level. Su Yao's words moved everyone present. So many people had already entered before it was made public? Li Xiaoshui furrowed his brows slightly, it seems that many people are ahead. Relying on the first two batches of personnel, the federal government has obtained a lot of rules about the mysterious world. Su Yao continued, for example, the first one. Those who pass the assessment will be forcibly brought into the mysterious world for three to seven days. To carry out missions. Three to seven days? Su Yao's first piece of news made the excited girls instantly lose their composure. Several people exclaimed anxiously, 
doesn't that mean we will lose our freedom? Yeah, how can this be? I won't participate. If it's like this, I won't wear the helmet. Hearing this, Su Yao reassured them, indeed, not participating can indeed avoid it. However, it seems that there is a way to solve this problem, but I don't know it temporarily. Can I ask what the mission means? Li Xiaoshui's mind was not on the gun. Instead, he was curious about the point of the mission. Su Ya glanced at Li Xiaoshui and answered, It's similar to an assessment event. However, this kind of event will be changed to a mission in the future. And the difficulty level varies. Li Xiaoshui had no more questions. Suddenly, a tall and beautiful woman spoke up, I don't mind being forced. If I want to gain superhuman abilities, it's certain that there will be a price to pay. Now, I have passed the sea level assessment. Su Yao, I just want to know if there is a method with a higher success rate for our future missions. In other words, a method to become stronger. Faced with the determined and rigorous expression of the tall and beautiful woman, Su Yao answered without hesitation, according to insider information from the government, the fastest way to become stronger is to earn points and exchange them in the virtual city, so you should spend more time exploring the virtual city. One after another, many people continued to ask questions. Su Yao naturally became the center of attention. After all, she knew too much. Many pieces of information that couldn't be found online could be answered by her. By the way, those few top experts in our country should be the ones who entered the mysterious world early, right? Someone suddenly asked. After the collision with the mysterious continent, the evolution of the blue star genes, and the changes in the world, over the past 200 years, many incredibly strong experts have gradually emerged through training. They have their presence in killing powerful mutated beasts and exploring the mysterious continent. Their combat power is in the single digits, which is at the level of ordinary people, while those true experts have combat power in the hundreds. That should be the case. Someone responded. Hmm, I guess those experts have probably passed the S-level assessment. Ah, I really don't know what rewards the highest S-level assessment will have. Someone muttered. From what I know, the pass rate for the S-level assessment is very low, extremely low. Even super strong individuals don't pass it easily, Su Yao added. One topic led to another. Li Xiaoshui had been listening all along. This trip was not in vain, and he gained quite a bit. He learned a lot of relevant information. Could it be, this is the ability to foresee the sense of precaution and the feeling of gain? At the same time, while talking, Li Xiaoshui could sense their emotions through mental control, calm, friendly, interested, and a slight hint of disgust. The only feeling of disgust came from Su Yao. This puzzled Li Xiaoshui. Of course, another strange thing happened. In the continuous perception, Li Xiaoshui found that his mind was inexplicably tired. Every time he sensed their emotions, the heaviness and exhaustion of his mind would deepen. Is it because I haven't recovered after the assessment? Li Xiaoshui speculated. Or is it that after strengthening, this kind of perception consumes my mental power? The discussion continued for an hour. Li Xiaoshui didn't speak much and just listened. Most of the content gradually focused on the virtual city, this inevitably. Increased Li Xiaoshui's yearning for the virtual city. The gathering was over. Li Xiaoshui gave up his original idea of wandering around and went straight home. He put on his helmet and entered the mysterious world. After the thrilling assessment last time and with worries about the upcoming mission, Li Xiaoshui had the opportunity to improve his own strength, which he naturally couldn't miss. He arrived in this dark space and pushed open the door of the virtual city. A flash of blue light. When he opened his eyes again, he was confronted with an indescribable scene that shocked Li Xiaoshui. It was huge. Too big. Under the crystal clear sky as blue as sapphire, there were countless towering, magnificent, mysterious, and exquisite buildings that stretched as far as the eye could see, with no end in sight. This was a world that could not be described by the current human civilization, technology, or understanding. Floating castles, bottomless black hole gates, towering towers. On every street, there were bustling crowds and the sound of people talking. People were coming and going through the streets, buildings, and places. 
As mentioned on online forums, among those crowds were not familiar blue star people, but rather various extraterrestrial beings with different appearances. Is this, the virtual city? Li Xiaoshui stood in front of a large platform resembling a bus stop, marveling at these magical scenes. There was a virtual panel dedicated to him in front of him. Li Xiaoshui took a glance. Inside, there was an introduction to the rules of survival in the mysterious city. Sir, would you like a ride? For one virtual coin, I can take you anywhere. Suddenly, an object resembling an ancient rickshaw was pulled in front of Li Xiaoshui by a strong and beautiful woman. No, thanks. Li Xiaoshui shook his head. He wanted to understand the situation first. As for virtual coins, 10,000 virtual coins were equivalent to one point. It was displayed in the rules. Li Xiaoshui paid attention to points for the first time. Are you from our blue star? Are you a newcomer who just arrived? If you take a ride, I can tell you some key information about the virtual city. This information is very useful for newcomers, the strong woman said. One sentence tempted Li Xiaoshui. Although he had some understanding from the forums, he didn't know the specific location and some other details. After a moment of contemplation, he exchanged one point of virtual points for 10,000 virtual coins and then got on the rickshaw. Tell me. Li Xiaoshui spoke directly. Sure. The strong woman seemed extremely pleased to earn a virtual coin. For newcomers entering this city, it's basically enough to go to two places. The Exchange Street and the Church District. The Exchange Street is where exchanges take place. Whether you're a newcomer or an old-timer, you can exchange the mysterious items and props obtained in missions for what you need. It's easy to exchange for things you need. The Church District is more complicated. It's about the understanding of the apprentice's identity, learning about special abilities and characteristics. You can learn a lot of things there. The strong woman replied. Are there any restrictions on other places that I can't go to? Li Xiaoshui asked. Not really, there's no place you can't go here. Everyone wants to go to every place. But the prerequisite is that you need points. Without points, you will be kicked out. In this city, you can get everything, as long as you have points. And I earn virtual coins to exchange for points. The strong woman answered, then paused, and asked, Where do you want to go first? Or do you want to go somewhere else? The church district. Li Xiaoshui replied. The strong woman was taken aback, then smiled and said, smart choice. Then, the rickshaw started and quickly headed north. The scenery on the street rapidly receded. Li Xiaoshui noticed other rickshaws. But he found that most of them were driven by aliens. Blue Star humans were mostly empty cars without customers. Like the post said, ignored and discriminated against, Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but have this thought. A few minutes later, at an incredible speed, Li Xiaoshui was brought to the church district. On a vast open space, there were only three churches. They were built with three different colored materials, as if they were natural. The three churches emitted three different colored lights, blue, yellow, and black. Sacred, solemn, and mysterious. This is... Li Xiaoshui was confused. It seemed that the muscular woman had already anticipated Li Xiaoshui's confusion and said, the identity and characteristics that each person chooses determine their attributes. Attributes are divided into, extraordinary, manifestation, and, mystery. The characteristic that enhances physical abilities is the extraordinary blue. When the characteristics are used and materialized, it becomes the manifestation in yellow. And those characteristics that have no killing power but have wonderful effects are the mysterious black. Li Xiaoshui immediately understood that he was the mysterious black. Thank you, Li Xiaoshui said. He he, you're welcome, the muscular woman laughed. Li Xiaoshui stood in front of the three bustling churches, pondered for a moment, and walked towards the black church emitting a black and mysterious light. In the huge church space, at multiple windows, there were long queues of people. It took nearly an hour for Li Xiaoshui to reach the front. Li Xiaoshui approached an old man with a red nose and three eyes. What's the matter? 
Seeing Li Xiaoshui sit down without saying a word, the old man with the red nose immediately became impatient and spoke. I'm a newcomer and I want to understand the situation of my identity, Li Xiaoshui said. What identity? Villager, Li Xiaoshui said. The old man with the red nose pointed in the air with his hand. In an instant, a screen appeared in front of Li Xiaoshui, as if he could observe it on his own. Sequence 0, Ordinary Villager. Characteristic, a faint sense of foresight. Carries talent, good reaction ability, excellent insight. Currently available optional characteristics for sale to villagers, 1. Eyes that never tire, identity, internet cafe manager. 50 points, 2. Unique sense of smell, identity, intern chef. 50 points, 3. Calm and composed thinking, identity, intern detective. 50 points, currently available talents for sale to villagers. 1. Outstanding reaction ability. 50 points, 2. Outstanding combat skills. 50 points, 3. Outstanding insight ability. 50 points, several options left Li Xiaoshui stunned. Then he carefully examined them. According to the rules, I need to remind you. Before sequence 2, all apprentices can only learn one optional characteristic. Please choose carefully the characteristic that suits you. After all, there are ways to obtain different characteristics, not just buying them here. The old man with the red nose said lazily. Does that mean that during missions, there will be selectable characteristics? It is also possible that there will be gifts, like when he completed the S-level assessment? Li Xiaoshui speculated. However, Li Xiaoshui was not an impulsive person. He would naturally be cautious. Moreover, points are not easy to obtain. He learned from the forum that completing assessments would only earn him F-level, 1 point, D-level, 5 points, C-level, 10 points, B-level, 15 points, A-level, 20 points. His S-level assessment gave him an astonishing 50 points. It is almost impossible for those who complete assessments to buy these. Only people like the muscular woman would strive to earn virtual currency for points. Okay, I understand, Li Xiaoshui said. Regardless, he would definitely use his points within three days when the missions arrived. He could consider it carefully and there was no rush now that he understood the content of the church, he planned to go to the exchange area to see if there was anything good. Among the newcomers, he could be considered wealthy. Li Xiaoshui walked out of the church. Just as he was considering how to get to the exchange area, a familiar voice sounded. Hey, newcomer. Li Xiaoshui turned his head and saw the muscular woman. It seemed that she was waiting for him on purpose. In order to earn those virtual coins. So, do you understand now? Are you ready to work hard and buy something? The muscular woman asked. I haven't thought about it clearly yet. Maybe I don't have to buy it here. Isn't there another way to get it? Li Xiaoshui asked. The muscular woman sneered, the prices here are the most reasonable. If you go to the exchange area, who will sell it to you without a hundred points? By the time you earn a hundred points, it'll be too late. So that's how it is. Are we going to the exchange area now? Do we need a ride? The muscular woman asked with a smile. Sure. Let's go, Li Xiaoshui said without hesitation. It just so happened that this woman could answer a lot of his questions. On the way, Li Xiaoshui started asking. What is the exchange area like? Each sequence has its own exchange area. Sequence 0 can only be on the first underground floor. If you want to buy something, it's not a problem. Just negotiate the price with the stall owner. But if you want to sell something, you'll have to pay a stall fee. 100 virtual coins per hour. It's ridiculously expensive, she answered. What do they generally sell inside? Just common things, like the miscellaneous items we get from assessments and missions in sequence zero. It's different every day, and you never know what unexpected treasures might appear, the muscular woman said. As they chatted, they moved quickly. After 10 minutes, they arrived at their destination. A magnificent palace. According to the muscular woman, the palace had several floors, all dedicated to trading for high-ranking sequences. And, some auction houses. 
Sequence zero people could only enter through a remote entrance and go underground in the palace. Li Xiaoshui quickly went underground. Although it was underground, it wasn't dim. Somehow, the underground area was brightly lit. Under the sunlight from the outside, it was exceptionally bright. Standing at the entrance, one could overlook the hundreds and thousands of densely packed stalls. There were also crowds of people haggling and buying. At the entrance, there was a registration. An expressionless tall man recorded Li Xiaoshui's information. Knowing that he was a buyer, without much conversation, he let him in. In an instant, Li Xiaoshui was engulfed in the crowd. Amidst the crowd, amidst the noisy shouts, he started looking around the various stalls. Healing items, life-saving, two points, only two points, I'll sell it. Cheaper than the shops. Mysterious items. Although they're not mainstream, they have powerful killing power. Don't miss out. Exchange them for attack-type items. Protective items that can save your life. Excellent combat skill cards, in a hurry to earn points, selling them quickly. The dazzling array of goods made Li Xiaoshui's head spin. He thought his harvest in the assessment was not bad, but he didn't expect that many people had gotten lucky and obtained some things. After scanning through, besides a few stalls selling cards, there was nothing else that caught his attention. For Li Xiaoshui, what he wanted now was something that could improve his strength. Like abilities, like talents, or, mysterious items. Of course, not just any ordinary mysterious items. And not even level 1 mysterious items, what he wanted was level 2. After all, only with this item could he advance. Due to the special nature of his identity, using a level 1 mysterious item to advance was different from others. He needed a level 2 mysterious item. This was a headache for Li Xiaoshui. You see, not to mention level 2, just by looking around, there wasn't a single level 1 mysterious item among all these stalls, some people have advanced on their own, who was selling. Li Xiaoshui started browsing. With 50 points in his pocket, he was confident. However, after browsing for an hour, he didn't find much. At most, he understood the basic prices. Special cards for sale. Special cards for sale. Anyone who wants a second special ability, come take a look. Suddenly, a voice from a new stall attracted the attention of everyone nearby. The crowd quickly gathered around. Li Xiaoshui was among them. What kind of attribute is it? Is it extraordinary? How much does it cost? Many people immediately asked. Every pair of eyes stared at the purple card floating on the stall. Mysterious class, said the young girl who was the stall owner, as she opened the card's contents. Ordinary passerby, an ordinary passerby with extremely low presence, easily overlooked by others. Ah, mysterious. Someone immediately became disappointed and walked away. It was the person who asked if it was extraordinary. It's simple, you can't use mysterious abilities if you're extraordinary. If you want it, it'll cost you one level 1 mysterious item, said the young girl. Level 1 mysterious item? Several people who were interested were taken aback. Your mediocre ability is too overpriced. Someone said. Oomph, are there any strong abilities at sequence 0? It's not like you can't advance. You should know that a sequence 3 ordinary passerby is an invisible person, the girl said in a deep voice. Invisible person. Immediately, many people, including Li Xiaoshui, couldn't help but gasp. Just from the name, they knew the ability of this sequence. It can turn invisible. He also belongs to the mysterious class, so he can use it. But sequence 3 is too far away. Can we use points? I won't exchange it for any amount of points. I just want one level 1 mysterious item to advance, the girl said. Not many people were interested. In the end, a tall young white man appeared and bought it with a strange stone. The appearance of a special card caused a stir. But after it was sold, everything returned to normal. Li Xiaoshui browsed for over two hours, but didn't find much, so he left somewhat disappointed. After that, Li Xiaoshui left the exchange area and went to explore the merchandise in the prop area. The prop area had restrictions. 
those with less than 30 points would be driven away. That's why the muscular woman recommended that Li Xiaoshui not go there. The prop area was where Li Xiaoshui found the least. The reason was simple. It was expensive, the things for sale were too expensive. In every store, props generally cost 10 points or more. Most of them were disposable items. Even if they were useful, who could afford several? As for the props that attracted people's desire to buy, like the life-saving puppet he saw on the black-haired woman, it cost 30 points. It was a good deal, it could save a life. But not many people could afford it. Not to mention other items with even more magical effects and higher prices. The best-selling prop was called Healing Bandage. Its function was to quickly heal wounds. Limited to injuries. 1 point for 2. After wandering around and getting a general understanding of the virtual city, Li Xiaoshui, who didn't find much, returned to the real world. By then, it was already evening. During dinner, the news reported various events that occurred. After the appearance of the mysterious world. The whole world was caught up in the craze of the mysterious world. People were continuously going in and coming out. One piece of news caught Li Xiaoshui's attention, a man on the brink of death had his lifespan extended after successfully coming out of the mysterious world. According to expert speculation, in the human genetic evolution induced by the purple mist, males lack a certain factor. But when completing the assessment and tasks in the mysterious world, repairing the male body will slightly compensate for this factor. Hearing this, Li Xiaoshui looked at the purple world outside the window. He finally realized, it seems that before entering the mysterious world, I didn't feel so frightened by the purple mist. Evolution, is there a missing factor? Why? Is it because the purple mist comes from that mysterious continent? What is there on that continent? Li Xiaoshui is very curious. Unfortunately, as an ordinary person, he doesn't have much information about the mysterious continent. Only the exploration teams know. At night, Li Xiaoshui entered the virtual city again. He encountered a characteristic card. It was a manifestation type. A very unique ability. Unfortunately, he couldn't use it. In this world, as a man, he has the right not to work. There is also a monthly cash subsidy. So most men in this world have nothing to do. Therefore, Li Xiaoshui, who graduated a year ago, has never worked. And now that the mysterious world has appeared, the country unconditionally supports the people to enter the mysterious world. Those who pass the assessment can apply for money subsidies and work leave benefits. Even if he immerses himself in the virtual city every day, it doesn't matter. It's just that Li Xiaoshui doesn't believe in the exaggerated support that there is nothing beneficial to the country in the mysterious world. Maybe as the mysterious world is promoted and progresses, this secret will be known to the public. For two consecutive days, Li Xiaoshui entered the virtual city. He mostly wandered around the trading area. His current goal is to improve his strength before the first mission comes out. The easiest way at the moment is the second characteristic. Although it is not rare and no one is selling it, the chances of it appearing are not particularly high. Every time it appears, it attracts a lot of attention. The expensive exchange makes people hesitate. In these two days, including the two characteristic cards from the first day, Li Xiaoshui has already seen five characteristic cards. One mysterious, two manifestations, and two extraordinary. Tomorrow is the third day, if I can't find a characteristic card, I'll buy the excellent insight. Li Xiaoshui thought. He continued to browse the stalls as he did in the previous two days. Just like browsing some shopping apps, even if he doesn't buy anything, he is still excited. Characteristic cards for sale. Li Xiaoshui heard the news of characteristic cards again. He walked over. It was a middle-aged man with scars on his face and a cold expression. 100 points, if you like it, take it. No bargaining, only points. The middle-aged man's voice was hoarse. Then, the characteristic card appeared in front of everyone. Mysterious type. Mild mental illness. Strange type. Mild mental illness. Characteristic, split personality disorder, 
which will cause you to have multiple personality symptoms. You will occasionally suffer from different emotions and visual disturbances. The card was displayed, and immediately there was a crowd discussing. It's you again. Haven't you sold this card in a month? You know? How could I not know? I've seen him several times. He always sells this characteristic at a high price, but no one buys it. Yeah, I've seen him twice too. I wouldn't want this useless characteristic even if it's 50 points. It's impossible for anyone to buy it, even if it's 50 points. Let's disperse. The lively crowd was quickly dispersed. This characteristic doesn't seem to have much effect. And there's the risk of getting sick. The scar-faced man remained expressionless and continued to sit. He seemed unaffected by these words. To be honest, Li Xiaoshui also gave up becoming a mental patient because of the huge side effects. But for some reason, Li Xiaoshui found his gaze instinctively focused on the words different emotions and perspectives. It was as if his sixth sense was hinting at him. Could this be a good thing? Friend, can we negotiate the price of this thing? Li Xiaoshui spoke up. The scar-faced man glanced at him and said, No. Not even a little bit. Li Xiaoshui furrowed his brow slightly and asked, May I ask, what comes after the mental illness sequence? The scar-faced man sneered, I don't know either. All I know is that I encountered someone with mental illness sequence 1. It's terrifyingly off the charts. Besides, this sequence is also an extremely rare type. If I didn't already have a second characteristic, I wouldn't sell it. Li Xiaoshui chose to believe in his sixth sense. He hesitated for a moment and then said, Friend, how long will you be here selling? Two hours from now. All right. Li Xiaoshui fell silent for a while and then left directly. He knew that this thing probably wouldn't be bought by anyone. After all, it had been on sale for so long. There was no need to rush. He left the virtual city and went to various forums to search for the characteristics of mental patients. Unfortunately, there was no information or leads. No news or information, but that's normal since the mysterious world has just begun. It's normal to have no information about this kind of thing. If I buy it, I definitely have to use it. If it's useful, that's good. But if it's ineffective, what should I do? I don't want to become mentally ill for nothing. But the sixth sense hinted. And, that man's tone was so firm. Li Xiaoshui fell into deep thought for a long time. In the end, Li Xiaoshui made up his mind, hoping that it would bring him unexpected abilities. Forget it. I'll trust my sixth sense. Li Xiaoshui gritted his teeth. He went back and asked, I'll add an insignificant mystery item and 50 points. Will you sell it? I'll say it in one sentence, give me 100 points, otherwise, forget it. He said indifferently. Li Xiaoshui was helpless. In the exchange area, a level 1 mystery item was worth 100 points or more. An insignificant mystery item was worth 5 to 10 points. Even if he added 10 points, he would only have 60 points. Suddenly, Li Xiaoshui remembered that potion. He immediately went to one of the identification places in the virtual city. He spent one point to have it identified. This is the main medicine for the mental potion. With other ingredients, it can be successfully formulated. The extraterrestrial appraiser said expressionlessly. Mental potion? Li Xiaoshui remembered that it was sold in the item area for 50 points. It was very expensive. But, he only had the main medicine. Oh no, I don't have enough points. Li Xiaoshui frowned. Li Xiaoshui calculated in his mind. First of all, his Sequence 1 selection book couldn't be sold. As for the other things, according to the prices in this stall, even if he sold all the weapons, he still wouldn't be able to gather 100 points. What should he do? If he wanted points, he could only complete the next mission. But even so, 100 points was a fantasy for someone like him who was completing the assessment for the first time. Most people only had 3 or 5 points in their accounts. Li Xiaoshui returned to the virtual city. 
When he arrived, the scar-faced man looked at him and asked, Have you considered it? Can I propose a condition? Li Xiaoshui asked. The price is non-negotiable. I won't talk about the price, but the main issue is that I don't have enough points right now. I've reserved it, so can you sell it to me in a few days? Li Xiaoshui asked with a smile. The scar-faced man sneered, when you have enough points, come and buy it. If by then, I haven't sold it yet. Obviously, this person wasn't easy to negotiate with. Fortunately, Li Xiaoshui had already thought of a countermeasure. He said calmly, I'll offer 110 points. The scar-faced man was taken aback. He squinted his eyes and carefully examined Li Xiaoshui. After a moment, he said, 120. Li Xiaoshui replied calmly, I made a big decision to bear the side effects of becoming mentally ill. If you don't want to negotiate, I can find someone else. The scar-faced man smiled and said, All right. 110 it is. Let's consider it a friendly transaction. You're a blue star person, right? Let's exchange contact information. However, let's make it clear in advance, I'll wait for you for a week. If it exceeds that, I'll continue setting up my stall. The two agreed. They exchanged contact information, and the scar-faced man closed his stall. In fact, in this deal, the scar-faced man made a profit, while Li Xiaoshui knew that he had lost. After all, his stuff hadn't been sold for several days in a row. But what if it was bought? Li Xiaoshui still believed in his sixth sense. Selling that mysterious potion, along with the self-rescue adrenaline and the mysterious object, the knife, I probably have around 80 to 90 points. Based on my understanding, the points for the task won't be less. Completing the task and getting rewarded items can also be sold at a good price. I should be able to accumulate 110 points. But I can't be inflexible and change everything just to accumulate 110 points. After deciding to purchase this attribute, Li Xiaoshui began to consider the preparations for the follow-up. In the blink of an eye, it was the fourth day since Li Xiaoshui completed the assessment. These days, there were more and more assessors coming out one after another. Helmets were also being distributed continuously. The number of people who completed the B-level assessment had exceeded a hundred. There were also several who completed the A-level. The news, which initially discussed the assessment content and supernatural abilities, turned into interviews and introductions of apprentices who completed the B-level assessment, and even a few A-level ones. All those celebrities were replaced by these people. The official even listed the assessment rankings. Of course, Li Xiaoshui ignored all of these. These two days, he was fully preparing for his first mission. Li Xiaoshui spent 10 points in these two days. One point was used to purchase a virtual pocket that could be worn and could hold 20 square meters of space. One point was used to purchase two healing bandages. Five points were used to purchase protective armor. One point was used to purchase a permanent fire starter. Points were used to purchase an unpopular and insignificant mysterious object. It had no special characteristics, it could only create fog. Li Xiaoshui thought this effect was very peculiar. Perhaps it could have unexpected effects, so he bought it. There were still 39 points left. And just in the afternoon of the fourth day of the assessment, when he was about to enter the virtual city. Unexpectedly, in the darkness, a prompt suddenly sounded, prompt. Prompt. Apprentices will be assigned to participate in the first mission event. Apprentices will be assigned to participate in the first mission event. Matching candidates. The mission will start in 10 minutes. Li Xiaoshui's face turned serious. The first mission had arrived. He took a deep breath and calmed his emotions. Finally. 10 minutes later. Mission start. Mission, drifting bottle at sea. Level, A level. Content, the Kaldorf ship, carrying 200 passengers, set sail on the endless ocean. However, a storm overturned the ship. The survivors floated to a strange and eerie island. The rescue team has been dispatched. However, it will take several days to find this deserted island. Among the surviving passengers is the heir of the Kaldorf, Veer. 
The main task of the fleet is to protect her safety. Please play your role well. When the rescue team arrives, the mission will be completed. Special conditions are as follows, at sea, a certain number of drifting bottles may appear. Apprentices must pick up the drifting bottles and complete the contents of the notes inside. If not completed, they will die. The salty sea breeze hit Li Xiuxui's cheek, causing a stinging sensation. He suddenly opened his eyes. The sea. An endless expanse of dark sea. The sky was pitch black, and in the distance, dark clouds seemed to engulf the world, accompanied by an endless storm. Nearby, the wind howled wildly. The sea water trembled with the distant storm, splashing waves and surging tides, the feeling of unease and restlessness is so clear. He is on a beach. The ground is full of rotting fish carcasses, broken sharp shells, and several fragmented bodies, accompanied by sandy blood-like water. Li Xiaoshui turned around. A few hundred meters away from the coast. At this moment, strange tents are being set up one after another. Dozens, hundreds of people are busy around the tents. Are those passengers? Pondering. Suddenly, a roar like drums and gongs sounded, the sound was so loud that Li Xiaoshui was dizzy. You bastards, trash, dog shit. Are you still slacking off? Ah. Do you want Miss Weyer to go hungry at night? Ah. Stab then, a whip crack sound followed. But when the whip fell, it brought not the sound of whipping, but a series of sounds as if bones and flesh were being torn apart. Li Xiaoshui came to his senses and quickly looked to the side. On the side, there was a nearly four meter tall giant with two faces and a body full of densely packed, circular holes. It was holding a half meter thick and long whip made of sharp bone spurs and blades, which was dripping with blood. The whip was being whipped at a thin, screaming man who was lying on the ground with his back torn open in pain. With you like this, what will Miss Weyer do at night? The other face of the giant, with a roaring angry expression, was completely different, tears streaming down. Miss Weyer, so kind, and you want to let her go hungry. The angry expression on the face became furious again, shouting, unforgivable, unforgivable. The terrifying whip was suddenly whipped at the thin man again. Tear. A piece of the thin man's leg meat was whipped away. Tear. The thin man's skull was whipped into two pieces. The whipping continued. The screams and splattering flesh gradually disappeared. When there was only a piece of broken bone left underground, the whipping finally stopped. This scene was very short. Just a few seconds. The quiet scene made Li Xiaoshui's heart suddenly numb. He finally knew how the corpse underground had come about. He didn't want to be whipped like that. If he were whipped like that, not to mention completing the mission, he would probably struggle to stay alive. What kind of creature is this person? An alien? Half an hour left. The furious face of the giant roared at the crowd, Captain Gatley guarantees that if you garbage don't find food for Miss Ware, your fate will be the same as his. Crying followed, we must find it, we must find it. If we can't find it, what will happen to Miss Ware? In place, there were dozens of individuals dressed like the thin man who had been whipped to death. Li Xiaoshui was one of them. Crew members? Playing the role of the ship's crew? Li Xiaoshui guessed their identity. In the next moment, many people, terrified by Gatli's actions, rushed into the sea. Li Xiaoshui came to his senses, and also looked towards the sea. A sense of impending danger that made him shudder. He turned his head and looked at the whip. Li Xiaoshui gritted his teeth and chose to face the howling hurricane, walking towards the dark sea. The dark sea surface churned. Occasionally, one after another strange circular bubbles burst open from the sea surface, as if there were creatures hiding beneath those bubbles. The line of sight couldn't penetrate this dark sea surface. Li Xiaoshui's mind was extremely focused. The sixth sense that warned of danger was crazy and intense. This was the enhanced effect of his abilities. Compared to before, it occurred more frequently and his senses were sharper. Li Xiaoshui's gaze repeatedly scanned the others nearby. Li Xiaoshui discovered, among the dozens of crew members, there were ten people with the appearance of blue star people. 
The rest were mostly alien looking. Are they, on a mission? Considering the power of the green striped man and woman earlier, Li Xiaoshui had a conjecture. If everyone is doing tasks, then the difficulty of this mission, A level, might not be weaker than the S level assessment. Food. Do you mean catching fish or something? But now, in this kind of storm, it's obviously impossible to have fish near the shallow sea, right? Li Xiaoshui pondered, his attention returning to the captain's initial request. I hear something. Suddenly, a shout rang out. About a hundred meters away from where Li Xiaoshui was, an alien with strange scales on his body shouted. All eyes turned towards him. In front of that alien, on the dark sea surface, bursts of hot air emerged. In the area where the hot air was, countless bubbles emerged. The alien suddenly appeared with a sharp spear-like weapon in his hand and stabbed it towards the hot air. With a P.U. sound. The weapon pierced the sea surface. It seemed like it had pierced something. A blue liquid slowly floated up from the dark sea surface. The alien's face showed joy, but just as he was about to make a move, suddenly, he froze. He looked in astonishment at the sea surface beneath him, not knowing what had happened. His face showed fear, and just as he opened his mouth to say something, he was suddenly dragged into the water. In a blink of an eye, he disappeared from everyone's sight. It was just a shallow water area that reached the knees. Everyone looked at each other. People within a few dozen meters of the incident had their faces changed drastically and instinctively moved away quickly. Almost everyone took out their own tools, weapons, and vigilantly looked at the sea surface, but, there was no movement. It became quiet again. The surging water bubbles and the steaming hot air disappeared completely. The blue blood was washed away by the seawater, leaving no trace. Besides the sound of the surging waves, the scene was dead silent. Hey, what are you doing? Another voice rang out. All eyes shifted towards it. About 10 meters away from Li Xiaoshui, in the shallow beach area, a female alien had actually dived underwater, leaving only her dense hair floating on the sea surface, but there was no response to the call. The person couldn't help but feel puzzled. Subconsciously, he reached out and pushed the woman's head, but with just this push, her head turned over as if pushing a piece of paper. Unexpectedly, it was a head without a body, lightly floating on the dark sea surface. No, it couldn't be called a head. It was just a pale face still covered in scalp. The face and the back of the head were tightly stuck together. Inside the head, it seemed like something had eaten it clean. In the pale eyeball still attached to the face, there was a lingering look of fear before death. Li Xiaoshui's face looked grim. He remembered that just a few seconds ago, this woman in his field of vision was still vigilantly looking around. Did his gaze shift for just a few seconds? In such a short time, she had turned into this appearance? What exactly was hidden in this dark sea that had been giving him a constant sense of crisis? Not only Li Xiaoshui, but everyone couldn't remain calm after two consecutive strange incidents. Instead of searching for fish, they were more focused on checking if there was anything beneath them. Some even wanted to escape from this black sea. However, Captain Gatley, holding a bloody whip at the edge of the coast, stopped their thoughts of fleeing. Everyone, I have a proposal. The situation is too strange now. Why don't we form a group, one meter apart, and support each other? This way, even if there are problems, we can help each other in time. Li Xiaoshui spoke up. He had to speak up. He was afraid that the next crisis would fall on him. Although he had obtained powerful characteristics from the mysterious class, his weakness was his weak combat ability. At least compared to the people present, he was weak. This was his way of self-preservation. All right. Let's do that. We form a circle to make it easier to find fish in the sea. In fact, not only Li Xiaoshui had the idea of unity and cooperation in this situation. As soon as he spoke, he immediately attracted agreement. Soon, everyone tightly formed a circle. I guess the creatures attacking us should be from the sea. An alien made this inference. Li Xiaoshui nodded. He was about to respond when suddenly, at the root of his thigh, it felt like something slippery had brushed past, a sharp, cold, and hot sensation came over him. 
Not only him, the two people next to Li Xiaoshui were also shocked. It's right beneath us, someone shouted, about to escape from the spot, but their body couldn't move. Oh no, I've been caught. Li Xiaoshui keenly noticed something and shouted urgently, attack the area beneath him. That thing is not small. As soon as the words fell, the terrified crowd didn't think any further and continuously attacked the spot with a series of weapons, strange characteristics, and abilities. The dark sea surface was instantly filled with deep blue blood. And the alien who was entangled also suffered unjustly. The splashing attacks bound him, making it impossible for him to dodge, and he was covered in blood. The attacks stopped. Should be dead, right? What kind of monster is this? Dozens of people looked at the sea surface dyed deep blue and couldn't help but discuss, but no one dared to approach. No. Not dead. It's still clinging to me, the entangled alien hoarsely shouted. Bang! The dark-colored sea was blasted open. That alien was swept up into the sky in an instant. Li Xiaoshui looked on in astonishment, it was a ten-meter-long, deformed and twisted, hairy tentacle that seemed to be a combination of human and animal. The tentacles covered the wounds, and from each of those wounds crawled out numerous octopuses the size of maggots, with sharp teeth. The octopuses immediately pounced on the entangled alien, burrowing into his skin, into his facial features, in just two seconds, at a visibly terrifying speed, from inside his body to his head, he was completely devoured. As the body of the alien in midair was eaten clean, one by one, the tiny insects fell from that empty human skin into the dark, indistinguishable sea. Suddenly, everyone understood why that woman had died so mysteriously. Everyone felt an indescribable numbness, could these insects, following the seawater, enter their bodies? I feel like I was bitten by an insect, it entered my bloodstream. Suddenly, someone shouted in panic, quick, help me, help me. These insects have also entered my body. My back is itching. Another woman hurriedly said. My leg feels uncomfortable. One after another, people began to suspect that the slight strange discomfort they were experiencing was caused by the insects. After all, this wasn't the first batch to fall into the water. Just now, there was already a batch in the water. Under the influence of psychological factors, Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but be affected as well, nervously scanning his surroundings. He didn't want to die inexplicably, but his sixth sense was useless at this time. The entire sea was a crisis. What chaos, a burly bald man with red eyes shouted loudly, causing everyone present to calm down. Cut off these tentacles and treat them as food, then we can leave. Otherwise, even if we're not eaten by the insects, we'll be killed by that madman. His words indeed had an effect. Everyone here was not ordinary, they all had strong abilities. Soon, everyone regained their morale and temporarily ignored their physical problems. Let's cooperate. They started working together. Li Xiaoshui stood at the end of the crowd, not taking action, observing the special abilities of these people. Li Xiaoshui speculated that there must be someone who had already reached sequence 1. You know, it's not an assessment for newcomers anymore, it's a mission. There are definitely many people who have experienced more than one mission. Similar to that man with red eyes, with extraordinary characteristics, his body expands one or two times, veins bulge, muscles twist and turn, such a strong body harbors terrifying power. This is not a characteristic ability that a rank zero can have. For example, someone with materialization abilities can create a thick purple vine out of thin air, tightly binding the tentacles. Such exaggerated means left Li Xiaoshui dumbfounded. The tentacles basically had no ability to resist. With everyone's efforts, finally, one person used a thin, transparent rope-like mysterious object to cut off the tentacles. The five to six meter tall, Two-meter-thick tentacles crashed straight onto the ground, splashing waves on the sea surface. The blue blood completely dyed the dark seawater. And as the tentacles fell to the ground, countless small insects crawled into the sea. Everyone was frightened by this scene and hurriedly ran towards the beach. The calm shallow sea area, however, no one dared to approach it again. Finally, relying on the vine's characteristics, the tentacles were dragged onto the shore. You bunch of trash, you finally did something. Captain Gatley's voice rang out like a drum when the tentacles were dragged to the shore. 
Speaking, he glanced at the extremely embarrassed crowd on the beach and continued to coldly give instructions, but it's not your rest time yet. Li Xiaoshui's heart sank. Could there be something life-threatening that needs to be done? You, you, you. Go and gather enough firewood to burn until dawn and bring it to Miss Weyer. You, and you, go find clean water and bring it to Miss Weyer for her to wash up. Gatley assigned one task after another. Li Xiaoshui, of course, was also involved in one of them. Everyone was assigned their new tasks related to serving Miss Weyer and began to act. Li Xiaoshui followed three other people and took charge of the fruit incident. Yes, they had to prepare dessert fruits for Miss Weyer after dinner and for late night snacks. The four of them aimlessly walked towards the mountains on the island. Along the way, Li Xiaoshui kept observing the island. The island was very large, with endless greenery, covered in plants and tall trees. In such an environment, there must be fruit trees. However, there was one strange thing. It was quiet, too quiet. On this island, there were no seagulls chirping, no insect sounds. It was silent, devoid of any signs of life. The only sounds that could be heard were the raging waves echoing on this lifeless island and the sea breeze that stung Li Xiaoshui's cheeks. This lively island experiencing such a situation was truly strange and abnormal. And, when things go awry, there must be something sinister. Even if his sixth sense didn't give any hints, Li Xiaoshui was convinced that there were invisible dangers on this island. Caution was needed. Also, Li Xiaoshui was very concerned about Miss Weyer, whom he had never met. This captain was extremely terrifying, no. Calling him a pervert might be more appropriate. But, he issued tasks with Miss Weyer as the starting point. Perhaps, if he could win Miss Weyer's favor, he could reduce similar outings? This would definitely increase his chances of survival. This was different from the village assessment, there was no need to complete specific tasks. Only survival until the rescue team arrived was required. Of course, it's unknown whether he was overthinking it. Li Xiaoshui and the other three people unexpectedly encountered no dangerous situations in the subsequent process. Instead, they smoothly reached a hillside and saw two trees filled with peculiar fruits. After tasting them and confirming that there were no problems, they evenly divided and put them into their virtual pockets. It's relatively easy to complete. Let's go back. A woman smiled and spoke. Even if they only handed over half of these fruits, it would be enough for dozens of people to eat moreover, they only need to be responsible for Miss Wei's quantity. They can leave quite a few. Wait. At this moment, a alien with compound eyes suddenly stopped the group who turned around. What's wrong? There's a house. With just one sentence, the faces of the group became serious. Where? Li Xiaoshui looked around but didn't see any traces of a house. The alien with compound eyes glanced at Li Xiaoshui and the others, not explaining much, and then his gaze fell in the northeast direction. He continued slowly, three rooms. Is there anyone? Yes. The alien with compound eyes answered in a deep voice. The natives on the island? Yes. The alien with compound eyes nodded, squinting his eyes and staring in that direction, thinking about something. This is troublesome. There are natives after all. I knew it, this damn A-level mission must have a great risk. The plump woman gritted her teeth. Let's go, it's better to avoid trouble. Let's just tell the captain and let him handle it. Li Xiaoshui calmly expressed his opinion. He didn't want to face unknown dangers. The plump woman nodded repeatedly, I think so too. Well, let's go quickly and not attract attention. Another skinny man agreed. The alien with compound eyes sneered and rejected the group's idea. Based on my understanding, if we kill the native, we can obtain a mysterious item. And I saw a card in one of those three rooms. Perhaps it's a card with some kind of ability. With one sentence, Li Xiaoshui and the other three stopped in their tracks. A card? A card with abilities. No one could remain indifferent. This was equivalent to 100 points right in front of them. The value of just one card exceeded the reward for completing the assessment. 
What's a little risk compared to that? Are you lying? The plump woman immediately asked. The alien with compound eyes said indifferently, Lying? Is it necessary? If you think I'm lying, let's see together and find out, shall we? The group exchanged glances. If it was just a simple adventure, no one would be willing, after all, everyone cherished their own lives. But, if there was a chance to get a hundred points, then it would be different. The value of just one card was worth more than completing the assessment. What's a little risk? Then let's go take a look. What do you think? The plump woman was tempted. Li Xiaoshui and the skinny man agreed one after another, okay, let's go take a look. The alien with compound eyes smiled, that's right. Let's see together and then decide. We're not going to fight those natives immediately. The four of them reached an agreement and walked together in the northeast direction. They bypassed the dense forest and arrived at a basin halfway up the mountain. Sure enough, just as the alien with compound eyes said, there were well-built huts. However, they were not the kind of rural huts that Li Xiaoshui had in mind. They were simple stone rooms made of stone, wooden boards, and hay, like primitive stone chambers from the Stone Age. There were a total of three rooms. The two rooms on the sides were relatively cramped and small, with wooden beds and food items, similar to living quarters. The one in the middle, however, was completely different and exquisitely built. It was more than twice the size of the other two rooms. The open door revealed a glimpse of a huge stone carving inside the stone chamber, but the distance and the concealment of the stone chamber prevented Li Xiaoshui and the others from seeing its appearance clearly. In front of the stone carving, there were some offerings. On a small tripod on one of the offerings, there was a conspicuous red card floating in mid-air. The four people were fixated on that card. It was indeed there. In an instant, the four of them couldn't help but have the impulse to rush over and snatch the card. With 100 points in hand, how much stronger could they become? Everyone knew it. But, the two strange natives dressed in wild attire next to the stone chamber made them hesitate. The two natives with grey-black skin looked small and ugly, without any special characteristics. However, Li Xiaoshui and the others, who had gone through the assessment and even other missions, knew very well that these were definitely deadly characters. Especially the person guarding the card worth a hundred points, withdrawing their gaze, the four of them hid behind a giant tree root below and began to discuss. If we want to get the card, we have to kill these two natives. The four of us, two in each group, I think it's doable, the man with compound eyes spoke first. How do we divide it? The skinny man sneered. One card, four people to share? Yes, how to divide it is a problem, the plump woman said in a deep voice. It's simple, whoever wants that card has to compensate the others with 25 points. If you don't have enough points, exchange it for items of equivalent value, the man with compound eyes had already come up with a plan. 25 points, a large number. It's fair to divide it among four people. No one has any objections. Including Li Xiao Shui. He was very interested in the red card. If it had a more powerful ability, it would be even better. He wasn't particularly interested in the characteristics of a mental patient. However, there was something that puzzled Li Xiao Shui, his sixth sense didn't give him a strong indication about the red card. Could it be, the sixth sense was influenced by the emotions of the people nearby? Yes, when they were climbing the mountain, Li Xiaoshui tried to sense the emotions of several people towards him. The man with compound eyes, harboring evil intentions, has the intention to kill. Cold and indifferent towards him. The skinny man, nervous and expectant. No feelings towards him. The plump woman, excited mood. Friendly towards him. Li Xiaoshui became sufficiently wary of the man with compound eyes, who had ill intentions. Since there are no issues with the discussion, then, shall we start it? The man with compound eyes asked. In short, the first priority was to obtain this card, reaching a consensus was not difficult. However, just as the group was about to discuss, suddenly, Li Xiaoshui, who was perceiving the emotions of the others, felt a sharp pain in his head as if it had been pricked by a needle. The piercing pain made him gasp for breath. He covered his head and fell straight to the ground. 
If it weren't for a trace of rationality, knowing that he couldn't disturb the two natives in this situation, Li Xiaoshui would have screamed in agony. Several seconds later, the pain suddenly disappeared. Hey, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? The three of them looked at Li Xiaoshui in astonishment. Li Xiaoshui recovered and struggled to get up, forcing a smile, I've always had a special illness in my body, it rarely acts up, I didn't expect it to suddenly. I'm sorry. With that sentence, everyone felt relieved. However, inside Li Xiaoshui's smiling face, there was a heavy burden. Ever since the gathering with his sister Li Wanqing, he had been experiencing a similar mental exhaustion when sensing the emotions of others. Originally, this kind of situation wouldn't occur with his initial sixth sense. Ability. However, since he strengthened it, these side effects started to appear in the real world. Li Xiaoshui felt that it might be because his psychic power was not enough, so he had been relying heavily on his sixth sense since coming to this assessment, which caused the side effects to appear. But no matter how many side effects there were, he had never experienced this kind of backlash before, right? Even when he sensed the emotions of so many people at the gathering, he only felt tired. Could it be, the consumption of psychic power would be different when sensing people of different levels? For example, this man with compound eyes might be a rank one, causing excessive consumption? Li Xiaoshui quickly analyzed various reasons, and he believed that his analysis was correct. It seems that I can't use my ability to sense people's emotions recklessly, Li Xiaoshui sighed helplessly. Good things, always have limitations. I have to find a way to solve this limitation. Lost in thought, Li Xiaoshui and the others began to exchange their abilities and set tactics based on them. My attack type ability is wings. I can transform into wings and fly briefly, the man with compound eyes said. A materialization type animal ability, the skinny man looked deeply at the man with compound eyes, his eyes filled with envy and jealousy. The man with compound eyes remained expressionless. I have a superhuman type ability, enhanced physical qualities. Speed and strength are increased, the skinny man spoke up. I am a manifestation type, capable of manipulating a rope, said the voluptuous woman. She extended her hand, and a gray-white rope materialized in midair. In the end, only Li Xiaoshui remained. Li Xiaoshui could only laugh bitterly, I am a mysterious type. The others furrowed their brows at each other. Although the mysterious type had great power, it seemed to have little use in battle. But I am a telekinetic, capable of long-range attacks. Li Xiaoshui summoned a dagger. Very good. The man with compound eyes showed a hint of delight in his eyes. Since everyone has combat abilities, here is my plan. The three of them began discussing their battle strategy. Li Xiaoshui remained silent. The man with compound eyes had a strong desire for control. And only he made him feel threatened, as he was a formidable opponent. There was no need to argue with him. And so, the tactics were quickly decided. When the two natives separated, the skinny man would distract the other native. Li Xiaoshui and the other two would rely on the voluptuous woman to bind the native, while the man with compound eyes would launch an attack. Li Xiaoshui would take the opportunity to ambush and kill the isolated one. And so, the four of them focused intently, staring at the two natives, waiting for the opportunity to strike them down one by one. Li Xiaoshui noticed something. The two skinny natives actually had subtle differences in their appearance. Both of them had red, thick marks on their foreheads. One had two marks, while the other had only one. Li Xiaoshui's gaze fell on the one with two marks, and his sixth sense immediately reacted violently. Danger. Very dangerous. The one with a single mark also gave off a faint sense of danger. Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but furrow his brows, waiting for an opportunity. Violent winds carried the salty smell of water, continuously splashing onto the group. The endless black clouds on the sea, the storm, were getting closer to the island. And a bone-chilling coldness gradually intensified as night fell. And finally, as the group began to feel impatient and restless, the two natives separated. The two natives with red marks walked a short distance away to relieve themselves. This is a great opportunity. The man with compound eyes immediately said, let's proceed according to the plan. Wait. 
Li Xiaoshui hurriedly spoke up. What's wrong? The others looked at Li Xiaoshui with confusion. My ability leans towards precognition. My ability tells me that it would be smoother to kill the one who stayed behind. Li Xiaoshui said. The group exchanged glances. Although they didn't feel much difference, they still didn't reject Li Xiaoshui's suggestion. Soon, they switched positions, and the skinny man quickly approached the natives. Then, he deliberately made a noise to attract the attention of the native with two marks. The native with two marks flashed a look of astonishment in his eyes and immediately chased after him. The two figures disappeared from sight, and Li Xiaoshui and the other two took action. One of the natives with marks lay lazily by the rocks in front of the stone house, as usual. Just as he was about to lie down and rest for a while, suddenly, he felt as if there was something strange around his neck. The native with marks felt confused and was about to lower his head to look down when suddenly, a strong sense of suffocation surged up. Under his gaze, he discovered that his neck was tightly bound by a grey-white rope. And the rope was contracting desperately, making it almost impossible for him to breathe. He instinctively tried to tear the rope apart, but at this moment, there was a commotion ahead. In midair, a compound-eyed man with transparent wings flew towards him at a rapid speed. His hand held a sharp cleaver, which he swung down towards his neck. In his panic, the native with marks didn't have time to think and could only roll backward hastily. But the compound-eyed man was too fast, and with the interference of the rope, he couldn't react in time. The price of barely avoiding a fatal injury was having a large piece of flesh and bone sliced off his shoulder. After letting out a scream, the red mark on the native's forehead suddenly flickered, he let out a roar, and his strange power increased. With a strong pull, the white rope around his neck was torn in two. He broke free from the restraints. At this moment, the compound-eyed man, who was preparing to attack again, couldn't believe that the striped native had broken free from the restraints. He had incredible speed and fighting ability. Caught off guard, the compound-eyed man could only continue to attack with a hardened scalp. But he never expected that the native had incredible speed and fighting ability. The compound-eyed man's attacks were dodged, and then he was struck hard, smashing into his collarbone. With a crack of bones, the compound-eyed man fell to the ground, his neck dislocated, and his body convulsed. Then, he went silent. The native approached and checked the compound-eyed man, strangely delighted in tone, ha, ha ha, an outsider. There's an outsider. I've made a great achievement, I've found an outsider. The striped native danced with joy, seemingly unaffected by the pain of being cut. But in the next instant, the unsuspecting native's smile froze. A bloodstain slowly spread from his neck. Bang! His head fell to the ground, and his body followed suit. A dagger floated behind him. The sneak attack was successful. Li Xiaoshui breathed a sigh of relief and slowly emerged from his hiding place. Following closely behind Li Xiaoshui, the rope was torn, causing the plump woman's face to turn pale due to the recoil force. She also emerged from another hiding place. This native actually managed to break my rope. The plump woman felt her throat dry, unable to believe it. She knew very well the kind of strength it took to tear her rope apart. Are you dead? Li Xiaoshui looked at the compound-eyed man on the ground and spoke. Not quite. The compound-eyed man replied. Then, the compound-eyed man lying on the ground struggled to get up. His face showed a painful expression. It was unclear what precious item he had used, but his injuries were quickly healing. The dead native dropped a red crystal. Li Xiaoshui naturally walked over and picked up the crystal. Red crystal, inferior. Insignificant mysterious object. Carrying it can slightly enhance strength and speed. Introduction, it is said to be a mysterious object, an insult to mysterious objects. I have made great achievements, it belongs to me, is that okay? Li Xiaoshui asked casually. The compound-eyed man had no expression on his face. As you wish. The plump woman's eyes flashed with greed, but her answer could only be, you take it. There was no other way, that's the power of telekinesis. If it weren't for Li Xiaoshui's sneak attack, the consequences would be unimaginable. The three immediately entered the middle room. 
Upon entering, Li Xiaoshui and the others finally saw the appearance of the statue standing in the stone house. It had a deformed human face and body, covered in countless eyes and numerous tentacles, looking incredibly strange. After who knows how many years, this ordinary stone statue had cracked, become dilapidated, and dirty. But Li Xiaoshui and the others all felt strangely that these pairs of eyes were staring at them. The three of them were horrified. I feel uncomfortable staying here. Li Xiaoshui said in a deep voice. Take the card and let's go. The plump woman continued. The compound-eyed man didn't waste words, he reached out and took the card. After scanning it, he frowned. Then, the information on the card was given to Li Xiaoshui and the others. Sequence 1 Selection Card Special Item for Advancing Identity Type, Mysterious Identity, Shaman Characteristic, Sacrifice When you sacrifice an item of sufficient value, you occasionally receive a gift from the gods. The plump woman also fell silent. It was of no use to her and the compound-eyed man. Besides, it was obvious that the compound-eyed man was already sequence one. However, both the compound-eyed man and the plump woman had the same thought about this characteristic, it was very special. You want it, everyone, three people, each person needs to give more than 50 points. The man with compound eyes said. The plump woman nodded. Yes. This is the identity card for sequence one, and its characteristics are not simple. Li Xiaoshui refused expressionlessly, I don't want it. Yes, the characteristics are very good. With this thing, what can we exchange for is filled with anticipation and possibilities. But? Li Xiaoshui thinks it's not suitable for him. Besides, where does he have so many points to give them? The three of them were in a dilemma. Forget it, let's go out and discuss it first. If it doesn't work, we can still exchange with others. Li Xiaoshui said to the man with compound eyes, but either she or I will keep the card. To put it bluntly, if you try to play tricks, we won't be able to do anything to you. The man with compound eyes was taken aback, looked deeply at Li Xiaoshui and the plump woman who agreed with him, and sneered, all right. He threw the card to Li Xiaoshui. Just as he took the card, suddenly, a sense of imminent danger surged. Did he want to kill him and take the card? Li Xiaoshui looked anxiously at the man with compound eyes. He didn't make a move. The plump woman? She didn't make a move either. Not good, run. Li Xiaoshui suddenly woke up. The two of them were confused, but seeing Li Xiaoshui in such a panic, their scalps went numb, and they hurriedly ran out with him. However, it was too late. Outside the door. The two striped natives had returned. Covered in blood, one of them held the lifeless body of a thin man whose chest had been cut open, and their cold eyes shifted from the dead native on the ground to Li Xiaoshui and the others. Under the gaze of their murderous and icy eyes, the three of them couldn't help but feel a sense of fear. Li Xiaoshui's face was the worst. The sixth sense just now reminded him that it came from these two striped natives. Should we follow the tactics from earlier? The plump woman asked the two of them with a serious expression. Tactics? Kill him? Ha, huh, idiot. Do you think this guy is as strong as the native from earlier? The man with compound eyes sneered. Li Xiaoshui glanced at the man with compound eyes. It seemed that the man with compound eyes, like him, noticed the difference between the two natives from the patterns on their foreheads. What do you mean? The plump woman was puzzled. The man with compound eyes ignored the plump woman. He frowned tightly and considered the situation. If it weren't for the surprise attack, they wouldn't be able to kill the striped native. Not to mention facing two of them head-on. A-level missions were filled with death threats everywhere. What should they do? Do you have any ideas? The man with compound eyes looked at Li Xiaoshui. At this moment, Li Xiaoshui was scanning the three directions in front of him where they could escape back to the camp. North. The sense of crisis was extremely strong. West. The sense of crisis was strong. East. The sense of crisis was strong. The north was the most deadly. 
Originally, Li Xiaoshui didn't have this kind of ability similar to foresight. His ability could only be sensed at close range. This was the effect brought by enhancement. I think that if we run in three different directions, there might be a glimmer of hope. Li Xiaoshui replied. A glimmer of hope. The plump woman was shocked. At this moment, she could see clearly that the two of them were extremely afraid of this native. Suddenly, she realized. Her terrified gaze fell on the two red stripes on the native's forehead. You guys choose. East, west, or north. Li Xiaoshui didn't waste any words. All right, I'll go west. Then. I'll go north? All right, I understand. Li Xiaoshui nodded. Good luck to each of you. If you die, it's just bad luck. This was a trap deliberately left by Li Xiaoshui. With his mysterious abilities, if he had chosen in advance, it might have made the two of them suspect and compete with him for the escape direction. At this moment, he stood on the east side of the three of them. No matter what, according to normal thinking, they wouldn't choose to go to him. You killed my brother, and you still want to run? Damn outsiders, I won't kill you. I'll break your bones, take you to the tribe, and offer you as a sacrifice to the gods. The two striped natives heard their conversation as they fled and immediately roared in anger. Elder? Li Xiaoshui's heart sank. If the camp was discovered, can Captain Gatli save them? Run! Li Xiaoshui shouted as the natives approached. As soon as he finished speaking, Li Xiaoshui turned around and ran eastward with all his might. The man with compound eyes grew four transparent wings on his back, resembling the wings of a fly or dragonfly. With a quick flap, he disappeared from sight. The plump woman also burst into speed, desperately fleeing. Just to be safe, she used a grey-white rope to tie the legs of the natives. In fact, it would have been fine if she hadn't tied them. The natives were more focused on Li Xiaoshui, who had the scent of killing his brother. This act of aggression only made him angrier. Just as the plump woman had run a few steps, suddenly, she felt her mental strength collapse and almost fell to the ground. She turned her head in disbelief, the rope had somehow come undone from the natives in just two seconds. Two red lines appeared on his forehead, emitting a red light, tearing the rope into pieces. Seeing those blood-red eyes looking at her, the plump woman felt a chill run down her. Spine. Right, I still have a prop. The plump woman suddenly remembered something and panicked as she reached into her virtual pocket. But as she ran, she suddenly felt a cold sensation in her chest, and her hand lost all strength. She lowered her head. A pair of black hands had pierced through her chest, grabbing her red heart. Her heart was pounding violently. How, could he be so fast? In despair, the plump woman left behind this one question. In the next second, the large hand squeezed tightly. With a loud bang, blood splattered. She lost consciousness. Li Xiaoshui and the man with compound eyes noticed this scene immediately. In just a few seconds, they hadn't run very far. Their hearts sank, they couldn't have expected the plump woman to die so quickly. Li Xiaoshui snapped back to reality and used all his strength. He tried to disappear from the sight of the natives, leaving them to chase after the man with compound eyes. But, it didn't go as Li Xiaoshui had hoped. After killing the plump woman, the native's icy gaze fell upon him. You bastard! Li Xiaoshui cursed as he saw the natives chasing after him at a speed several times faster than his own. While running, he quickly manipulated the dagger, leaving it behind to block the natives. The dagger's control range was 100 meters. At this moment, the distance between him and the natives was about 200 meters. However, in just a few seconds, the natives had charged into the range of the dagger. Smelling the scent of blood on the dagger, the natives clenched their distorted yellow teeth and grabbed the dagger aimed at them. His arm was cut by the dagger, blood flowing freely. But the natives, seemingly unaware, instead gripped the dagger and forcefully snapped it in half. With a crack, the dagger fell silently behind him. Li Xiaoshui, who was fleeing ahead, was dumbfounded, he had lost his weapon? It was worth several points. How could these two striped natives have such strength? 
The natives continued to approach, leaving Li Xiuxui no time to lament. He quickly took out a spider ball and shot out several spider webs. Fortunately, the spider webs were effective. Even though the mysterious object was not top notch, it wasn't so useless. Although the webs would be torn apart by the natives as soon as they were entangled, they could at least stop him for a moment. I can escape. Li Xiaoshui saw that he wasn't being caught up to and maintained a good distance, feeling ecstatic. This position wasn't far from the camp. If he could maintain this situation for another two minutes, he would be able to reach the camp at the foot of the mountain. By then, on Captain Gatley's ship, that monstrous freak would surely be able to save him. The idea was beautiful. But Li Xiaoshui had underestimated the natives. Due to being repeatedly entangled in spider webs, the natives let out an angry roar and suddenly exerted force, tearing off the two stripes on their foreheads. And then, a strange transformation occurred. The skinny native's body suddenly swelled up from the original height of 1.67 meters, he grew into a giant of 2 to 3 meters long. The simple decorations on his body were all torn apart. Several pairs of eyeballs, resembling statues, grew on his body. At the same time, his speed and strength skyrocketed. The spider webs shot at him were useless. They were easily torn apart. My spider webs could stop that monster in the final moments of the S-level assessment, and this is only an A-level mission? How come the natives that appear randomly in A-level missions can't stop him? Li Xiaoshui was shocked. Could it be that the S-level assessment was only meant for newcomers? In fact, it was far inferior to the A-level missions? Without much time to think, the native was already behind him. In a state of urgency, Li Xiaoshui took out another mysterious object. Smoke stone. Clenching it in his hand, the next moment, smoke enveloped Li Xiaoshui and the native, obscuring their vision. In the native's line of sight, there was only a grayish-white color. The native stopped in his tracks. Suddenly, his ears twitched. In front of him, the sound of hurried footsteps entered his ears. You can't escape. The native chased after him, shouting, I will definitely capture you and offer you as a sacrifice. Li Xiaoshui knew that the smoke could only temporarily paralyze the native. But it was all he had left. Running desperately, Li Xiaoshui was nearing exhaustion. His speed decreased, and his breathing became more rapid. Unfortunately, at that moment, a gust of wind blew, dispersing the smoke on his body. You can't run away, outsider. Just as the cover of the mist dissipated, the heavy voice of the native suddenly sounded from behind Li Xiaoshui. Startled, Li Xiaoshui turned his head and saw a ferocious face appearing in his line of sight. Suddenly, a tremendous force collided with his body. Li Xiaoshui felt his body lose consciousness, and he was sent flying for who knows how many meters. Finally, he crashed into a large rock and came to a stop. Dizzy and disoriented. His body. Felt as if it had fallen apart, and he was swollen with pain, unable to move. This was the condition Li Xiaoshui perceived his body to be in. When he barely opened his eyes, the native was already beside him. The native grabbed his head with a big hand and lifted him up. Li Xiaoshui knew that as long as the native exerted force, he would die in this mission. It's over. Li Xiaoshui felt despair. But just at that moment, in Li Xiaoshui's line of sight, a giant figure appeared at the foot of the mountain. It was. Captain Gatley. The savior appeared before him, and Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but feel incredulous. Realizing this, Li Xiaoshui urgently shouted with the little strength he had left, Captain Gatley. Help, help. I've been captured by the natives on the island. Li Xiaoshui knew that the natives wanted to take him back for sacrifice, not kill him directly. Otherwise, he would have been a corpse by now. So, speaking out wouldn't be dangerous. As expected, after he cried for help, the native didn't lay a hand on him. The native suddenly lowered his head and looked towards Captain Gatley down the slope. At the same time, down the slope, Captain Gatley's angry expression fell upon the native and Li Xiaoshui on the slope. Their gazes met. There's another outsider. The native bared his teeth. There are natives on this island? Captain Gatley was taken aback, then became furious. 
Daring to capture a crew member of Captain Gatley, you're seeking death. Captain Gatley put on a crying face and said, Ah! How pitiful, my crew member has been injured like this by the natives. The natives sneered and slammed Li Xiaoshui onto the ground, saying ferociously, I will capture all of you and offer you as sacrifices to the gods. Then, he jumped down from the 10 meter high slope. With a loud bang, the native landed without any damage. Clenching his fist, he aggressively charged towards Captain Gatley. However, what happened next left Li Xiaoshui dumbfounded. Captain Gatley, with his massive body, simply extended his hand and slapped the charging native. Crack! The earth-shattering sound echoed. The native disappeared the palm lifted, leaving only broken bones and flesh in the palm pit on the ground, as well as, thick blood. Completely dead. I? I'll go. Li Xiaoshui widened his eyes. He couldn't believe that the terrifying and powerful two-striped native was killed with just one slap, without even starting a big battle. He knew Captain Gatley was strong, but he didn't expect him to be this strong. Captain Gatley, on the other hand, remained calm and unaffected. He turned his anger towards the stunned Li Xiaoshui and asked, Did you do what I asked you to do? Li Xiaoshui wiped the cold sweat from his forehead and bit his teeth as he got up. Sit down, Captain Gatley. I picked some very fresh fruits, I guarantee Miss Vivi will be satisfied. Hmm, you useless trash, that's all you're good for. Hurry back and give the fruits to Miss Vivi's steward. Captain Gatley said in a deep voice. Yes, 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 I'll go back immediately. Li Xiaoshui propped up his trembling feet and dared not argue. To the crew, Captain Gatley was a demon, a pervert, but in reality, he was their protector. Of course, as long as they completed his tasks. It's only been an hour or two, and we've encountered so much danger already, it's going to be even more dangerous later. Sai, I don't know if the most dangerous thing about this mission is the captain, the natives, or, this island, the sea. Li Xiaoshui muttered, his gaze finally falling on the dark sea, swept by a storm. He took out a bandage and applied it to his severe wound, dragging his body as he walked down the mountain. Among the crew members delivering tasks, Li Xiaoshui saw the panting compound-eyed man. You're still alive, the compound-eyed man exclaimed. I met the captain, otherwise I would have died, Li Xiaoshui cursed the compound-eyed man's luck. All right, you're alive, so our mission this time wasn't in vain, he nodded. I'll go deliver the task first, Li Xiaoshui said. Don't wander around at night, we have a gathering tonight for exchanging and sharing things, you can get rid of stuff. The compound-eyed man reminded him. Li Xiaoshui nodded and continued walking towards the tent area at the foot of the mountain. After inquiring, he found Miss Vivi's steward. He carefully handed over most of the fresh fruits. Mr. Steward, these fruits are the freshest I picked. I think Miss Vivi will definitely like them, Li Xiaoshui flattered the old man in a suit with silver hair in front of him. Hmm, well done, the old steward glanced at them and expressed satisfaction. Leaving a good impression, Li Xiaoshui didn't bother anyone and turned around to leave. Wait. However, just as Li Xiaoshui took a step forward, a crisp and pleasant female voice suddenly came from the tent. Li Xiaoshui immediately stopped in his tracks. This is... Miss Vivi, the old steward bowed towards the tent. Steward, let him in, I want to ask him something alone, Miss Vivi said. Well, all right, the steward. Nodded inside to Li Xiaoshui, young crew member, you're really lucky. Miss Vivi is willing to see you, it's a gift from heaven. Remember, once you go in, maintain enough respect and reverence towards Miss Vivi. Li Xiaoshui was dumbfounded. He never dared to imagine that Miss Vivi would suddenly want to see him, but, this is an opportunity given by fate. He had planned to see if he could win Miss Vivi's favor. The opportunity came so quickly, he naturally had to seize it. After responding to the old steward, Li Xiaoshui calmed down and opened the tent. As soon as he entered, a gentle and soothing fragrance hit him, making him involuntarily relax both physically and mentally, the body pain, fatigue, and tension just now strangely disappeared completely under this fragrance. Li Xiaoshui looked ahead in confusion, where there were various beautiful flowers and plants, exquisite aromatherapy decorations, and a soft blanket spread on the rough ground. Was it caused by these things? Speaking of which, 
the luxury of it all made Li Xiaoshui think that he was not in a shipwreck, but in a resort. Finally, Li Xiaoshui's gaze fell on Miss Weyer, who was lying on the large bed made of wooden boards, soft grass, and animal fur in front of him. Li Xiaoshui moved from the soft figure to Miss Weyer's face. Miss Weyer was looking at him, giving him a slight smile. Suddenly, Li Xiaoshui's head buzzed, and everything went blank. This woman, so beautiful. Beautiful like a painting. Can a woman be this beautiful? Li Xiaoshui found it hard to believe. There were already beautiful women everywhere on Blue Star, Earth. He even thought he was immune to beautiful women. But he didn't expect to be so narrow-minded. Miss Weyer, Li Xiaoshui snapped back to reality and quickly said respectfully, Yes, Mr. Kruman. I called you in because I wanted you to help me with something. Miss Weyer spoke, her close-range voice pleasant and gentle, creating a favorable impression. Li Xiaoshui quickly replied, Miss Weyer, I will fulfill any request you have. Miss Weyer nodded and suddenly took out something and placed it in front of her. It was a strange seashell. Now, the butler can't hear us talking, Miss Weyer lightly raised the corner of her mouth, her soft eyes meeting Li Xiaoshui's eyes. I want to eat something, but the butler and Mr. Gatley won't let me. Can you find a way to get it for me? Ah? Uh, eat something? What kind of thing? Li Xiaoshui didn't understand. Why were the captain and the butler restricting her like a child? At this moment, Li Xiaoshui had regained his sanity. Even if Miss Weyer was beautiful, he couldn't have any fantasies. It was just a mission. When the mission was over, everything would be empty. Besides, Li Xiaoshui felt that his own life was more important. He didn't think that pursuing Miss Weyer would spare him from Captain Gatley's wrath. It's something special, Miss Weyer said. Is it on the island? Li Xiaoshui asked. Miss Weyer smiled mysteriously, yes, there are many. Then there's no problem, Miss Weyer, just give me your orders. Li Xiaoshui replied. Good, you can't deceive me. If you deceive me. Miss Weyer said lightly, I'll let Mr. Gatley kill you. Li Xiaoshui quickly said, definitely not. Of course. After you help me, I won't treat you unfairly. Under Miss Weyer's mysterious smile, the corners of her mouth rose higher and her voice became slightly excited and trembling, softly saying, I want to eat human flesh. At first, Li Xiaoshui thought he was hallucinating. He froze. Suddenly, he noticed that Miss Weyer had extended her blood-red tongue and licked her lips. Then, as if remembering something, her breathing became heavy, and a sickly flush appeared on her face. She even drooled lightly. Li Xiaoshui's heart trembled. He didn't miss here. At this moment, Li Xiaoshui suddenly remembered that Miss Weyer's gaze was fixed on him. He retreated in fear. This woman wouldn't want to eat him, would she? Miss Weyer naturally noticed Li Xiaoshui's change in expression and smiled, I don't like to eat men. I want to eat women, especially beautiful women. Mr. Kruman, the deadline is tonight. Absolutely cannot be late. Ah, yes, I will definitely get it for you, Li Xiaoshui immediately replied. Obviously, there was no room for refusal. As long as she didn't eat him. Okay, Mr. Kruman, you can leave now. Remember, keep our business confidential. I will keep it confidential, Miss Weyer. Li Xiaoshui, feeling like he has been granted amnesty, quickly took his leave. He no longer had the pleasure of being with the beautiful woman from the beginning. He didn't want to face a monster that eats people, even if it was beautiful and charming. Fortunately, he faced the villagers in the first assessment, so there shouldn't be any emotions he couldn't accept now. As for taking on the task eagerly, Li Xiaoshui remembered that coincidentally, there was a dead voluptuous woman on the mountain. Miss Weyer's request could be easily handled. According to Miss Weyer's benefits, if he asked for something in return, like a request to live peacefully for a few days, it should be accepted. Li Xiaoshui didn't plan on going up the mountain right now. He had more important matters to attend to. At the foot of the mountain, the stranded people had already set up their tents one by one. These crew members naturally had to make arrangements for themselves. 
otherwise, they would have nowhere to stay at night. However, the low and safe foothills were already occupied. Under Captain Gatley's request to not stray too far, they could only build by the coast. When Li Xiaoshui saw the crooked tents that had been set up, his heart sank slightly. Would they be able to withstand the upcoming storm? He lifted his head and looked at the surging waves, the violent sea breeze, and the endless dark clouds in the distance. Li Xiaoshui felt that perhaps, an unknown terror was about to come. It was possible that someone would die in this storm tonight. Safe house. One point to stay overnight. Only ten spots available. Suddenly, a male voice sounded by the shore. It was a fat man, he was shouting around, and next to him, an empty space had somehow appeared with a building. Made of steel, it was heavy and sturdy. Was this, a prop? Li Xiaoshui was astonished. How could someone carry such a large prop? It probably wouldn't fit in a virtual pocket with less than 10 points. However, one point for one night, this price was too exaggerated, right? Who could afford it? Naturally, as Li Xiaoshui thought, there were many curious gazes, but hardly anyone approached. Most people thought that building their own tent, even if it was a bit lacking, was better than not spending any points. Based on my estimation, this storm is at least a level 10 typhoon. Tents won't be able to withstand it. As for this task, do you really think that just setting up a tent will keep you safe for the night? What an unrealistic fantasy. Rainstorms in darkness bring unknown dangers. Dying inexplicably is always a possibility. My specially made safe house was bought at a high price. Under normal circumstances, it can't be destroyed. Trading one point for a night of survival, what a good deal, friends. As long as you can complete the task and stay alive, why worry about not having enough points? This fat man sure knew how to talk. He voiced the concerns of most people. Then, he linked one point with their lives, reducing their resistance. Yes, it was clear that the upcoming storm was not simple. In fact, what most people feared was not the storm itself, but the sea monster with tentacles. If something terrifying was brought by the storm, that would be truly deadly. The task definitely wouldn't allow them to stay safe for the night. And so, one after another, people started to consider it. The first one to go was Li Xiaoshui. I want a spot. Is there a bed? Li Xiaoshui asked. Ha ha. Of course. How could there not be? It's very comfortable, the fat man laughed. I want two rooms. Li Xiaoshui said. The fat man was taken aback and gave Li Xiaoshui a strange look. Although he didn't understand, he readily agreed, no problem. Li Xiaoshui immediately paid him two points. The fat man gave him the keys to rooms 102 and 103. Message in a bottle, someone suddenly shouted as they received the keys. Li Xiaoshui looked up suddenly. In the dim sea, dozens of palm-sized drift bottles were floating, drifting slowly towards the edge of the beach with the waves. Each bottle contained a different colored piece of paper. In the next second, without hesitation, Li Xiaoshui immediately rushed towards the beach. With the fastest speed, he managed to grab one of the drift bottles with a red piece of paper among the many competitors. The beach was immediately crowded with sailors. At a glance, there were dozens of people, each with a bottle in hand. This scene surprised Li Xiaoshui. He remembered that there was a hint at the beginning of the mission, there will be a certain number of drift bottles. Li Xiaoshui always believed that there was a limit to the number of drift bottles, but now everyone has one? And there are still leftovers? Li Xiaoshui noticed that many people had the same puzzled expression as him. Could it be that they guessed wrong? At this moment, an unclaimed drift bottle was washed ashore and landed at someone's feet. The person had a strange expression, lowered their head, and picked up the drift bottle. Then, they opened two drift bottles one after another, their face turning pale. Li Xiaoshui became curious and also opened the drift bottle. On the red piece of paper appeared a line of words, after 5 hours, 28 minutes, and 59 seconds, you will cut off the heads of the deceased natives in the area indicated ahead. Then, carry the heads to the indicated area and hang them on the flagpoles of the native village. 
Hint 1, if discovered by the natives, you will be killed. Hint 2, if the mission is not completed, you will die. Hint 3, do not disclose the mission details to anyone, it is for your own good. Hint 4, the mission must be completed with the picked up drift bottle. Below, there was a map from his location to the beheading site and the native village. Li Xiaoshui's face turned pale. Go to the native village and hang the heads at their village gate, those terrifying native villages? Are they not killing him fast enough? He took a deep breath and suppressed his annoyance. Li Xiaoshui turned around and scanned the crowd. However, as he expected, everyone had a heavy mood and an unpleasant expression. It seems that they are all important figures? Li Xiaoshui felt slightly relieved, at least he wasn't the only unlucky one. Ah! My hand! My hand! In the silence, a sudden scream rang out. On the coast, a woman was clutching her left arm. On her arm, strange protrusions appeared, moving like worms in her veins. Seeing that no one approached to help, a determined look flashed in the woman's eyes. She grabbed a sharp knife and cut off her arm. Blood splattered, the arm fell to the ground. Then, in a few short seconds, the arm quickly withered. It was as if, the blood and flesh had been devoured. Several strange insects slowly crawled out of the empty skin and slowly burrowed into the sea. Those insects. The woman gritted her teeth. They came with the drift bottles. Realizing this, a pile of people quickly threw away the bottles, including Li Xiaoshui. Fortunately, except for her, no one had insects on their bodies. Ah, that was terrifying. The insects could come up at any time, right? With this, when the storm comes later, it might bring up a lot of insects. Isn't anyone considering buying my safe house? With this, you don't have to worry about this risk anymore. In the unsettled minds of the crowd, the voice of the fat man rang out. This fat man really knows how to pick the right time. Originally, many people were tempted to buy it. After a few reminders and temptations from the fat man, immediately, one after another, people came forward and purchased the one-night residence privilege. The ten rooms were quickly sold out, this fat guy just flapped his mouth and didn't do anything, but easily earned nine points, with a smile on his face. Everyone. When the fat guy finished selling, a man with a square face and a long tail, with a loud voice, said, I think maybe the notifications to each other were not in place, so I'll say it again now. I plan to hold an exchange meeting. The content of the exchange meeting is about exchanging items, buying items, information, and so on. I think this is beneficial to everyone. If you're interested, meet in the big tent over there in half an hour. In the blink of an eye, half an hour passed. The dim evening light faded away. Night fell. The storm at sea is also approaching. Now the continuous hurricanes are blowing the campfires, illuminating the camp, swaying without stopping. Cold air arrives, and outside the firelight is an endless darkness. At this time, outside the gathering point's big tent. Get lost, do I need your junk? The man with compound eyes slapped away a coin handed over by a desperate survivor asking for help. We really can't find anything to eat, please, give us something. The survivor pleaded. Do I have to? Here, hurry up and leave. Suddenly, Li Xiaoshui walked out from the darkness. He stopped the man with compound eyes who was about to attack and threw a few fruits in front of the survivor. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The survivor picked up the fruits, put them in his pocket, and hurriedly walked away. Is it meaningful? They might all be dead soon. I just don't want unnecessary trouble. Li Xiaoshui said lightly. Let's go, let's go in, it's almost time. The man with compound eyes sneered, said no more, and walked in with Li Xiaoshui. When they arrived at the huge tent, it was already mostly filled with people. After all, as the man with the square face said, this is something beneficial to everyone. Hey, you didn't need to spend that one point. I can easily get some food. Those survivors see me like an ancestor. Don't even mention letting me live with them, their wives and daughters sleep with me, ha ha. It may not be safe over there. Many people, like me, chose to live in the safe zone tents with those survivors. 
The crowd chatted leisurely. The entrance of Li Xiaoshui and the other person didn't attract much attention. They weren't in a hurry either. Until a few minutes later, three more people came in one after another, and the man with the square face stood up. All right, everyone is here. The rules of the exchange meeting are as I said half an hour ago, mainly about proposing exchanges, buying items, sharing information, and so on. Let's start with me. I want to use points to purchase a powerful and mysterious item, a prop. At the same time, I have a prop called Lotus Root Prosthesis that can make severed limbs grow back, 10 points. And a mediocre mysterious item that can change a person's appearance, 15 points. The crowd looked at each other. Is the Lotus Root Prosthesis too expensive? The woman who had her arms severed spoke in a deep voice. Obviously, the man with the square face targeted her with this item. In the mission, it's worth this price, he said. The woman with the severed arms expression changed for a while, and finally gritted her teeth. Fine, I'll take it. No matter how expensive it was, she had to buy it. Otherwise, according to her current physical condition, she wouldn't be able to survive this mission. Show us the mask that can change appearance, someone spoke up. This thing, including Li Xiaoshui, many people were interested in. The man with the square face smiled, and a black and white mask appeared in his hand. This is what I obtained from the last mission, it's a good thing. Face-changing mask. Mediocre mysterious item. When you wear it, you can have the ability to change your appearance with flaws. Time limit for face changing, 5 minutes. Introduction, not bad, it can barely be considered a mysterious item. What does it mean to have flaws? Li Xiaoshui asked aloud. The square-faced man immediately put on a mask and transformed into Li Xiaoshui's appearance in the next second. However, his mouth was crooked and his eyes were slanted, making his expression extremely stiff. That's it, the square-faced man took off the mask and said. There are too many flaws, someone commented. I can reluctantly buy it for 10 points, another person said. 15, not a point less, he said. No one else made an offer. 15 points is not a small amount. Everyone is saving points for advancement. As for the powerful weapons he wants, no one is selling them either. Who would be willing to sell such things in this mission? They all want to keep them for themselves. Starting with the square-faced man, everyone started to get up one after another, and the next person also got up. I have. The exchange meeting began steadily. More or less, people went to buy an exchange. Unfortunately, Li Xiaoshui wasn't very interested in the things that were sold one after another. Fortunately, Li Xiaoshui's seat was not far from the square-faced man and it was soon his turn. Li Xiaoshui stood up. Selling one sequence one choice card. See the information for yourself. 150 points. Can be exchanged for equivalent items. Buying weapons, preferably short weapons like daggers. Sequence one choice card? In an instant, at least 10 people in the room looked in astonishment at the card in Li Xiaoshui's hand. The card information was clear at a glance. The attribute is Sacrifice? It seems there are no restrictions. Any mysterious identity can advance. What route is this shaman taking? Has anyone heard of it? People started to speak one after another. A mysterious identity selection card naturally attracted their attention. After all, without an identity selection card, everyone's advancement would be full of randomness. And the identity after advancement is related to the future strength. How can it not be taken seriously? Unfortunately, the downside is that the price is too expensive. Those who long for this card are mostly sequence zero participants who have participated in few missions and have limited points. Those who can afford to spend hundreds of points at once are mostly sequence one participants who are not interested. After all, they have already advanced. As expected, after discussing, no one proposed a trade. No one is buying? Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but ask. No response. Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but exchange glances with the man with compound eyes. It seems that this exchange meeting cannot be resolved. 
How about I trade for a mysterious item? Level 1 mysterious item. Suddenly, a tall and thin man stood up. His eyes were long and gave him a cold feeling. Not enough, the man with compound eyes immediately stood up and refused. Level 1 mysterious item, at most 100 points. Not enough to trade for our card. In the virtual city, this identity selection card can easily start at 200 points. If it weren't for wanting to share with Li Xiaoshui, the man with compound eyes would never discuss selling the card for 150 points. In fact, the man with compound eyes even had the idea of snatching it back. However, the abilities of mysterious class are always unpredictable and not necessarily successful. He couldn't kill Li Xiaoshui. If he died, the things on his body would disappear with his death. If no one is buying, then let's move on to the next one, the square-faced man reminded Li Xiaoshui, who had been delayed for a while. Li Xiaoshui looked disappointed and was about to sit down. Wait. Hold on. Suddenly, two voices sounded at the same time. You. Li Xiaoshui looked at the woman who spoke. I can't afford it, I just want to sell weapons. Let him speak first, the woman smiled. Li Xiaoshui's gaze returned to the cold man. He saw a hint of determination in the cold man's eyes and he said, how about adding this? He produced a prop in his hand. Resurrection card. After a mission death, it can exempt you from death penalties. Several people stood up abruptly. You actually have this. The resurrection card that is worth 100 points but has never been on the market. The compound-eyed man looked at the resurrection card with the same intense gaze. Okay, if you add this, we can make the exchange. In the mysterious world, once you die, you can no longer enter the mysterious world. However, there is an item that can exempt you from this punishment. That is the resurrection card. Alright, let's make the trade, the cold-hearted man replied without any nonsense. Li Xiaoshui felt a bit puzzled. First of all, since he wanted to buy the identity selection card, the cold-hearted man definitely didn't have sequence one. And that level one mysterious item should be what he was preparing to advance with. In this kind of mission, as long as you advance, the chances of passing are definitely higher. This is common knowledge that the cold-hearted man couldn't possibly not understand. But he was actually willing to trade these two rare and precious items, the mysterious item and the resurrection card, for this shaman identity. Could it be that this cold-hearted man knows something about the shaman identity? Does the shaman identity hide some secret? Li Xiaoshui pondered on this point. The more he thought about it, the more likely it seemed. From his perspective, if there weren't enough benefits, he definitely wouldn't trade these two items for an identity selection card. Speculation aside, Li Xiaoshui still completed the transaction with him. He took the level 1 mysterious item and gave the resurrection card to the compound-eyed man. It was better to take the initiative than to forcefully ask the compound-eyed man for it. For now, he didn't want to offend the compound-eyed man. You can advance to sequence 1 now, kid, the compound-eyed man said with a smile, feeling very happy after receiving the resurrection card. Li Xiaoshui forced a smile. Advance? This guy couldn't possibly know that the advancement condition for his sequence 1 was a level 2 mysterious item. Li Xiaoshui hadn't observed the level 1 mysterious item he obtained yet, so he directly put it into his virtual pocket and started a conversation with the woman. What was being sold was actually a green-colored long needle. 15 points. Li Xiaoshui took a glance and saw the description, his expression slightly changed. Without giving others a chance to peek, he directly put it away and completed the transaction. This strange behavior couldn't help but attract the attention of many people. Naturally, at the first moment, everyone was curious about the attributes and information of that needle. However, as various new and novel mysterious items and props were sold and purchased one after another, people gradually forgot about their curiosity regarding Li Xiaoshui's needle. The exchange meeting ended smoothly. Li Xiaoshui's gains were not only the needle and the level 1 mysterious item. At the end, he bought the mask of the square-faced man. Previously, considering the reason of points, Li Xiaoshui didn't want to spend them. 
Now, with a level 1 mysterious item as a foundation and a prerequisite of 100 points, he no longer worried about the issue of points. The mask would be very useful to him. And so, the exchange meeting ended. Just as everyone was satisfied and prepared to leave, a heavy rainstorm suddenly arrived. A storm descended upon this island. As the torrential rain fell, a strong sense of unease and crisis enveloped Li Xiaoshui. His sixth sense was giving him a warning. Outside the tent, the raging wind and rain had already extinguished the campfire and all sources of light. It was pitch black. You couldn't see your own hand in front of your face. Only with the faint light inside the tent could you barely see the heavy rain that seemed to cover the world, blocking both vision and sound. The cold and dampness immediately flooded his senses. The smell of blood was incredibly strong. Like blood water. Li Xiaoshui wiped the rain off his face and furrowed his brows. But then, he didn't linger or ponder. He retraced his steps and returned to the safe house. The room in the safe house, which prioritized safety, was very small and only had a small bed for one person to sleep in. Fortunately, there was a shared bathroom that was considerate of human needs. As soon as he entered, Li Xiaoshui went to the bathroom and took a shower, washing away the discomfort caused by the rain. Back in the room, Li Xiaoshui checked the time on the message in a bottle and still had plenty of time, so he looked at his previous gains. A needle that has undergone special tempering. Level 1 weapon, with special characteristics, dot. In the air, it gradually becomes invisible and leaves no trace. Introduction, a rare type of needle weapon, the best choice for sneak attacks. This weapon, compared to the one originally given to him by Zhao the blacksmith, is one level higher. When Li Xiaoshui was in the virtual city, he learned about the price of weapons. Generally speaking, the items sold at the level 0 stalls are ordinary weapons and armor, priced at 1 to 5 points. Above the ordinary level, there are special attribute weapons, which are considered special weapons. These are rarely seen level 1 weapons. Typically, their prices range from 20 to 50 points, very expensive. As for the reason why the woman only asked for 15 points, Li Xiaoshui understood it at a glance. Obviously, when sold in the mysterious area, no one buys them. It's simple, when others have big knives, daggers, or physical attacks, they can't counterattack with a thin needle, right? So, even if it's a level 1 mysterious item with special attributes, it's like a chicken rib. It's unlikely that anyone would want it for 15 points. After all, psychic users who are suitable for using this kind of weapon are very rare. Unfortunately, he ended up with it. Li Xiaoshui didn't hesitate and completed the transaction. The woman was probably dumbfounded by Li Xiaoshui's refusal to negotiate the price. Little did she know that he had made a great deal. Putting away the needle, Li Xiaoshui looked at the level 1 mysterious item that the cold man used for the exchange. A rusty long zipper. Level 1 mysterious item, it can open a door for you anywhere. Introduction, this is an ordinary zipper, but one day, it got stained with the blood of a high-level creature. While you use it, the blood of high-level creatures can also open a door for you. Li Xiaoshui's attention was focused on the last part of the introduction. He had seen that all the level 1 mysterious items for sale had one common characteristic, they had side effects. Open a door for me? Li Xiaoshui suddenly lost interest in the idea of opening the bathroom door to see the woman who had just entered. He didn't want to deal with such side effects. As for the strength of the mysterious item, Li Xiaoshui didn't care at all. As long as he hung it up, he wouldn't have trouble finding a buyer. After all, it was an essential item for advancement. With the weapons, masks, and mysterious items, I'll have more confidence in the drifting bottle mission later. Li Xiaoshui muttered to himself. He put away all the items and decided to take a good rest to recharge his energy for the night mission. And so, time passed bit by bit. During his rest with closed eyes, Li Xiaoshui could occasionally hear the heavy sound of the thick iron door of the safe house being opened. It was obvious that people were coming and going to carry out the drifting bottle mission. And then, creak. The heavy iron door made a sound. The sixth one is out. Li Xiaoshui opened his eyes. He got up and looked out the small window of the safe house room. 
The outside was still pitch black, and nothing could be seen. The only noticeable change was that the sound of rain had become softer. Li Xiaoshui took out the note and checked the mission time. It showed that there were still 2 hours, 10 minutes, and 13 seconds left. It's about time to fulfill Miss Wei's request. Li Xiaoshui got up and left the safe house. Now, compared to the exaggerated downpour before, the rain had decreased, although it was still pouring, at least it wouldn't make it impossible to move. Li Xiaoshui braved the rain and walked towards the stone house on the mountainside. As soon as he entered this storm, his sixth sense warned him of danger. For Li Xiaoshui, being in the rain was equivalent to losing the effectiveness of his sixth sense. Without any precautions, he had to be careful with every step. Therefore, he moved slowly, cautiously, and remained vigilant of his surroundings. Fortunately, the journey was smooth. He didn't encounter any other crew members, and the victims didn't dare to come out in this. Rainy weather dot on the way, Li Xiaoshui, who was groping in the dark, successfully arrived at the place where the woman died according to his memory. Then, he covered himself with clothes to shield from the rain, took off the permanent fire starter he bought with one point, and lit up the dimly lit small clearing in the dark jungle. After scanning around, Li Xiaoshui saw the body of the plump woman several tens of meters below. The position was wrong. Was she washed away by the rainwater? Li Xiaoshui quickly came to the conclusion and walked up to the body. Lowering his head, he saw the face that was soaked in rain and seawater, trapped in the storm, looking pale and swollen, which made Li Xiaoshui involuntarily gasp for cold air, feeling a wave of nausea. Soon, with his strong mental resilience, he calmed himself down, controlled the needle with his mind, swiftly pierced it, and cut off a piece of flesh from her thigh, putting it into a virtual pocket. Mission accomplished. Li Xiaoshui didn't plan to linger by this creepy corpse, he turned around and left. But at this moment, a faint conversation suddenly came from the rain. Didn't you find it? No. Neither did I. Someone? Li Xiaoshui quickly extinguished the fire and crawled to the ground. He scanned his surroundings and finally, his gaze fell on the lit fire in the stone house. Then, without making any sound, he carefully crawled towards the stone house, stopping beside a tree trunk that concealed his figure. In his line of sight, in front of the stone house, there were three figures. Three people, each holding a strangely burning torch in the pouring rain. The firelight reflected on the faces of the three people. They were, natives. One with a single stripe, one with two stripes. The one in the middle, had three stripes. Three stripes? Li Xiaoshui's heartbeat suddenly accelerated. At this moment, he must not be discovered, otherwise, he would undoubtedly die. Since only Ali's body is left, either ATU died in an undiscovered place, or he was captured, the leader of the three striped natives analyzed in a deep voice. How could this happen? Captain, could it be, outsiders have arrived? One person asked. It's possible, the leader of the three striped natives nodded. Damn outsiders. The two striped natives gritted their teeth. All right, just in case, let's go back immediately and report this to the elder. The leader ordered. Yes. The worst thing has happened. Listening to the conversation, Li Xiaoshui's face became serious. From the beginning, Li Xiaoshui was well aware that killing these two natives would eventually be discovered. But he didn't expect things to happen so quickly. Although he didn't know what would happen after reporting to their elder, Li Xiaoshui believed that the real danger would only begin then. However, while Li Xiaoshui was staring intently at the three figures over there, lost in thought, he didn't notice at all, that not far behind him, the plump woman whose leg meat he had cut off suddenly opened her eyes. Then, she shook her body and slowly got up. On her swollen and ugly face, her gray pupil stared fixedly at Li Xiaoshui, who was crawling on the ground. Then, she, moved. Although her steps were stumbling and slow, the noisy rain masked the sound of her footsteps. Since his sixth sense was not working at this moment, Li Xiaoshui still hadn't noticed when the plump woman who had died came behind him. It was only when the rain and cold wind that had been blowing on his back suddenly stopped that Li Xiaoshui became suspicious and turned his head to look. In the pitch-black rainy night, his vision was almost non-existent. But when that swollen and terrifying face was close at hand, even if Li Xiaoshui was blind, he could still see roughly. 
She opened her mouth, and a fist-sized, greenish slime, resembling a decaying baby's head with fangs, was about to burrow into his body. In an instant, Li Xiaoshui was so scared that he almost jumped up. Instinctively, he kicked the plump woman away. As soon as he made the movement, Li Xiaoshui immediately regretted it. The three natives hadn't gone far yet. Ha! Huh? What's that sound? You heard it too? Doesn't sound like rain. The three immediately stopped in their tracks, exchanged glances, and immediately headed towards Li Xiaoshui. Li Xiaoshui inwardly cursed. Run now? No, running now would only lead to a quicker death. The three striped ones would definitely catch him. Not running? But they came to investigate. Once discovered, he wouldn't even have a chance to escape. What should he do? In the midst of Li Xiaoshui's dilemma, the plump woman's corpse had already crawled back up, stumbling towards him step by step. In this moment of hesitation, Li Xiaoshui missed his chance to escape. In just a few seconds, the three natives stopped at Li Xiaoshui's hiding place, on a tall stone not far away. At this moment, Li Xiaoshui could only press tightly against the trunk of the tree, allowing the rain and mud to roll over him, not daring to show the slightest trace. The torches in the hands of the Natives couldn't see Li Xiaoshui under the tree trunk, but clearly illuminated the plump woman ahead. Oh, almost forgot, there's a dead outsider here too. Turned into a sea corpse. Oomph, I really hope all those outsiders turn into sea corpses. The three discussed. Seeing the plump woman's corpse, the three seemed to understand some kind of secret and didn't care. But what does that sea corpse want? Why is it walking towards that piece of wood? It's strange, should we go take a look? Another person agreed. All right. The discussion between the two made Li Xiaoshui's heart race. What now? Should he wait for them to arrive and then ambush and kill one? Then, in the darkness, there might still be a chance to survive? But just as the footsteps got closer and closer, suddenly, the leader spoke. It was like a heavenly voice to Li Xiaoshui, forget it, no need to waste time. Hurry and report to the elder. This matter is important. Ah, uh, all right. The two natives could only stop. The approaching footsteps began to retreat. Then, the voices of the three people started to fade away. Unfortunately, at this moment, the dead plump woman's corpse stumbled in front of Li Xiaoshui. Opening its mouth, the baby-headed monster covered in green slime crawled towards him again. Li Xiaoshui's whole body was covered in goosebumps and he was filled with anger. The three people hadn't gone far yet, if he made a move, it was highly likely that he would attract them back. The chance of a lucky escape wasn't always there. Li Xiaoshui decided to take out a needle and kill this strange baby-headed monster, fearing that it would scream. When it was almost crawling onto his face, in his desperate state, Li Xiaoshui could only grab the baby's head tightly. Its sharp fangs then bit into his skin. The pain made Li Xiaoshui gasp. Fortunately, he endured the pain. At the same time, Li Xiaoshui felt that the baby-headed monster was injecting something into his skin. Terrified, Li Xiaoshui quickly pulled its fangs out of his skin. Lowering his head, his palm was filled with a gray-green color that couldn't stop bleeding. Poisoned? Or something else? Li Xiaoshui's heart skipped a beat. The flesh-eating worms in the sea were still fresh in his memory. Could it be injecting worms too? Li Xiaoshui was extremely nervous. After staring for a while and not feeling any pain or signs of corruption, he finally breathed a sigh of relief. Just poisoned? Li Xiaoshui reassured himself uneasily. Not dwelling on it any longer, Li Xiaoshui looked over and saw that the three natives had already gone far. Without hesitation, he used his telekinetic power to instantly pierce through the baby-headed monster with the needle. The baby monster let out a sharp scream, and then, its visibly rotting body quickly turned into green slime, scattered by the rain. It had no resistance at all. Good thing I didn't kill it just now, otherwise, it would startle the natives, and it wouldn't be as simple as just being poisoned. Li Xiaoshui exclaimed with relief. With the matter settled, Li Xiaoshui began to pay attention to a few questions that arose from these events at night. First of all, it was obvious that the plump woman was dead. 
The reason she could revive was because of the baby's head? How did this baby's head come about? Was it something from the sea? And what about those sea corpses mentioned by the natives? Li Xiaoshui pondered over these questions but couldn't find the answers. He lowered his head and looked at his unconscious palm, letting out a bitter smile. Hopefully, nothing bad will happen. After destroying the plump woman's body, Li Xiaoshui returned to the camp. Upon returning, Li Xiaoshui arrived at Miss Wei's tent. Stop! Two guards under the rain shelter, guarding Miss Wei's tent, stop Li Xiaoshui. I have an appointment with Miss Wei, I came to see her. Li Xiaoshui said. Let him in. As Li Xiaoshui's voice fell, Miss Wei's slightly excited and urgent voice immediately came from inside the tent. The tent opened, and the drenched Li Xiaoshui stood at the doorway. It's okay, come in. Miss Wei shouted, not minding Li Xiaoshui's disheveled appearance at all. Li Xiaoshui didn't waste any time and took out the prepared meat for the exchange. The smell of blood filled the air, and Miss Wei's beautiful cheeks on the bed immediately turned a sickly flush and she quickly sat up. She came to Li Xiaoshui, her emotion stirred, lowered her head, closed her eyes, and leaned close to the meat in Li Xiaoshui's hand, deeply sniffing it. Suddenly, Miss Wei's expression of enjoyment changed slightly, and she opened her eyes. Not fresh enough. Miss Wei's voice turned cold. Damn it! This woman has a dog's nose, she can even smell that. Miss Wei, I did my best. To fulfill your request, I paid a considerable price. Li Xiaoshui said helplessly. He extended his hand that had been bitten and showed it to Miss Wei. Hoof. Miss Wei sneered, not caring about his life or death at all. Her gaze fell on the meat again, and her eyes narrowed slightly. Forget it, in my perception, she is a beauty, so I'll reluctantly consider your condition fulfilled. Miss Wei said. But before Li Xiaoshui could speak, she added, however, I'm not very satisfied. If you want something good, I won't give it to you. Li Xiaoshui knew he had missed a good opportunity. With this kind of encounter, if he followed the requirements and considering Miss Wei's status, he might have been given a level 1 mysterious item. But how can one have the best of both worlds? Going to kill someone else, who knows, he might be killed instead. After all, he is very weak now. Because I have suffered some injuries. Miss Wei, I just want to ask you to let Captain Gatley give me a few days of rest. Li Xiaoshui said respectfully. All right, I will talk to Mr. Gatley. Miss Wei casually waved her hand, gesturing for Li Xiaoshui to leave. Wait. Just as Li Xiaoshui turned around, Miss Wei called out to him. I need to emphasize again. If you tell Mr. Gatley and the steward about this, the next time, it will be you that I eat. I will keep it a secret. Li Xiaoshui replied. In any case, there was still a gain this time. At least for the next few days, he shouldn't have to do those dangerous and life-threatening things. Life is more valuable than a so-called level 1 mysterious item. However, after leaving the tent, Li Xiaoshui anxiously looked at his hand. The green liquid in his palm seemed to have spread a little. The strange thing was, there was no pain at all. But this situation made Li Xiaoshui even more uneasy. Overwhelmed by anxiety, Li Xiaoshui even spent five points to trade with a crew member who had just left the safe house, buying a bottle of antidote to severe poison. The result had no effect. This green color seemed to have taken root in the palm of his hand, incredibly strange. Could it be, not a bug, nor poison, Li Xiaoshui entered a new conjecture. However, because the time for the message in a bottle mission was approaching, Li Xiaoshui had to temporarily put aside the matter of the green liquid in his hand. He needed to carry out the mission. At this moment, the rain began to lessen, and the hurricane turned into a gentle breeze. The sky was no longer in endless darkness, and visibility increased slightly. Now, from a distance of over 10 meters, Li Xiaoshui could see a pile of tents set up on higher ground, collapsed and twisted from the previous heavy rain and strong winds. It seemed that everyone in the tents had gone to carry out their mission, as there was no light or figures. Li Xiaoshui withdrew his gaze and looked at the pitch-black night sky. For some reason, the calm rain actually made him feel an extremely strange sense of unease. 
subconsciously, he associated it with the resurrected plump woman. There was a feeling that if this rain stopped, many bad things would happen. Sigh, I hope it's just an illusion. Li Xiaoshui forced a bitter smile, stopped thinking about it, and walked towards the location on the map. On the way, Li Xiaoshui remained cautious. Without his sixth sense, he had to be vigilant about his surroundings with every step. He remembered that the three natives said they were going to inform the elder, and he didn't want to run into that deadly native elder before completing the mission. Fortunately, the map on the paper did not point to the stone house, but instead led in the opposite direction, and he made it safely all the way. After more than half an hour, with about 15 minutes left until the mission time, Li Xiaoshui arrived at the location indicated on the map. It was a basin halfway up the mountain on the island. In the basin, there was a forest and a giant rock over 10 meters tall. The forest was ordinary, but the giant rock was eye-catching, with a deep bottomless passage carved into it. The passage seemed to connect to the interior of the mountain, with faint lights inside. No wonder I didn't see any traces of the native village on the island. I didn't expect the native village to be in a place like this. Li Xiaoshui's face turned serious. He had two maps on the paper in his message in a bottle. After cutting off the head, he had to go to the native village according to the second map, which indicated that he had to enter the passage. Silently crawling on the ground, observing for a while, and making sure there were no guards, Li Xiaoshui then turned his gaze towards a forest in the 10 o'clock direction. As soon as he arrived, Li Xiaoshui smelled a strong smell of blood. That was probably the mission. Li Xiaoshui cautiously walked into the forest. His guess was correct, after walking about 10 meters, there were large fallen trees in the center of the forest. The nearby haystacks and soil were covered in bright red blood. Eight or nine bodies lay in the pool of blood, motionless. Among them, seven were the bodies of sailors, and two were the bodies of natives. How tragic! Li Xiaoshui frowned. He didn't expect sailors to appear here. Could it be that he should take on the task of killing the natives? And he was the one to receive the results? Did all the sailors' tasks connect one after another? Li Xiaoshui immediately had this idea. Then, Li Xiaoshui walked up to the two natives. One had a blood mark on his forehead, while the other had two blood marks. Strangely, the blood marks on the one with two marks had a noticeable golden color. Special identity? Or is it due to physical abilities? Li Xiaoshui pondered for a moment, then cut off the heads of the two natives with golden blood marks. At the same time, the first task was completed. It seems like this is the target. Li Xiaoshui put away the heads, unwilling to delay any longer, and was about to leave. Suddenly. Don't go. Help me. I can tell you a secret. A voice sounded, and Li Xiaoshui stopped in his tracks. His gaze, indifferent, fell on a dense pile of grass nearby. I thought you weren't going to speak. Li Xiaoshui said. When he arrived, he noticed a trace of something being pressed down on a dense pile of grass nearby. It seemed like a body had crawled into the grass, leaving behind many bloodstains that he saw clearly that the legs of a crew member, who had not been completely covered by the grass, trembled in the cold. Li Xiaoshui had no intention of taking care of it. It was the word secret that piqued Li Xiaoshui's curiosity. I... I don't want to hide from you. A figure struggled out, with a hoarse and weak voice. It was a petite woman, soaked in blood, making it difficult to see her appearance clearly. Did you think I was a native? Li Xiaoshui spoke, looking at the deep cut on the woman's neck, blood flowing continuously. He frowned and said, you're going to die. The woman said, save, me, give me a bandage. What secret? Li Xiaoshui asked. Save me first, if you're disappointed, you can, kill me. Give me. I can't hold on much longer. Losing a large amount of blood, her vision blurred, her strength diminished, and the woman was about to give up. After hesitating for a moment, Li Xiaoshui threw a bandage. The woman hurriedly took it and quickly wrapped it around her neck. Soon, the bleeding from the neck, which had been flowing incessantly, stopped by more than half, and the visible wound and ruptured blood vessels began to heal at a visible speed. Half a minute later. 
Although not fully recovered, the wound was about 60 to 70 percent healed, so there was no immediate danger to her life. Thank, thank you. The woman, weakened by excessive blood loss, leaned against a tree and thanked him. Tell me, what secret can move me? Li Xiaoshui got to the point. The woman took a deep breath, trying to keep herself somewhat clear-headed, and said, this is an event that is not allowed to be made public, only a few people know about it. No need to beat around the bush. Li Xiaoshui said. It was told to me by a relative of mine. She is close to sequence 3. The woman slowly spoke, her eyes filled with meaning. You probably don't know, right? In each mission, there are hidden encounters that can transform a person. For example, powerful advanced identity cards, high-level mysterious objects, unimaginable props, as long as you can find them. Is that all? Li Xiaoshui said expressionlessly. The woman fell silent and said, I know the secret of this A-level mission. Only then did Li Xiaoshui smile. Where is it? The temple, she said. The temple. Li Xiaoshui was taken aback. The sacred place in the native village, the woman replied. How do you know? Li Xiaoshui asked. The woman remained silent. She looked at Li Xiaoshui and said, The information I have should be valuable enough for you to save me once. We newcomers are basically impossible to know about this highest level secret. Don't want to say any more? Li Xiaoshui didn't ask further. Okay, that's enough. Li Xiaoshui turned and left. He didn't expect to stay here. He still had over an hour left for his second mission. He had to hurry to the native village and hang up the head. The temple. Standing at the entrance of the stone passage, Li Xiaoshui muttered to himself, a hint of curiosity flashing in his eyes, and then disappeared into the dark passage. The space at the entrance of the corridor was quite large, about three meters long and wide. Like ordinary caves, the walls and pathways were made of yellow soil and stones, obviously dug by hand. The entire cave, in order to avoid some large rocks that human strength could not break through, constantly changed the direction of excavation, making the passage twisted and strange. Fortunately, there were torches every 10 meters or so to light the way, so as not to hit the wall. However, compared to the storm outside, the further he went, the quieter it became. After a few minutes, it was so quiet that Li Xiaoshui could only hear his own breathing. It had been a long time since it had been this quiet, and it felt somewhat oppressive. Fortunately, after entering the cave, his sixth sense returned. Li Xiaoshui finally had some confidence in his heart. This cave leads underground. But as he walked deeper into the cave, Li Xiaoshui felt a hint of doubt. This island was clearly suitable for human habitation, even if there are occasional storms, it's still much better than the dark and damp underground. But they prefer to choose the underground. Is there something on the island that these natives cannot accept? For example, like the resurrection of the voluptuous woman? The bugs by the seaside? And this rain that shields his sixth sense? Li Xiaoshui becomes more convinced that there is something unspeakable on the island. He continues walking. Li Xiaoshui is actually very worried, afraid that a native will suddenly appear. You see, news of him killing two natives has already spread. It's not uncommon for natives to come and go. Fortunately, his sixth sense has not alerted him, and everything goes smoothly. After about 10 or 20 minutes, suddenly, a bright light appears in front of him. Have I arrived? Li Xiaoshui wonders. But why is there light? This isn't the dark underground, right? It doesn't look like a torch. Instead, it's moonlight or something similar. Astonished, Li Xiaoshui cautiously walks out of the cave. The scene in front of him leaves him dumbfounded. It's an incredibly huge cavern. It occupies at least half of the island's size. Spacious and vast. Above the cavern, there is a stone that he can't see the color or shape of, emitting a soft and bright light. Under the moonlight, there is a river, a forest, and dozens or even hundreds of crude wooden and stone houses built in the center of the cavern. Unlike the lifeless atmosphere on the island, next to the village, there are edible vegetables, as well as deer, sheep, pigs, and birds. 
Even in the river, there are fresh fish swimming. Several bonfires illuminate the entrance of the village. At this moment, a native is sitting on the ground, yawning and dozing off. In front of him, there is a huge stone altar. It is covered with a red cloth, hiding something unknown. Next to the red cloth of the altar, there is a straight pole with a large cloth flag hanging on it. On the flag, there is the image of the strange creature from the stone houses on the island. I never expected that there would be such a world underground. Li Xiaoshui regains his senses and mutters to himself. However, Li Xiaoshui knows that now is not the time for him to be shocked. His task is to hang the head on that flag, but it's not a simple task. How should he hang it? There is a native watching at the entrance of the village. If there is any movement, he will shout and Li Xiaoshui will immediately have nowhere to hide. There are still 40 minutes left for the task. He still has time to think. Li Xiaoshui ponders away, and his gaze unintentionally falls on a pure white stone house in the center of the village. It is several times larger than the average house. Under the moonlight, there is still a faint glow. There is a protective stone wall about one meter high surrounding the house. It should be a temple? Li Xiaoshui guesses. Is it the place with the greatest benefit in the task? Li Xiaoshui doesn't doubt the woman's words. He doesn't think that the woman would lie about being weak and be killed by him as revenge. After all, he is about to come in to carry out the task. He will always explore. Just as Li Xiaoshui is gazing at the temple, suddenly, there is movement from the person who has been guarding the entrance of the village. Something seems to have happened. The sleepy native guard suddenly stands up and looks inside the village. In the darkness, a chubby native with a smiling face emerges. They have a conversation as if they are familiar with each other, and not long after, the sleepy native leaves and the chubby native takes his place. Shift change? Li Xiaoshui furrows his brow. Originally, he had a slight hope of waiting for the native to fall asleep and then launching a surprise attack, but now it seems impossible. Although his needle can turn invisible, there is still a chance for an ambush, after all, this native is just a bloodline. But, nothing is absolute in this world. What if he is detected? Li Xiaoshui doesn't want to take any risks. One mistake, and he's dead. In a dilemma, I never expected that, a few minutes later, another situation occurred. The obese native, pretending to patrol a few times, suddenly walked up to the altar when he realized no one was there. He uncovered the cloth that covered the center of the altar. Inside was a statue. Just as Li Xiaoshui had anticipated, the statue being worshipped on the altar was still the same as the one in the stone house on the island. The difference was that this stone statue looked lifelike, just like the pattern printed on a flag. The pairs of eyes on its body made Li Xiaoshui extremely uncomfortable, as if they were strange eyes with flesh and blood. The fat man knelt in front of the altar and took out something from his body, like a dark lump of flesh. Then, he closed his eyes and made a strange gesture, chanting quickly. In an instant, the meat placed in front of the statue emitted a bright white light. He is performing a ritual? Li Xiaoshui immediately realized, his eyes filled with excitement. This was a great opportunity. Li Xiaoshui didn't care what the fat man was doing with the ritual, he was defenseless now. He quickly shot out a level 1 weapon, a needle. The light reflected on the needle under the moonlight was very eye-catching. But two seconds later, the needle disappeared from sight. It turned invisible. Fortunately, Li Xiaoshui's psychic power could sense it, the needle was under his control. Swish. As Li Xiaoshui silently approached, in just a few seconds, the flying needle silently and rapidly approached the obese native. At this moment, the obese native was completely focused on the ritual. Suddenly, a piercing pain struck his head, causing him to open his eyes wide. When he tried to react, it was already too late. The needle had pierced through his skull. Two small, visible red dots appeared on both sides of his temples. As blood droplets overflowed from the red dots, the obese native, with wide eyes, fell straight to the ground without a sound. The plan was going smoothly, and Li Xiaoshui didn't waste any time. He quickly used his psychic power to manipulate the character's head, suspending it in midair at the flagpole, and then used the flag to wrap and bind the head. 
Whether it was a random binding or something else, coincidentally, the pale face of the head was exposed within sight. The blood from the neck flowed down his face, nose, and then eyes, dripping down one by one. It was a terrifying and chilling scene. With this, it seems that this native village won't be peaceful. Li Xiaoshui sighed inwardly. He looked at the mission note in his hand. As the mission was completed, the note turned into ashes and scattered on the ground. Li Xiaoshui turned around, intending to leave this place of trouble. But suddenly, behind the underground ritual, a glowing object appeared, causing him to stop in his tracks. Li Xiaoshui instinctively walked towards the glowing object and picked it up. Baptism Token Offering from the Ritual Qualification for Baptism in the Temple Limited to One Use Baptism Token? Li Xiaoshui was taken aback. The token he picked up made him pause his preparations to leave. He curiously examined the token in his hand. Just as he was feeling puzzled, a wave of instinctive tremors surged through his body. Li Xiaoshui instinctively turned his head to the left. On the left was the stone-carved statue on the altar. At this moment, all the pairs of eyes on the statue's body seemed to be staring at him. Li Xiaoshui's whole body was covered in goosebumps. Were the eyes of the stone carving just now directed towards him? Li Xiaoshui stared intently at the eyes. After a while, seeing that the eyes remained motionless, Li Xiaoshui wiped the cold sweat from his forehead and quickly covered it with the cloth. Whether it was an illusion or real, Li Xiaoshui decided that out of sight, out of mind. Since his sixth sense didn't warn him, he should be safe. But just as this thought arose, whether it was a coincidence or not, suddenly, his sixth sense strongly responded. Danger! Li Xiaoshui's face changed drastically. He quickly looked around, searching for the source, soon, my gaze stopped at the entrance. Could it be, the elder who went out has returned? But in this situation, he can't escape anymore. Li Xiaoshui's mind quickly turned, and faintly, he could already hear the movement coming from the cave entrance. There was no time to escape to the distant woods or water. Li Xiaoshui manipulated the body of the native fat man and turned back towards the village entrance, then he himself rushed into the village. He found a haystack, lay down, and didn't move. Ten seconds later, at the cave entrance, several natives soaked in water and covered in blood came in carrying a broken body. Then, one of the natives took out a drum from his back and struck it forcefully. Boom 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 the deafening sound of the drum echoed throughout the entire village. In the silent village, in an instant, flames lit up in the dark houses. Then, one after another, dozens, hundreds of natives poured out from various houses. Soon, at the village entrance, there was a densely packed crowd. In the forefront of the crowd, in Li Xiaoshui's line of sight, he could see an old man with white hair who was two or three meters tall. Chief, Elder Su went to investigate the outsiders and was killed by a terrifying outsider. We almost couldn't come back. Cried the native holding the broken body. Li Xiaoshui recognized the voice. It was the captain of the three people he heard in front of the stone house that night. What? Elder Su is dead. No wonder they sounded the alarm. Damn outsiders. Chief, let's go kill them. Sacrifice them to the gods. Avenge Elder Su. In an instant, the crowd roared one after another, waiting for the response of the white-haired old man leading them. The tall old man spoke calmly, it's almost time for the sea corpse to appear, we can't go out. The word sea corpse seemed to have an inexplicable terrifying power, causing the arrogance of the natives to instantly dissipate. The crowd fell silent. Sacrifice elder Su to the gods, everyone take a rest. When it's daylight, we will. Avenge elder Su, the chief continued. Yes, the captain of the natives choked and responded. Then, he carried the broken body and walked towards the altar. It was fine when they didn't move. The restless crowd didn't notice what Li Xiaoshui was doing. But when he walked towards the altar, there was a problem. Under the altar, there was a pile of conspicuous blood dripping along the flagpole, so conspicuous that anyone could notice it. Then, when everyone subconsciously looked up and followed the trail of blood to see the head on the flagpole, they erupted in chaos once again. Heavens! Young chief! 
They're seeking death. These outsiders are deliberately provoking us. We can't forgive them. I will never let these outsiders go. The crowd became even more furious. Young chief? Li Xiaoshui, who was far away, felt a chill. This mission was playing with him. If he was caught, wouldn't he be skinned alive? The eyes of the crowd were all on the old chief. Li Xiaoshui was no exception, nervously staring at his back. Finally, the village chief spoke again, his voice heavy and hoarse, let's sacrifice together to the gods, everyone rest well, tomorrow, we will seek revenge. He turned around. His face was full of wrinkles, his eyes bloodshot. On his forehead were six prominent golden lines. And at this moment, while the crowd was in turmoil, Li Xiaoshui had silently climbed near the temple. In a corner of the temple that the natives didn't notice, Li Xiaoshui took out the level one mysterious item. A rusty long zipper. The gate of the temple's surrounding wall was tightly closed. Li Xiaoshui, who didn't dare to make any noise, chose to rely on it to enter. The long zipper quickly fit into the door crack and merged into the stone slab. Li Xiaoshui gently pulled it down. Zip the zipper opened. Inside the distorted opening was a hazy white stone floor. At the moment the zipper was pulled, Li Xiaoshui suddenly felt his body being torn apart by some mysterious force. Intense pain made him involuntarily gasp for cold air and let out a heavy groan. It hurts. It hurts so much. Li Xiaoshui gritted his teeth and plunged into the opening of the zipper, stumbling and falling onto a pure white floor. Without time to look around, he took off his clothes and removed the armor underneath. There, on his chest, was a hideous crack that ran from his neck to his abdomen, resembling the pattern of a zipper. Blood overflowed, revealing glimpses of organs and flesh inside. It felt as if a gentle pull on the wound would tear him in half. Relieved to see that his bones were intact, Li Xiaoshui let out a sigh. He quickly wrapped a bandage around the wound. So this is the price of opening a door on oneself? Li Xiaoshui slowly put on his armor and clothes, muttering to himself with a grimace, it's too damn dangerous. But at that moment, Li Xiaoshui heard the shouts of the natives. Why is there no sign of our night watchman? Wait, there's a wound on his temple. His body is still warm, he must have died recently. Could it be that an outsider has infiltrated our village? Search. The old tribal chief gave the order. I knew it. Li Xiaoshui smiled bitterly. He had guessed that the fat man's body would be discovered, which is why he chose to quickly enter the temple. Compared to the easily searched houses and forests, this place was the safest hiding spot. But, it's actually six stripes. Li Xiaoshui remembered the six golden stripes on the forehead of the tall old tribal chief, feeling unsure of what to do. Those with two stripes already possessed such fighting power. Those with three stripes would probably be enough to sweep away them, the assessors. Not to mention, those with four stripes, five stripes, or even the six stripes of the tribal chief. If, as expected, Captain Gatley couldn't handle the six-striped chief, then they would be completely defeated. Forget it, it's not something I should be thinking about. Li Xiaoshui stopped his unnecessary pondering and focused his gaze ahead. From the outside, all that could be seen were the pristine white walls and roofs, but once inside the walls, the true appearance of this sacred place became clear. It was a white stone building resembling a temple. Neatly arranged stone bricks and windows were carved with grotesque images of deformed faces, human bodies covered in countless eyes, and monsters with numerous tentacles. Surrounding the temple in several directions were stone statues of natives with nine stripes on their foreheads. With doubt and curiosity, Li Xiaoshui approached the temple. Just as his hand was about to push open the door, his sixth sense gave him an unprecedented warning. It was a strange scene. His sixth sense alerted him to both danger and opportunity. Can danger and opportunity coexist? Li Xiaoshui paused. After a moment of silence, he continued to push his hand forward, gently. Where is there opportunity without accompanying risk? Li Xiaoshui opened the door. However, to his surprise, there were no ugly and grotesque statues inside the temple. The temple was incredibly spacious, with only three areas. 
In the center stood a gigantic statue of a beautiful young woman. She was completely naked, graceful, and devout, with her eyes closed as if in prayer. Her hands were holding a crystal clear gem. To the left was a pool of milky white water, emitting a fragrant aroma. To the right was a huge fluffy red ball of unknown origin. The red ball was covered in densely packed tiny insect eggs. Each area was guarded by several stone statues of natives with nine golden stripes. Gem, pool, insect eggs. Li Xiaoshui examined them curiously. But what made him feel a sense of danger were those stone statues. Could it be that those statues can move? Li Xiaoshui entertained this thought. As the possibility grew stronger, he became increasingly uneasy yet he didn't dare to bet if it was true or not. Suddenly, Li Xiaoshui remembered the token that the indigenous fat man had obtained through sacrifice, which allowed him to be baptized in the temple. He took out the token and looked at the indigenous people guarding the water pool. The baptism should be in that pool, right? With this thought in mind, Li Xiaoshui took the token and approached the indigenous stone statue at the front. The stone carving of the indigenous person in front of him unbelievably waved its stone arm and reached out to him. This startled Li Xiaoshui. It can really move. With a serious expression, Li Xiaoshui handed the token to it. The indigenous stone statue opened its mouth and swallowed the token in one gulp. Then, the statue moved back to its original position, creating a passage for him and returning to its motionless state. With a vigilant look at the statue, Li Xiaoshui walked to the water pool. Is baptism like taking a bath? Li Xiaoshui stared at the water pool, furrowing his brows in thought. He reached out his hand and tentatively touched the milky white water. It was icy cold, bone chillingly cold. It felt like his veins were freezing. Li Xiaoshui couldn't bear this temperature and was about to retract his hand, but he found that his hand seemed to be entangled and couldn't move at all. Then, that thing entangling him strangely tried to pull his whole body into the water. This sudden change frightened Li Xiaoshui half to death. He was about to exert more force to struggle, but the water pool that entangled him suddenly burst with the same force. He couldn't resist. He was pulled down, splashing into the water. In the milky white water, his vision became blurry. The bone-chilling coldness enveloped Li Xiaoshui. Soon after, his body became frozen, and his consciousness gradually faded away. He was tightly entangled in the water, unable to move at all. The coldness kept pouring into his body, suffocating his senses. In the end, he passed out. He suddenly opened his eyes. Did. I fail the mission and die? Li Xiaoshui instinctively looked around. His body felt warm, as if he was floating. In his line of sight, there was a white roof, and next to it were indigenous statues and a huge statue of a beautiful girl. He was still in the temple. When Li Xiaoshui turned around, he was astonished to find that he was actually floating on the water pool. Frightened by the shadow that pulled him into the water earlier, he quickly climbed out of the water pool. He didn't die. Li Xiaoshui got out of the water pool, inspected his hands and feet, pinched his face, and realized that he was truly alive. Strange, what exactly happened? I wasn't frozen to death after being pulled into the water? Li Xiaoshui felt puzzled. Ha, huh, the pain in my chest is gone. In his confusion, Li Xiaoshui suddenly noticed that the stabbing pain that had been bothering him in his chest had disappeared. He took off his clothes, untied the bandages, and found that the wound had completely healed, leaving smooth skin as if it had never been injured. Bandages don't have this effect. Could it be that this was the baptism? Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but come up with this idea. It seems like my strength has increased significantly. Li Xiaoshui noticed another strange thing. He quickly opened the attribute panel. The panel was basically the same as before, except for one change in the spiritual power and attribute. Spiritual power, level 3.9 psychic. Body, level 2.1 warrior. The amplification effect almost made Li Xiaoshui's jaw drop. Both my spiritual power and body have gained a boost of one. It's equivalent to each of them undergoing a strengthening process? Li Xiaoshui quickly manipulated the needle and conducted some experiments. 
the speed and strength of the needle underwent a qualitative change. If I don't rely on abilities, my physical and spiritual power combined should be at the level of an ordinary exploration team. Physical combat ability has always been Li Xiaoshui's biggest weakness. He didn't even have much confidence in sneak attacks. Now, with this boost, he has reached the basic average level. The baptism in the water pool brought such great rewards that Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but smile. No wonder these indigenous people are so powerful. It turns out there's a reason behind it. Li Xiaoshui reached out his hand again and touched the water, but it didn't feel as cold as before, nor did he feel like he was being pulled in. There was no possibility of another baptism. Is it because I don't have a token? Or is it that only one person can do it once? Li Xiaoshui was uncertain about the reason, feeling reluctant as he walked out of the pool. It seemed that in order to experience such an exaggerated surge, he would have to complete the task and receive a strengthening reward. Now, in the temple, there were still two areas where Li Xiaoshui could benefit. One was the gem in the hands of the young girl statue. It must be the most precious. The other was the insect eggs. But, Li Xiaoshui didn't dare to approach either place directly. He was afraid that if he walked over, the statue would reach out its hand and demand something from him, and if he couldn't give it, he would be killed by the statue. From a distance, Li Xiaoshui stared at the blue gem in the girl's hand. Unexpectedly, he read the attribute description. Heart core of the sea god. Special level 2 mysterious item. Wearing it, an apprentice of the shaman identity can ignore any restrictions and directly advance to sequence 2, high priest. A sacred object cherished by the indigenous people, if you take it away, you will be relentlessly pursued by the indigenous people. Directly advancing to sequence 2. Li Xiaoshui took a sharp breath. My goodness, no wonder that woman said that in the temple, one can undergo a transformation. This is too exaggerated, isn't it? Sequence 2. This temptation is truly too great. If he still had the shaman identity card, Li Xiaoshui would definitely find a way to steal this thing. He would directly choose this sequence as his main sequence advancement. Unfortunately, I sold the identity card. Li Xiaoshui regretted it. It wasn't worth his desperate efforts to obtain this thing anymore. Without the shaman card, it was just a chicken rib. Losing interest, Li Xiaoshui looked at the insect eggs. The patterns on the eggs seemed somewhat similar to the insects in the sea. Could it be the eggs of those sea creatures? If I get them, can I raise them? Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but have this thought. His heart started pounding. If he could raise these creatures, wouldn't that be great? This is a trump card. But that indigenous statue is there. I can't go in. Li Xiaoshui was envious, but helpless. Just as Li Xiaoshui was thinking about how to obtain it and how to enter the area with the insect eggs, suddenly, a voice came from outside the stone wall of the temple. Li Xiaoshui focused and felt as if, the people from the indigenous village had surrounded the temple. Chief, we have searched every inch of our village and haven't found the outsider. Hmm, except for the temple. I suspect that if the outsider is still here, they must have entered the temple. A man with a steady voice spoke up. The conversation made Li Xiaoshui's face turn pale. It seemed that while he was unconscious during the baptism, the indigenous people had probably searched the village. And because the sixth sense of crisis had been constantly interfering since entering the temple, he hadn't noticed the arrival of the indigenous people at all. In this situation, if he was discovered, he wouldn't be able to escape from even just one chief with six stripes. Enter the temple? That's highly unlikely. Without a key, no one can enter the temple. Yeah, how is it possible to enter? If someone touched the bell on the surrounding wall, we would all hear it. Could it be that the person has already escaped? I think that's possible. Someone proposed an opposing opinion. This idea was accepted by more people. Li Xiaoshui, who was listening, felt a surge of excitement, his heart racing. Could he have escaped this disaster by chance? However, Li Xiaoshui was thinking too much. I smell the presence of an outsider in the temple. The chief with six stripes spoke with a heavy voice. 
Go in and search. Yes. No one opposed the chief's opinion. Outside the surrounding wall, the sound of the door opening immediately rang out. Damn. Li Xiaoshui cursed silently. He couldn't deceive them anymore, in the worst case scenario, he had never considered sitting and waiting for death. In an instant, Li Xiaoshui closed his eyes, took a deep breath, and relaxed himself to the utmost calmness. Countless thoughts raced through his mind. At the same time, with a creak, the heavy stone gate of the surrounding wall opened. The crowd walked in. Li Xiaoshui held his breath, listening to the footsteps in his ears. Several, dozens, hundreds. Li Xiaoshui sensed that almost all of the indigenous people were standing outside the temple, at the entrance of the surrounding wall. Blood. The blood of an outsider. Someone immediately noticed the bloodstains flowing from the zipper wound on Li Xiaoshui when he entered. It seemed that this was the reason why the indigenous chief discovered him. Did he really enter our temple? How did he get in? Could it be that this guy's purpose is to steal our sacred object? Impossible, without the corresponding token of sacrifice, if he dares to take it, he will be killed by the guards. Quick, go in and check. Li Xiaoshui heard a crucial phrase, the corresponding token of sacrifice? Could it be the kind of sacrifice that the fat indigenous man performed? And the reward for the sacrifice is the token? Li Xiaoshui instantly understood. Immediately, as the crowd entered, he took out the rusty zipper and stuck it in a corner, pulling it open and quickly sneaked into the temple. The pain from the torn back did not stop Li Xiaoshui. He continued to stick the zipper to the surrounding wall. Once again, he passed through, and stumbled on his foot. His leg was torn open. This is really bad. Li Xiaoshui gritted his teeth. The price he paid twice was on his thigh and back. The pain and the flowing blood made his steps feel so heavy. But, if he didn't use the zipper twice in a row, he couldn't escape. Now this group of indigenous people were all gathered at the entrance of the temple and the entrance of the surrounding wall, waiting to investigate. Whenever their attention fell on the corner next to the surrounding wall, it was possible. Only by penetrating the temple and the surrounding wall at once and entering the village could he avoid the sight of the indigenous people and have a chance to escape. Fortunately, his plan was successful. The attention of the indigenous people was completely focused on the exit, and they couldn't even think that he had this ability. No one noticed him. Li Xiaoshui didn't waste a second and let the blood soak his shoes and feet, stepping on one conspicuous blood-red footprint after another, stumbling towards the cave entrance. Chief. The blood of the outsider disappeared by the wall. When they entered the temple, they discovered Li Xiaoshui's blood. Chief, new blood appeared by the surrounding wall. More people continued to report. Not good. The chief's face darkened, and he shouted loudly, Go, block the cave entrance for me. Chief, I found the outsider, he ran towards the cave entrance. Someone noticed Li Xiaoshui and immediately reported back. The indigenous chief quickly chased after him outside the temple. His murky eyes immediately caught sight of Li Xiaoshui's blood-soaked figure. Trying to escape. The indigenous chief sneered, and six golden blood streaks on his forehead emitted a dazzling golden light. In an instant, his body underwent a violent expansion. In just two seconds, the indigenous chief transformed into a seven to eight meter tall humanoid monster with tentacles and several eyes on his body. A gust of wind blew, and the indigenous chief disappeared from where he stood. When his figure reappeared, he was already behind Li Xiaoshui. With a loud bang, the enormous body of the indigenous chief blocked the cave entrance. The intense shaking of the floor caused Li Xiaoshui, who was stumbling and already close to the cave entrance, to fall to the ground. Li Xiaoshui quickly raised his head and was dumbfounded when he noticed the seven-meter-tall monster blocking the entrance in front of him. It wasn't until he noticed the six golden blood streaks on the monster's forehead that he realized it was the indigenous chief. You can't run away, outsider. The buzzing sound made Li Xiaoshui dizzy, and his ears were buzzing. What is your purpose for coming to our village? The indigenous chief continued to question. At the same time, hundreds of indigenous people chased after him, like a dense layer of dark clouds, surrounding him. 
Li Xiaoshui was forced to a dead end against a stone wall, his eyes filled with despair. His body trembled slightly, not out of fear, but because of the incessant flow of blood, the unbearable pain of his wounds. At this moment, he was pale, his face as white as paper. The price he paid for using the zipper had left him completely defenseless. This must be the outsider who killed our young tribe leader. He's in cahoots with the person who killed Elder Su. Sacrifice him alive. Sacrifice him alive. Sacrifice him alive. The shouts were uniform and imposing. Combined with the murderous gazes and the terrifying pressure they brought, Li Xiaoshui's will to survive and struggle sank to the bottom. It's over, there's no escape. Speak. What is your purpose for entering our village? You outsiders didn't come to this island by accident. The indigenous chief, not blinded by hatred, spoke with a heavy voice, staring at Li Xiaoshui. Li Xiaoshui gasped for breath, silently locking eyes with him. He knew that even if he explained, he wouldn't have any chance of survival. Why waste the effort? Chief, take them to the forbidden water cage. The forbidden water cage, afraid he won't talk? This poor outsider probably doesn't even know what the water cage is. Don't be careless, keep an eye on him, this outsider has the ability to pass through walls. Oomph, pass through walls? It's so far from the outside, can he really get through? The indigenous people threatened, not worried at all about Li Xiaoshui escaping. But it was this sentence that suddenly awakened Li Xiaoshui. He instinctively looked at the rusty zipper in his hand. If you had to say, from this underground place to the outside of the cave, it seemed like a place where the door could be opened, right? An idea jumped out in Li Xiaoshui's mind. But? Will the cost of this distance take my life? Li Xiaoshui thought anxiously. However, if he was caught later, it seemed no different from death. I'll take the risk. Li Xiaoshui made up his mind and took a deep breath. Choosing to escape, at least there was a glimmer of hope. It was much better than dying here and being sacrificed by the indigenous people. I have no purpose, I didn't kill your young tribe leader. I was forced to do it, and I hung his head up there. Li Xiaoshui replied to the indigenous chief. He stared directly at the chief, his hand behind his back, quietly pressing the zipper against the wall. The indigenous chief's face turned cold. Is that so? Since you only know this much, then let's sacrifice you. As soon as these words were spoken, the indigenous people surrounding Li Xiaoshui in the front rushed forward with a sinister smile. Li Xiaoshui naturally guessed that this would be the result and quickly turned his head. He pulled the zipper open. Outside the zipper was the grassland of the basin, he could get out. Li Xiaoshui was overjoyed and jumped in. Oh no, he really can pass through walls. Chase after him. Don't let him escape. The indigenous people screamed in a panic. Even the indigenous chief looked astonished, then slapped the wall at the entrance of the cave hard, trying to shake Li Xiaoshui out, but it had no effect. Li Xiaoshui jumped onto the damp grass pile full of water stains. In the midst of the tremendous shaking, he reached out and pulled the zipper back up. The passage disappeared. In just a short second or two, no indigenous person could catch up. He had escaped. However, Li Xiaoshui didn't feel joy or have time to celebrate. Because the price had also appeared. Before he could catch his breath, in the next moment, Li Xiaoshui felt his body being scraped by an electric saw, from the right side of his neck to the base of his thigh, his whole body was torn open by a deep and long gash. A large amount of fresh blood poured back from his stomach, and he vomited several mouthfuls of blood. Then, blood gushed out from the wounds all over his body, turning the underground into a blood-red scene. A piercing and numb sensation that ran through his whole body left him without the strength to even scream, he was certain that the bones and organs on the right side had been completely severed. Li Xiaoshui lost all his strength. He could barely even lift his eyelids. Li Xiaoshui felt like he was going to die. Is this how it ends? Li Xiaoshui was unwilling. But he was very clear about the current situation. No one would have the kindness to save his life. Even if he could make it back, he couldn't afford the props for treatment. 
You see, with the expenses in the virtual city, plus the needles, masks, antidotes, and keys for two rooms that he just bought, his points were now at zero. Wait. The keys? Li Xiaoshui suddenly remembered the reason why he bought two keys. A glimmer of hope ignited. No. He won't die, he has a way to save himself. Li Xiaoshui mustered up his last bit of strength and reached into his virtual pocket, pulling out the reward item he received for completing the assessment, self-rescue adrenaline. This was currently the only item that could possibly work for him. His numb hand slowly reached his heart, and then, he forcefully injected the needle. In an instant, Li Xiaoshui's pupils dilated. His senses and hearing stopped. Then, Li Xiaoshui felt an incredibly clear heartbeat. His heart was beating thump 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 rapidly. The speed increased several times, dozens of times, until the heartbeat reached a critical point, Li Xiaoshui's head buzzed and exploded, leaving only emptiness. Li Xiaoshui woke up. He regained his senses. At this moment, the bleeding on his body stopped. The pain disappeared completely. He instinctively pulled at the wound, but felt no pain. The wound has healed? Li Xiaoshui couldn't believe it, he stood up and took off his armor and clothes. However, on his body, the gruesome deep scar that ran through his entire body was still there. He could even see the broken bones, the oozing blood, and the fresh organs in the wound. How could he be completely fine after such a fatal injury? Increased strength, full of energy, pain blocked. It's temporary, it must have some kind of stimulating effect? There should be a time limit. Li Xiaoshui came to a speculative conclusion. In this rare period of good health, Li Xiaoshui didn't dare to delay and immediately surveyed the situation on the island. The slightly salty sea breeze blew on the island. The rain had stopped. Judging from the water stains on the ground, it had just stopped recently. A half-covered moonlight finally emerged from the clouds. On the small island, the visibility was no longer so. Blurry. Everything was very peaceful. But Li Xiaoshui remembered the words of the tribal chief. Now is the time when sea corpses appear. This is why even the natives dare not come out. Peaceful? The more peaceful it is, the more terrifying the impending crisis will be. Li Xiaoshui's gaze fell in the direction of the camp and quickly rushed back. After more than 10 minutes, Li Xiaoshui returned to the camp. Without the raging rain that disturbed the tranquility, this late night should have been a time for peaceful sleep. But strangely, at this moment, many people were standing outside their tents, looking towards the sea. The shipwrecked, the crew, including Captain Gatley with bloodstains on his body, and Miss Vivi, who appeared flawless under the moonlight. Was there something in the sea? Li Xiaoshui couldn't help but wonder. He followed the crowd and looked towards the sea. The faint moonlight reflected off the dark sea, and the seawater was receding. It was receding at a visible speed, quickly retreating. And in the ebbing tide, strange sounds kept coming from underwater. If one listened carefully, they could feel that those sounds were like endless ghosts howling and screaming. It was chilling. Were these sounds waking up the people in the camp? Li Xiaoshui furrowed his brows, it was strange, the sea was making these kinds of sounds? Sea creatures? Li Xiaoshui speculated. But coincidentally, not long after, the receding seawater finally stopped. A cool breeze blew, dispersing the dark clouds even more. Bright moonlight illuminated a large area, the land, revealed after the receding of the seawater, appeared in everyone's sight. Under the seawater, it was not a beach. Clearly visible, it was actually a large expanse of muddy ground filled with rotting flesh and bones. A creepy scene that made everyone alert and frightened. Suddenly, with a muffled sound, a pair of swollen and pale hands, as if soaked in water for many years, forcefully broke through the layer of rotten mud and appeared in everyone's sight. Then, another pair emerged, one after another. In just a dozen seconds, dozens or even hundreds of pairs of hands had extended from the muddy ground. These hands were struggling, trying to free themselves from the rotten mud. Before long, they all achieved their wish and crawled out. One after another, they were swollen, rotten, and twisted corpses. In the next moment, these corpses that crawled out of the mud suddenly seemed to sense something, 
pairs of pale eyes fell on the people in the camp, then, excited roars echoed in the crowd of corpses. They started moving, approaching the shore. Their steps were unsteady, and their speed was slow. Their target direction was where the crowd was. Everyone's faces turned pale. No one could have expected these monsters to appear in the sea. When they realized it, the large number of helpless people without any fighting ability were the first to panic and flee towards the mountaintop as if they had gone mad. Mr. Gatley, what are those things? Miss Violet asked with a furrowed brow from the safest campsite. Surprisingly, her beautiful face showed only curiosity, without a hint of fear. Miss Violet, I sense an aura of evil danger from them. I will protect you and take you to the mountain. I will never allow these ugly things to taint you in the slightest. Captain Gatley said respectfully. Thank you, Mr. Gatley. Miss Violet nodded. Captain Gatley's angry expression twisted into a smile, then he turned his head, changed his expression, and looked down at the crew below, coldly saying, You trash. Everyone looked at him. You are not allowed to approach Miss Violet with these monsters. Whether you live or die depends on your luck. Captain Gatley left his final order and walked towards the mountain with Miss Violet and the steward guards. Everyone looked at each other, were they supposed to escape on their own? This Captain Gatley didn't make them cannon fodder to resist these corpses and protect Miss Violet, it was unexpected for everyone. Just as the crew members were contemplating how to deal with the situation, a burly, bald man with red eyes walked up to the group of corpses. He reached out his hand and grabbed the head of one of the corpses. With a strong squeeze, the head of the corpse burst open, leaving behind a black, sticky substance. Dead, very weak, he murmured to himself. He was the extraordinary ability user who had fought against the tentacles with the crew in the evening, at least a level 1 superpower. Ha! Huh? Underground, a peculiar green crystal appeared from the exploded head of the dead zombie. Surprise flashed in the red-eyed bald man's eyes as he bent down to pick up the crystal. After a quick glance, his face couldn't contain his excitement in the next moment. Immediately after, the red-eyed bald man, as if discovering a treasure, rushed into the group of corpses, continuously slaughtering and picking up one crystal after another. Everyone naturally noticed this situation, a thought emerged in their minds, what kind of treasure were these? Crystals? Hey, what is the purpose of those crystals, someone asked. He won't answer. They must be something good, otherwise he wouldn't be like this. I want to go and see too. Many crew members immediately stood up and walked over. But at this moment, unexpected things happened to a large number of red-eyed bald killers. A rotten hand grabbed one of their thighs. Their movements were restrained. It was a climbing corpse, indifferent to the red-eyed bald head, he extended his foot and was about to crush its head. However, what he didn't expect was that this corpse had an incredible amount of strength. The leg that was caught suddenly emitted a clear and distinct snapping sound. The leg was broken. He let out a scream, lost his balance, and fell heavily to the ground. Before the red-eyed bald head could react, several more corpses suddenly pounced on him. Hands, feet, neck, head, all firmly grabbed. No. Wait. The red-eyed bald head shouted in terror, but before he could finish his sentence, with a loud bang, his skull was crushed. He convulsed a few times and then became motionless. His body was torn into several pieces, he was dead. As they prepared to rush forward and kill the crew members who were fighting the corpses, their footsteps suddenly stopped, the sudden death of the red-eyed bald man was like a bucket of cold water poured on their feverish heads. I remember that person was a level 1 power type supernatural ability user, right? He, couldn't escape after being caught? If we get caught. Most people hesitated. Compared to the unknown crystal, their lives were much more important. How could they avoid being touched by this terrifying horde of corpses? Of course, there were still some people who were fixated on the green crystal, wanting to know its purpose. Li Xiaoshui, who had been observing from the side for a long time, had already guessed the identity of these corpses. Sea corpses. The time mentioned by the indigenous elder about the appearance of sea corpses. And compared to everyone's focus on the green crystal, Li Xiaoshui's gaze fell on the pits from which the sea corpses kept crawling out. Looking down now, 
there were already hundreds of them on the entire coastline. If this expansion continued, it was feared that the sea corpses would spread throughout the entire island. With such a scale, it was no wonder that there were no living creatures on this island. Why are there corpses in the sea? Are these corpses the people who died on the island in the past? Li Xiaoshui frowned. But now was not the time for him to think too much. At this moment, the cracks on his body suddenly sent waves of pain. The time for adrenaline is approaching. Li Xiaoshui glanced at the crowd. Due to the slow speed of the sea corpses and everyone's focus on the green crystal, no one chose to escape. They were considering countermeasures. Since that was the case, it was the best opportunity for him to obtain the medicine. Immediately, Li Xiaoshui walked towards the safe house, which was almost close to the sea corpse group. He reached out his hand and forcefully smashed it towards the safe house. With a loud bang, the huge noise of the collision of steel attracted the attention of everyone present. The nearest dozen or so sea corpses immediately sensed it. They immediately surrounded Li Xiaoshui. Li Xiaoshui remained calm and, before the sea corpses approached, he opened the door and walked in. As soon as he disappeared, the sea corpses immediately began to bite and push against the safe house. However, it was ineffective. The safe house remained as solid as a rock and suffered almost no damage. Seeing this scene from the window, Li Xiaoshui smiled. It seemed that buying this key was not in vain. In fact, Li Xiaoshui had been worried from the beginning that something terrifying would happen on this island at night. When the fat man was selling the safe house rooms, he noticed the high defensive capabilities of this special steel safe house and deliberately bought an extra key. If there was danger at night, the safe house would provide sufficient protection, and he could take advantage of the situation and sell it at a high price. As expected, there was indeed danger. Seeing that the sea corpses only had the strength to break bones, Li Xiaoshui was confident that they posed no threat to the safe house. So, he planned to personally demonstrate to everyone and use the key to exchange for medicine. After all, after completing the mission, everyone's supply of medicine was probably running low, and the value of medicine was self-evident. It was unlikely that anyone would agree to sell or exchange it, the key to the safe house is Li Xiaoshui's confidence. Soon, Li Xiaoshui walked out, avoiding the sea corpses, and then came to the stunned crew members. His gaze fell on everyone and he directly spoke, I did this test to let you see if the safe house can withstand these corpses. These corpses are crawling out at such a speed. In a while, the whole island might be filled with them. You've seen what happens when you get caught. I don't think anyone can guarantee that they can survive unscathed in a crowd of corpses, right? This might be the only safe area. And it's also convenient for ambushing the sea corpses and getting the crystals. Kill two birds with one stone. Unfortunately, all the rooms here have been sold out. But luckily, I bought an extra key. Li Xiaoshui held the key in his hand and looked at everyone. Who among you can offer medical props worth more than 10 points? I'm willing to trade for the key. Before anyone could react, suddenly, a piercing pain surged through Li Xiaoshui's senses. It's time for adrenaline. In the eyes of everyone, at this moment, Li Xiaoshui, covered in blood, suddenly screamed in agony. A huge gash appeared on his body from his neck to his legs, revealing the deep blood and bones inside. Fresh blood quickly poured out from the wound, dyeing him a deep red. This person, such a severe injury. Heavens, how did he end up like this? He actually survived until now? No wonder he made such a bold statement, turns out he's not far from death. I can offer two bandages. Someone spoke up, even more eager to take advantage of the situation than Li Xiaoshui. Li Xiaoshui broke out in a cold sweat, enduring the pain, and sneered, Hat, if I can't survive, the key will disappear with me. I don't think you realize that when the whole island is filled with sea corpses, where can you hide except in the native village? where the natives will kill you. All ten rooms here have been sold out. Without the key, no one can enter. Isn't that right? Li Xiaoshui finally looked at the fat man. The fat man's face turned ugly for a while. He was right, Li Xiaoshui didn't guess wrong, after all, this was a disposable item. It was obtained by chance and had been useless all along. Originally, in the evening, 
after exchanging a few points, he was quite happy, but he didn't expect that the safe house would have such a big role in this mission. He felt like he was being taken advantage of. He wished he could strangle Li Xiaoshui right then and there. One minute. Seeing that the fat man tacitly agreed, and seeing that the sea corpses were starting to surround them, Li Xiaoshui continued, One minute, if no one trades with me, I'll go back to the safe house with the key. Everyone still looked on coldly. The gains and losses were clear to everyone. It wasn't that they didn't want to live there, it was just that Li Xiaoshui's exaggerated and exorbitant price was unacceptable to anyone. 10 points. And it was an extremely precious potion at this moment. 59, 58, 57. Li Xiaoshui counted emotionlessly. A healing potion worth 5 points, someone gritted their teeth and spoke up. Not accepted. You. His face darkened, he was very sincere. 10, 9, 8 time was about to run out. Dizzy and weak, with limbs that felt powerless, Li Xiaoshui felt like he couldn't hold on much longer. He knew that once he fell down, he might never be able to open his eyes again. But he couldn't compromise. He had to have a healing item that could cure him. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to survive until tomorrow. Li Xiaoshui was convinced that someone would accept. I'll trade with you. As expected, at the last moment, someone spoke up. It was a tall and somewhat disheveled looking woman. Just as she spoke, without waiting for Li Xiaoshui to respond, she continued, but not for a 10 point item. I think, at this time, not many people can have so many medical supplies. Besides medical props, do you think I need anything else? Li Xiaoshui said coldly. I am Sequence 1, a doctor with special enhancements. Although it's impossible to have the same effect as high scoring props, there's no problem in restoring your normal mobility by tomorrow. The tall woman said calmly. Li Xiaoshui fell silent. He looked around, everyone was silent, maintaining their indifference. It seems, he was overthinking. Among these people, the most powerful would only be the existence of Sequence 1. Even if they have experienced one or two missions and have medical props with more than 10 points, there are probably not many. Those few people, no one has responded for so long, obviously, they consider medical props more important than keys. Waiting any longer would be meaningless. All right, let's make a deal. But the condition is that you have to treat me first before I can give you the key. Li Xiaoshui said. Where should I treat you? Come with me. Li Xiaoshui led her into his room, which only had a small bed. Take off your clothes. The woman stood in the only active area and spoke calmly. Li Xiaoshui directly took off his armor and clothes without being sentimental. The blood flowing from his body quickly soaked the white sheets. Seeing Li Xiaoshui's deeply terrifying wound that pierced through his entire body, as well as the other two extremely heavy tears, even the woman, who had seen many patients, couldn't help but change her expression. Judging from the degree of inflammation of the wound and the dried bloodstains, this injury has been at least half an hour or more. It's really incredible. That you're still alive. The woman said solemnly. I used a prop. Li Xiaoshui's voice began to hoarse. Hmm, no wonder. The woman skillfully took out a set of strangely colored medical kits from her virtual pocket. I'll give you an anesthetic that will put you to sleep for a while, do you mind? She took out a syringe containing gray liquid. Go ahead. Li Xiaoshui said. Using the spiritual perception of the sixth sense, Li Xiaoshui noticed the woman's emotions. There was no malice. Naturally, Li Xiaoshui didn't resist. The woman, on the other hand, was surprised by Li Xiaoshui's straightforwardness. Clearly, she could have killed Li Xiaoshui and obtained the right to stay in his room, like this, as Li Xiaoshui fell under the effect of the anesthetic, his body gradually lost consciousness, and, coupled with the mental power consumption from perceiving sequence one emotions, drowsiness slowly set in. In his last sight, the woman, holding a needle, continued to stitch on him, there was a faint green light emanating from her. When Li Xiaoshui opened his eyes, it was midnight. His mind was blank. The next moment, a stabbing pain came from his body, causing him to wake up abruptly, remembering everything that had just happened. 
He lowered his head and saw that his chest wound had been stitched up. A bandage was applied to the critical areas of the wound. The bleeding had stopped, and a warm flow was healing inside his body. The woman was leaning against the corner of the bed, half-closed eyes. Li Xiaoshui's gaze fell on her, and she seemed to sense it, immediately opening her eyes. Awake? I suggest you don't move. Your injuries are too severe and still need a few more hours to heal. The woman said. Li Xiaoshui didn't waste words and threw the key over. Thanks. The woman nodded, turned around, and was about to leave. At the door, she suddenly stopped. Are you a blue star person? Yes. Li Xiaoshui nodded. The woman smiled and disappeared from Li Xiaoshui's sight. Li Xiaoshui fell silent. After a while, he sighed, having the ability to heal is really incredible. Just a simple gesture can exchange for 10 points. Unfortunately, this is a transcendent ability. It's destined to be beyond his reach. However, after this lesson, Li Xiaoshui was certain that he must buy enough medical supplies before future missions. As for, being a blue star person? Li Xiaoshui didn't think this identity would allow her to treat him for free. Li Xiaoshui's gaze quickly fell outside the window, after taking a break, he wanted to see how much had happened outside. His gaze fell. Outside the window, there were no longer dense clusters of sea corpses. Within his narrow field of vision, there were only a scattered dozen or so sea corpses, huddled inside the safe house, weakly tearing and pushing each other. The slow emergence of sea corpses crawling out of the muddy pit was no longer as frequent. It took a while before one or two came out. They should all be chasing people on the island, Li Xiaoshui speculated about the whereabouts of the remaining sea corpses. Suddenly, in Li Xiaoshui's line of sight, he saw a green crystal shining and flickering about tens of meters outside the window in the darkness of the night. This was the crystal that the red-eyed bald man had killed before he died. No one dared to pick it up. After a moment of thought, Li Xiaoshui had a sudden inspiration and opened the window a crack. He used his psychic power to manipulate the crystal. The crystal flew into the window. Boom! As if sensing Li Xiaoshui's presence, suddenly, a sea corpse pounced fiercely on Li Xiaoshui's window. But the small window was filled with alloy objects, and he couldn't even stretch his hand out. Only that swollen, ugly face pressed tightly against the window, roaring. Li Xiaoshui ignored it and closed the window. His gaze fell on the description of the crystal. Crystal of the Sea Corpse. An item with an unknown function. In the shops of the virtual city, it is worth one point. With enough quantity, you can use it in the quest to go to the altar in the native village for a sacrifice. One point. Li Xiaoshui gasped. My goodness. Li Xiaoshui rubbed his eyes and stared at the description above. He didn't read it wrong. It really was, one crystal for one point. Does that mean if he gets 100 crystals, he'll have 100 points? 1,000 crystals, 1,000 points? No wonder that red-eyed bald man went crazy. If it were him, he would go crazy too. Killing a few dozen would earn him a point for a quest. Of course, Li Xiaoshui didn't overlook the last line. With enough quantity, you can use it in the quest to go to the altar in the native village for a sacrifice. Does that mean if he has enough sacrifices, he can get another baptismal token? Or maybe he can exchange it for tokens to go to the other two places? This made Li Xiaoshui somewhat tempted. But the problem is, these sea corpses are not easy to kill. Li Xiaoshui returned to the most troublesome problem for everyone. The sea corpses were too powerful. Their bodies couldn't withstand such damage. Moreover, they came in. Groups. Once entangled, there was no chance of escape. Unless there was a way to prevent the sea corpses from touching him. Thinking of this. The sea corpse outside the window suddenly let out a roar, startling Li Xiaoshui. This sudden shock brought forth a thought in his mind. Li Xiaoshui's heartbeat suddenly accelerated. He quickly opened the window a crack, and then he took out a flying needle from his virtual pocket, manipulated it with his psychic power, and flew it out of the window. The strengthened flying needle had much greater attacking power than before. 
Without any resistance, it pierced into the sea corpse's head. With a pu sound, it pierced through, carrying sticky black blood. The roaring sea corpse stiffened and fell heavily to the ground. Then, the flying needle circled around, tearing open the sea corpse's head, and Li Xiaoshui immediately controlled the crystal that fell down, bringing it into the window. I'm really confused. How did I only just think of it? I'm different from them, I'm a psychic. I can kill these sea corpses without any danger inside the safe house. This pie of earning points is meant for me. Li Xiaoshui tightly grasped the green crystal, shouting excitedly. But this excited behavior caused a sharp pain in Li Xiaoshui's still unhealed body. No, calm down, calm down. Li Xiaoshui quickly calmed his emotions, not wanting to affect the healing of his wounds. Tomorrow would be the most dangerous day. He began manipulating the flying needle to collect crystal stones from the sea corpses visible outside the window. Although the process was cumbersome, it was safe. It seems that many people have already discovered the power of crystal stones by now. How many dare to hunt and collect crystal stones in large quantities, besides him? Through the window, Li Xiaoshui collected one crystal stone after another. Soon, a large pile of crystal stones filled Li Xiaoshui's bedside. The 37th one. At this moment, Li Xiaoshui controlled another crystal with a smile that couldn't be contained. Li Xiaoshui calculated that at this rate, as long as he stayed like this for a few more hours, he would be able to accumulate enough for a level 1 mysterious item. It's a dream, an unimaginable stroke of luck. Ha! Huh? However, just as he was about to continue, Li Xiaoshui suddenly noticed that there were no more zombies in the line of sight from the safe house. At some point, no more zombies crawled out of that mud pit. Li Xiaoshui was dumbfounded. What's going on? How could Li Xiaoshui, who was in pain, accept this situation? After thinking for a moment, he dragged his body, which could barely move, and opened the door. Of course, he wasn't going to the island to kill sea corpses. Li Xiaoshui wasn't driven crazy by points. With his current condition, going to the island would only anger the sea corpses, and he wouldn't be able to escape. He was planning to make some noise to attract the sea corpses. But just as he opened the door, Li Xiaoshui, who was about to search for the sea corpses' location, was stunned by the scene in front of him. In his line of sight, groups upon groups, countless sea corpses, almost covering the entire island, were approaching him from the foot of the mountain like a tide. 